I should warn everyone, the game looks completely different. Hello there mortals, I'm Jensen, welcome back to Minecraft Forever World. We are going to fire straight into the game with Final Purple Nation right here, and we do have a goal for today. We are going to be picking a shader pack. Uh, this is going to basically influence the entirety of the rest of the playthrough. I've installed Sodium as a mod pack, and we're going to be picking a shader pack. Now, I should warn you in advance, the game is going to look completely different. So if you were watching the entire five hours of the first episode we recorded, it's going to look a little different. It's going to look just, just a tiny bit different. Like, you might not even notice the details, really, but uh, quite frankly, I think it might be hard not to. <laughs> All right, so we got clouds. Hello there, sir. How are you today? Uh, we have a crossbow in our offhand. That is absolutely just fabulous. I love that. Let's swap that out with this chicken right here. And we are probably going to go ahead and uh, build up this village in this episode. Man, good God, this looks gorgeous. Oh my days. Holy hell. So I got the shader packs working. What the hell? Oh, is it frozen again? Come off it. Why is Minecraft like this? It did this last session too. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so it looks a little bit different. My God, it looks, it looks absolutely delicious. This guy is harassing me a little bit. Can you please uh, give me some space? So we've got realistic water effects. This is the Optifine. This is actually a very, very consistently popular shader pack. Could you piss off, sir? No, he doesn't want to piss off. All right, let's piss off. Let's piss off on his behalf. So we'll come down here. We'll refresh our minds as to what we were doing. And I think we're probably going to get started on some productive enterprise while we're here. Because by the end of last episode, that's right, we've got this farm up and running, don't we? By the last the end of the last episode, we essentially had all of the resources to start making automation. And I don't really know how to make redstone objects, but we're going to kind of figure that out in this episode by ourselves, I think. Wow, this is so beautiful. Yes, as I mentioned, this is Optifine. It is a completely different experience, honestly, got to be said. I don't think the rendering distance is... Actually, this is very light on the computer. Whip fell in the only hole over here. So why don't we just go ahead and start terraforming for a little bit? I think we'll... We'll wait. There are a few shader packs we're going to choose from. There are four in total that I boiled them all down to. And we're probably going to be picking from those ones. Let's go ahead and fill this chest with all this crap that we've got in our backpack. Granite, terracotta, shore red sand. Don't want that. White terracotta, light grey terracotta. Yuck! Don't want that in our, in our pockets whatsoever. Sand can go in there as well. Orange terracotta. Yuck. We got a tripwire hook. That's pretty cool. I think that's what we made our crossbow out of. So we got some gunpowder. Got raw gold. Oh my God, we actually got a lot of stuff here. Maybe we go home. Maybe we go home and we... Oh, just ran into everybody. Maybe we go home and we try and figure out exactly how to smelt some of this resources down. So we should have a bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead and just fill up this slot right here. Up to 64. This one as well can be filled up to 64, done. And in this one, I'm going to smelt all of this gold. And in this one here, we probably want to smelt maybe iron if we have it. Don't want to smelt coal. Here, raw iron. Perfect. All right, so that is iron virtually taken care of for now. We've got a lot of meat. We've got a few diamonds, which is pretty cash money. We'll go ahead and put that there. And we've got some gunpowder. We've got some coal. Fantastic. We should probably expand out our storage too. That's probably going to be a really, really good thing that we try and do in the very, very near future as well. We got a lot of cobble deep slate in our hotbar for some stupid reason. Oh, that's right. I think our stone pickaxe broke. Now, I don't know why we are holding these torches in our pocket instead of putting them on our offhand. Oh! No shot! Does the torch like light? Oh, the torch lights up in our hand now! That has got to be a part of the shader pack. Oh, this is awesome. I love this so much. I actually can't. I've never used a shader pack before. I can't get over just how gorgeous it looks. Oh, it's moody. It's moody, guys. Look how moody this is. <laughs> I'm probably actually going to cry at some point just because of how beautiful it looks. All right. Uh, we want to do a little bit of terraform, didn't we? So we probably want to maybe expand out this right here, this agriculture we've got going. And we probably want to get rid of all these cacti from around the village because they are a bit of a pain in the ass. I don't know what this mist is supposed to be doing. Now, I also want to see some of the automation. I don't know if we can kind of like create traps to trap rabbits. That'd be kind of cool to get into. But I don't necessarily think it's going to be something we focus on full time. We probably actually want to get started on the actual base, which is going to be 
just over yonder's breadth, right over there at the other end of that. Because there is a portal right there that we can also cord on off and uh, we can use that as our portal to nether. Oh my god, this is... Oh, it is raining. Okay. I don't see any monsters though, so probably not night time. Yeah, there's a little island off in the distance there. I don't know if anybody can see it, but we're definitely going to set up a castle there. The shader felt a little too bright when it was day, but now it looks amazing. That sandstorm fog looks amazing. Yeah, I fully agree. Actually, that's a probably good point. Let's go ahead and go to options. We can actually change this now if we go into video settings, I think. So, we should be able to, okay, piss off. We should be able to like change, turn down the brightness or something like that, right? Brightness right here. Controls the brightness or gamma of the game. Let's put it down to like 42, maybe. Okay, we'll see how that looks in the day. Because you're right, the bloom was a little bit too aggressive. That looks sick. Did you catch what happens when you hold a torch? Look at this! It lights up the area! I actually really love this. So, we want this in our hot bath, basically in an offhand full time, unless we're doing combat, for which we will use this here crossbow. Put that right there. Uh, we need food. We're actually pretty low on food. We've got some apples, and we also need to go to the plains. So I've been doing a little bit of research, and we need to go and find a village out in the plains. So that we can get carrots. Carrots are actually uh, kind of essential for kind of like generating resources here. Little cat over there too. Okay, let's go home. We'll do a sleep. I think all of these villagers are trying to do a sleep as well. And I think today's goal is going to be to kick this villager out of the bed. There are monsters nearby. What do you mean there's monsters nearby? No shot. Well, we got an axe. Oh my god! Hello there, sir! Oh. Okay, good. Took care of him. That actually jump scared me. Okay, we should be able to sleep now. Perfect. We're going to wall off this village at some point too, so that monsters just flat out don't come in here. Because it is a little bit risky. Is this better? This looks significantly better, right? Oh my god. Look at this. Look at that. What's the screenshot key? Let's actually take some screenshots, because I haven't got a single thumbnail yet. Uh, Keybinds. There is a screenshot button somewhere. Uh, social interactions, no advancements, no. Take screenshot. F2. Okay. Easy. Done. We'll do that right this second. We'll take a photo every time there's something beautiful. Good. Okay, so... We want to make a bunch of beds as well. Maybe get some more villagers out here. Hello there, sir. What have you got today? Nothing. Just negativity. That's fine. Uh, let's see if we've cooked up any sand into, into some glass yet. Because we probably want some, don't we? Alright, this is almost done, actually. We'll wait for this. And then, we'll go out. We'll go on an adventure. Because we did see a village off in the distance in the previous episode as well. Kind of like, further than we've ever gone before. But we will, we will go that far. Oh my god. Uh, yesterday I went to the gym and I increased my limit on the leg press. I am now leg pressing 305 kilograms, which is um, very, very insanely high. But <laughs> I, I did it. I finished my fourth set of six of this and my feet went numb. And I was like, oh no, maybe I've pinched a nerve or something. But it didn't hurt or anything like that. So I googled it, obviously. And what had happened is that I did not pinch a nerve. What I had done is I was pressing the weight faster than my my body could re-oxygenate my muscles. So it was like, it was kind of like the circulation was, was too low to actually sustain the weight that I was pressing. Oh, and naturally, I finished my set before I um, googled why my feet were tingly numb. But at the same time, like, it's, it's pretty funny to think that that's even a thing. I hear a spider, and we do need silk. Oh, there it is. Good. Let's go and uh, grab this guy's delicious silk so that we can eat it. It'd be kind of nice if they drop like carapace. Don't you dare. All right, good. And excellent. We need a silk. We're probably going to need it to make ourselves a bunch of uh, weaponry and stuff like that. Should probably also think about maybe cooking some meat or something. We can probably light this entire wall up, actually, with furnaces. Let's do that. Let's just do that right now. So I'm going to get uh, just an A pickaxe, and we're going to put a another furnace right here, because we're probably getting to the point where we need to do so. How do we make them? I think we need cobble. Does this work? Oh, it does. Perfect. Okay, sweet. Right, uh, let's put this right here. Hello there, sir. Just using my house, I see. That's creepy and weird. Uh, let's put some charcoal here. We'll put these six raw muttons in there, and we'll eat that. We'll, we'll eat that delicious food before we go on our adventure. I know we could probably farm up a, a billion beets, but I don't want to. What am I, Skrillex? Ha! Got him! The hell is this? Kinda weird. Get rid of that. That's unsightly. We probably also want to get rid of some of these uh, doorways here and replace them with stairs so that they look really cool. That would 
would probably be a really good idea, actually. Maybe we should just do that. We also can't sprint because we are starving. Now, if I go ahead and I look at our house that we have right here, we could probably actually build up the sandbank to go along the ground so we don't need to use these stairs here. And there's another house here. I think we're going to dismantle this house eventually. And we're probably going to replace it with something a bit less uh, jank. Jank and awkward. Okay, I'm just looking for something to do basically while I'm, while I'm waiting for the food to cook. Now, I do want to make a redstone machine, because I have plants in my head. I've had these plants in my head since I was on the Bedrock Edition, and I couldn't make this machine in the Bedrock Edition, because it is a multi-block structure. It requires redstone, and in Bedrock, if you don't make them compact enough to adhere to just a single chunk, then as soon as you leave that chunk, the whole machine just breaks. Like, it, it doesn't function anymore, which is really annoying, uh, because you basically want automation as soon as possible. All right, we've got some pumpkins here. Gonna need some pistons as well to automate that and melons. Got some golden apples, got some granite. We're gonna need a heap of iron as well, I think. We're probably gonna need like, I think it's 50 iron ingots that we need. How much sand have we got? Well, that's not what we want. Let's actually get a, a, a whole stack of sand. Because I saw a couple of these iron golems over here and they're significantly easier to take out than any of the other wankers in the game. In terms of dropping resources. So if I go ahead and I go up three blocks, somebody told me that we can literally just beat this guy to death by mashing the button like this. We don't waste any durability on our tools, even though they're a renewable resource. And when these guys die, they drop three iron, which is actually just fantastic. Okay, let's use a weapon. Uh, let's crouch. Two. This guy had heaps of health, oh my god. Almost, oh my god, did he resist all of our punches? I think he actually did. What a guy. Nice, we got some rotten flesh in our pocket. Love that for us. Uh, there should be another iron golem over here. They're not actually kind of like defending against anything that comes in here either. Let's get rid of all of this unsightly grass as well. Just while it's fresh on the mind. All right, good. Get rid of all of this. Probably want to wall off this entire chasm as well because it leads down into our mining shaft and we don't necessarily want any miners coming up from there, do we? No, 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 no. We definitely do not want that. All right, done. God, I love this shader pack so much. Let's go get our food and we'll go on a little adventure. How does that sound? I think that sounds really, really nice. I, th I think that's probably a good thing. Let's go do that now. So, yeah, we also probably want to dismantle some of these structures and rebuild them somewhere. We could probably actually build them better than they are because they've only got a single bed in them. This guy's got a chair. Wow, wow, we were king of the castle. Not so good for me. We could probably just pack out rooms with beds, right? We could get like a five beds in, in a single house, realistically. Okay, nothing there. We've got 64 acacia uh, seed saplings. That's pretty crazy. Here we go. All of our food, and we still have all of our iron as well. Is it still cooking? No, we've got glass in there now. Perfect. We probably want to get another couple of chests, honestly. Let's get another double chest. Un. De. And that's enough. That should be enough. Let's get rid of this rotten flesh, put that in there. Boop, boop. And this can be our valuables chest. Lapis, gold, redstone, iron, obviously. And we'll take all of the stuff out of here that's pretty valuable. Like, well, I'm not really too attached to the, the sword and the hoe right here. We'll take these diamonds because they're pretty valuable. Eggs are going to be valuable. Golden apple, that's fairly valuable. Gold nuggets, those are valuable too. We've got some iron nuggets, those are valuable. What else we got? Leads? Not so much. Honestly, not so much. Oh, there's still two acacia planks in here. Let's go ahead and stack that in our inventory. Good, we got diamonds, apple, we got gold, we got nuggets, and do we have anything else that can realistically go in there? No, we do not. Okay. Excellent. Hello again. Hello there, space. How are we today? I am in a fantastic mood. Look how beautiful Minecraft has become. The sun is still square, though, which is very concerning. Okay, so now that we've got all of our food, let's go on a little adventure. We'll go and try and find ourselves a map. How the hell do we make a map? We probably want to make a map, don't we? I don't think we have the recipe unlock. We're probably going to need paper for a map, and for paper, we need sugarcane, right? It, was, it, was it sugarcane? I think it is. There is a reason that I immediately grow these all over the place as soon as I see them. I think we need, like, Maybe a whole stack of sugarcane or something like that. We're going to try and make a map. We don't want to get lost while we're out exploring. Because uh, that'll suck ass. 
All right, let's uh, make a crafting bench. We're probably actually going to need one while we're out and about as well, so we'll just put that there. Damn, didn't deposit the eggs. We'll do that on the way back home. So how do we make this paper? We got to like, is it like this? No? I don't, oh, here we go. Okay, we got three paper. Now, what do we do with this? Map. We haven't unlocked anything still. What the hell is this? Jungle. Oh, a boat with a chest. I don't think we can ride in there. That's pretty funny. Also, do you know what a wither storm is? No, I've never heard of that in my life. Uh, that sounds terrifying. I, I'm not entirely sure I want to see that. All right, let's get rid of this. We'll plant down all of the resources that we just picked up here. And these can grow good because we do need all of the paper we can get eventually. I do remember just how much of a pain in the ass enchanting is. So we want to grow as much of the stuff as possible. Excellent. Going to get rid of these little shrubberies. Pick up some sticks that'll allow us to make some tools later. Good. Now let's go deposit these eggs before we forget. Oh, we've filled up a stack of sticks. That's annoying. Okay, we'll deposit these ones here. And also probably this rotten flesh that we don't want. What else here? Feathers? Probably get rid of those. Trip eye hook? Don't want that. Cactus? No thank you. Flower pot? Yuck. Cacia saplings? We're not taking those with us. Okay, let's go ahead, come in here. We'll put our eggs in there because they are pretty valuable to us. They are going to generate infinite resources very, very shortly. Wait, is that already sundown? Oh, it is. That's insane. That is actually insane. Okay, crazy. Ooh. All right, so we'll come all the way through this away. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go scouting ahead just really quickly anyway because I did see a village on the horizon. I don't know if it's a plains village, but I know it is a village, and we can probably make it there before sundown. All right. I'm also mowing the lawns, even though it's costing us inventory space. Hello, chicken. Thank you for the egg. Oh my god, I love this. With the storm is three heads with one eye, black giant monster. You can find it, but it's hard. Wait, is that just like um? That's one of the summonable bosses, right? I think I saw that when I was playing on Bedrock. But I don't necessarily think that I saw it otherwise. So if we go into the horizon over here, we can always just run back and avoid all the monsters. And if we die, it's absolutely fun. We'll just respawn at a bed, we'll sleep, and we'll go get our things. So where was it? Where was that, where was that village? Are the frames going okay, by the way? When I sprint, I, I feel like I'm dropping frames. I don't want to drop frames. The hell is that? It's a hill. Oh, here it is. I think. Is this it? No, okay, we gotta run back. <laughs> Sundown came a lot faster than I thought it would. Premature almost, one would say. Yes? Okay, sick. Yeah, I definitely have seen one of those before. I didn't realize it was called a storm. Appropriate though, very appropriate. Oh my God, this is all so gorgeous. Holy hell, look at this. Look at this. I'll turn the hut off. <laughs> what do we think about this? I love it. I actually love this. Almost just fell into a chasm. That's pretty funny. Okay, let's go ahead and use a few bolts of sand. Come up here real quickly. We will hide our HUD and then we'll take a nice screenshot of the surrounding area. Boop. There we go. Done. Let's get this all the way off. I know I'm wasting time. I could probably be a little bit faster before the monsters spawn. But if the monsters spawn, they burn in the daylight and they tend to drop resources when they do that. The moon seems pretty cool. Yeah, I know, right? It's sick. Uh, we're going to be picking a shader pack today. This is the first one. This is Optifine. I'm going to kind of like cycle through them every hour, I think. And there should be enough time to kind of like see all of them and then we'll pick. We'll, we'll pick which shader pack we like the most. Let's go ahead and do a sleep real quick. Nice! Steal someone's bed? Not necessary. Not necessary whatsoever. Hello there, sir. Uh, this is kind of like our interim house. Uh, we've got an egg. Let's go ahead and put it in here. I also hear a spider, which we're going to probably axe to death to take his nice silk. Ah, uh, yeah. All of the monsters are burning up there. That's pretty funny. Hello there, Captain Spider. How are you today? Boop. <laughs> he got railed. Oh, he didn't drop any silk. Just a crap old spider's eye. Duck. Duck. No one like that. All right, let's go ahead and come into here, because we've got another spider's eye. We've got some silk in there now, too. Actually, string is kind of valuable, isn't it? We should probably put it in our valuables chest, just so we don't... Just so we don't kind of, like, 
mix ourselves up too much. All right, let's go find that village. I think we could probably be able to see it from atop the tower if we're lucky. It may have been a desert village, but it's probably going to be best to raid it regardless because it's free resources, no? Hey, let me up. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, I can't see anything from here. I think we may have seen it from the mesa just over that away. There's not a hell of a lot from this tower that we can really see. Giant chasm right there, that's yucky. Yeah, maybe we want to go that way, or at least, like, try cross that hill right there. Can we just, like, jump into water from here? No, we can't. Okay. It's just certain death. It's only death. There's only death if we fall down the tower. Okay, good. And we'll come through here. What the hell are these guys doing? Are they fornicating? Fornicating is illegal here, sir! No fornicating! Ooh, this guy will actually buy our wheat and our beets. Fornicate away. You guys do you. I don't care. You're almost a thousand subscribers, just 20 subs away. I know, I'm so excited, right? I'm also really excited because I'm one subscriber away from 969, which is a funny number. God, I hope I don't miss it. I'm probably going to miss it. I get a lot of subscribers when I start streaming. Okay, we went this way last time. We want to go this way this time, don't we? We Jump that chasm of death right there. Another chasm of death. Let's jump it. Good. So I think maybe if we just kind of like cross over this hill right here, we should be able to see exactly what we're after. We're pretty, honestly, comparative to how long we've been playing, we're pretty low on resources and we've had some real unlucky spawns when it comes to the, uh, what are they? The, not villages, mines. I mean, we could go down there. I don't actually want to, though. <laughs> it's an absolute mess. Oh, that's death. Certain death. Uh, let's come up here. And we'll see if we can't see a village from over yonder's breadth. Maybe we just climb up here. Maybe we go to the high ground. We'd, we'd take a wee peek around. How does that sound? What are we looking at? Nothing. That's funky as hell. I want to know what the hell is up with that area right there. It's like... Oh. <laughs> It's like half Mesa, half, um, half Death Trap. We'll go over there. Sure. Well, why not? Just get a bucket of water to land on the ground easy. Uh, I think it'll be fine. We're just going to kind of like parkour around the place. We're not going to take any massive risks because that's what we were doing in hardcore and it always got us killed. Uh, nothing over there. It's bad, bad decisions. Uh, for anyone watching the VODs in the future, we're listening to Bad Omens, uh, Love is the Death of Peace of Mind, the album. We're going to be rotating that all stream because it slaps. It's such a good album. That is real funky over there. <laughs> like, this is funky enough. Like, a bunch of different colors, but why? what the hell is going on here? What in the, what in the geometry generation is this? Kind of cool. Maybe I want to set up a base over here as well. Like, that'd be kind of cool, right? An island mesa? Oh, my God. Now, there's one thing about the, sh the shader packs that we are going to have to, like, lose out on when it comes to quality of life. And that's being able to see basically infinitely into the ocean. The way the, sh the shader packs have uh, the ocean is that there's kind of, like, there's underwater fog, which sounds a little bit silly, but if you've ever actually been diving, you'll know that visibility is probably the biggest issue of diving in the first place. Okay, let's go in here and we'll do a little bit of a swim, sure. Oh, nice. Yeah, like this. This is actually a thing that you encounter while diving. Oh, it gets darker as you go deeper. Oh, that's concerning, actually. That's really concerning. Right, let's go ahead and breathe. Okay, and we're good. I'm gonna go all the way down and over here. Cause I think this way was where the village was. I've never seen that island before. I know it's it's pretty uh, wacky, isn't it? Maybe we want to set up a base there of some sort. Maybe we put like a mining facility there with like a giant drill, a, just an enormous drill going into the middle, like a BP drilling platform. Uh, but unlike BP, uh, we won't plan to spill 200 million tons of petrol into the Mexican Gulf. Oh, we can actually kind of see underwater with the um, with the with the little lights. That's very awesome, actually. I I do like the little additions that have been added to the game over time. Okay, let's go into this savannah plane. Kind of hard to say, actually. There are, in fact, 
a lot of planes, uh, uh, savannah trees here, but this looks like planes. All right, good. Well, I can wait for you at the bottom. I mean, no one knew that there was bad omens. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and eat this here steak. We'll eat a couple of steaks before we go on our adventure. I wonder if we can eat raw chicken. Probably not. It's probably not something we can do. Oh my god, there's another one! What? That is so quirky! We also haven't found that village that we definitely saw in the last episode. It may have been over the hill and far away in the other direction. Look at that! It looks like a, it looks like a Tesla rocket. Like a spaceship. It actually looks like a spaceship. Okay, we'll come over here. See what else there is to explore. We'll get a, a lay of the land, I think. I don't think we'll worry too much about anything else initially for this like first hour or so. We'll, we'll just get a lay of the land. We'll look at how beautiful Optifine is because Optifine is very beautiful, got to be said. There's a wee sheep over there as well. We probably want to start attacking the sheep and harvesting their wool so that we can craft beds for the excess villages that we want. So let's go ahead and just do that. We'll start hoarding mutton and wool. Uh, boy, done. Get those right there. We could probably just farm the sheep, but I don't really think that's necessary. This is a cool biome. I really look. That looks like a skull. Oh, that's the village. That's the village over there. That's the one I saw. Nice. But sadly, the spaceship doesn't work. Yeah, it's got no nose. So how does it smell? <laughs> I'm really sorry about that pun. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Looks like a segregated canal right here. Nice. What the hell is that? Oh, it's probably bamboo from a distance, right? It's like a, it's it's a it's a weird PNG kind of kind of thing. So maybe it is actually just a, just a bamboo from a distance. We got some salmon down here as well. We can actually one hit these fish as well with an axe, which is also very cool. So maybe we're not too hard pressed for food. All right, good. Yeah, I see something over here. What the hell is this? Is this an armadillo? Not anymore. Okay, I've got a couple of chickens here. We probably need to start killing them for their feathers, honestly. Because we are going to go as an archer main. Oh, for God's sake. Stop! <laughs> Cease! There we go, good. That's one. Two. Okay, got some got some chicken out of that one. And this one here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good. Got that chicken, too. We're going for the feathers. There is something over here. Well, I, I see structures off on the horizon. I just don't know what the hell they could possibly be. I love the deserts, by the way. I love the deserts with this shade deck. I've always loved the deserts, but this one specifically is just... Oh, chef's kiss. It's a new mob. Uh, the armadillo. Does it actually drop anything? I don't know. I think we saw it in the last playthrough, or at least a hardcore world. And I looked at it and I was like, huh, oh, that's weird to add to the game. Why don't they add, like, um... I don't know. A puma? A lynx? What the hell is this? This area is sick, by the way. I love this. Look at this. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so this is kind of like booby trapped, right? If we go through here, there's like a... Yeah, there's a giant chasm. So I know how to get through here. We've got to start mining a little staircase. Basically just going around the outskirts here. So let's go ahead and do that. Good. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, there should be pressure plates down there. One pressure plate. Okay, I've got a new strategy. I'm going to sand my way down here. This is a strategy, by the way. It works really, really well. Good, and now we break all of this. This is why I always carry a stack of sand with me. It's for this exact reason. And now we want to get rid of this pressure plate here. Nice! Okay, what do we get? A bunch of crap, honestly. Now, I know a way of getting all of this faster than just clicking on it. We take it all. What's in here? Bones! What the hell is this? A smithing template for a dune armor trim. I got two of them. Cool! Don't know what they do, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. We also got an enchanted book for efficiency one. That's not amazing. Wait, what's this? We got some more dune armor trim smithing templates. That's cool. And what's in here? More crap. We got a lot of bones, actually, which we could probably use as fertilizer if we're hard-pressed for... Infinity. Okay, excellent. If we're hard pressed for wood, we'll just use those. But I don't think we ever will. We also got an emerald, which is just gorgeous. Now, to utilize the stack of sand, 
and go back up here. Yes, perfect. I love how vanilla this is. Now, this would actually be a, a pretty good place to kind of like set up a, whoops, a temporary base. So maybe we'll also want to do that. Let's just put some um, torches around the place, I think. One there. Nice. Uh, one there. Nice. And one there. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and kind of repair all of the stuff that we've already kind of crapped on. Sandstone, I think, the floor is, aside from one block. One block there. One block there. One block there. And I think that one's supposed to be some kind of terracotta. Yeah, orange terracotta right here. Done. Excellent. You should use the bones for dogs. Hey, that's actually a really good idea. Maybe I will do that. Good shout. Good shout indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and stick a torch here. And if we can, we'll make this into kind of like a forward operating base. In fact, you know what? Let's get rid of this right here. And we'll put the crafting table right there instead. Excellent. So we can't make a bed because we don't have enough wool. I don't want to waste all of the string into making blocks of wool. Oh, we kind of could actually. All right, let's do that. I don't think we can turn the wool into string, though. I, I don't think that's actually a thing. Okay, that's easy. Let's put this here, and we'll also get some white wool. Done. We've made a bed. <coughs> now let's also go ahead and make a door. Some acacia doors. Just so that we're not kind of like caught with our pants down out here in the dark. Uh, that is facing the wrong way. I hate that. I actually resent that. Although, what I do love about the acacia doors specifically is you can see through them. Good. So, we could also make a little pressure plate just so we can not get screwed over. How do we make this? Just there. Good. So, two doors. Perfect. We've already got ourselves a little forward operating base. Beautiful. Ah, hello, it's me, the god of your dreams, remember? Yes, I remember you, timeless god. Oh, uh, you'll be pleased to hear that I've started scripting out the um, Undertale game theory, and my god, it is so comprehensive. It is actually insane. I know you keep taking an interest in the, uh, the Undertale stuff that I'm doing. Put one there, put one there. Probably want a staircase going up there, right? We want to be able to access this, this point here? Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, so, I'm going to sand my way up here. Let's go ahead and do that. Life is an illusion. Everything pre-planned -pre by gold. By God, right? Uh, I would agree with you if I believed in fate, but I don't necessarily. Let's plug this in right here. Plug. Plug. Good. And there's another one over here that I'm going to plug in. Plug. Plug. And there's also a little piece of the skylight here that we want to plug as well right there. Nice. Now we have an interior. Uh, let's get rid of these little lights here and here because that's unnecessary. Let's stick a sandstone block there and we'll stick one here as well. And then we'll also go ahead and put a torch there. Torch there. Torch there. Torch there. It's night time. Honestly, we, we, we don't really uh, care too much about... Oh, we already found the stone pressure plate. We could have just used that. We don't really care about nighttime too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and right here. Let's make a staircase going up this away, I think. Probably just make some stairs out of this uh, solid sandstone, right? Now, do we have to cook sand to make sandstone? Or can we just like craft it like this? Oh, we can craft it like this. Beautiful. Okay, good. Because we've got so much sand. It is ridiculous. What am I doing? It's just like, let's use halves. Let's use the halve method. Boom, 15 sandstone. That should do the trick. Let's turn this into sandstone steps. Probably going to need more than four. I don't remember though. We've got eight. Gorgeous. So the first one, put that there and I'm going to go here and put that. I'm going to go under here, place this inverted so it looks kind of cool. And then we'll do the same thing here. And one here, excellent. And another one right here. Nice, probably gonna have to mine into the floor to reach these next ones. Let's go ahead and just do it regardless. Fortune favors the bald. That there, excellent. And this one, right there. I know it's not like particularly symmetrical, but I think it's absolutely, f in fact, we could probably actually just move this one block over. It is bothering me now that I see it. Okay, good. We will remove that one there because it's unnecessary to be there. Put a sandstone block right there and then we'll do this all again all the way under here. And one here. And one here. Wonderful. And right here. 
always remember that life is an illusion. Well, it's not really though, is it? Because you you can influence everything that you touch. So is it really is it really fake? Life can't really be fake if if you can influence everything you touch. You know, I think therefore I am. Ah, oh, that's much more pleasing to look at, honestly. Oh, my head. Okay, let's go ahead and remove this right here. That's a bit better. I like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the sand now. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of the sand. There's not a lot of sand to get rid of, but we did it anyway. Uh, we'll plug in these holes that we made. And now we should be golden. In fact, we could probably... Yeah, I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to mine out all of this. And I'm going to expand out the temple by one. And I know it's going to be somewhat asymmetrical. But it should function exactly how we want it to. With a staircase. I don't really see any enemies around the place either. Okay, good. And now we want to plug in here. We still got a lot of sand. We could probably just craft into blocks. Using the little split method that we have here. Done. Okay. Uh, I'm moving the staircase over. It probably makes the most sense. Actually, why would I move it over? Why wouldn't I just like place it <laughs> like this? Alongside. Ah, we're out of stairs. That's why. Okay. Let's go ahead and demolish these. Excellent. And the reason I'm moving this over is because I kind of don't like it right up against these here supports. One here. One there. One here. And mine into the floor to get to the others. Uh, right there. Very good. And one more. Boop. Right there. Good. Okay, so now we have to replace all of these. And we are going to mine out these here. So that we can also place another step right there. Gorgeous. And this one right there. Done. Excellent. Okay, I like this little mezzanine floor we've got here. Uh, we're probably going to put a bed, maybe not recessed into... Oh, actually, why not? What's the harm? The bed is obstructed. Never mind, that's the harm. Okay. Uh, let's just stick it, I don't know, in this corner over here, maybe? We can probably just plug in all of the walls around here so that we don't ever tempt fate about it. Do we have any sand to do so? No, we do not. That's fine. We'll go ahead and do a sleep. We could probably also put a, a glass skylight in here as well, so that we can actually see out of it. Excellent. I hear the skeletons dying. It sounds painful, actually. Ah, oh, well, sucks to be them. I'm, I'm listening for the death sound. The, de the gargles of the skeletons. Damn, they took a beating. A real walloping by the sun. I hope they didn't just hide behind something. Alright, good. Nice. I don't know where it died. Oh, it did drop some arrows. Perfect. We need to start collecting arrows, too. Oh, what's this? What is this? I've never seen this before in my life. What? Oh, we've got a... That's sick. Okay. So there's now more entrances and exits. How many of them are there, though? There's another one over here. Let's go ahead and put a torch on that terracotta bit. Is that the same one? Yes, good. Okay, so... I do want to door this off. But we don't have enough sandstone to do it, actually. Which is a bit of a shame. You know, <laughs> it probably doesn't actually matter that much. Let's go ahead and just put the doors down. Like one... Oh, hello there. So, you're moving into my house. That's... Welcome, I guess. What do you sell? What are you selling? You selling anything good? Uh, green dye, blue dye, a mangrove popagule. Propagule. Something like that. Rooted dirt, brown mushroom, and gunpowder. Gunpowder could be handy. Other than that, no. Useless. Okay, can't really put a, a door down here. Oh well. We tried. We tried. Probably actually get some sand up, right? And then we can block it all off. But why bother? When we could spend the time. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. What is this? Okay. I don't know what else... We are going to find, but it seems like this is a really big zone. Good grief. I love this. I love that even more. There's God rays. There's actually God rays. Okay, let's jump into this here ravine. And then we'll swim up here. We're out of food, by the way. So we're probably not going to be able to regenerate a lot more. 
other than by eating the beets and apples that we have, which is not an ideal source of energy, but it is a source of energy if we get caught in a pinch. All right, what's up here? Uh, looks like a fall to our death. Awesome. Love that for us. Uh, let's go to the top of the hill. I thought this would be the top of the hill, but it's not. All right, some brown terracotta there. All right, what's up here? There is a higher hill over there. I like that kind of like the viewport right here. That is so sick. Do we want to like put a base up here? So when every time we, we look through that hole, we see like our own base at the village or our village. That'd be, that'd be cool. We could do that. Uh, wow, this is a very comprehensive mesa. Oh no, I think it may span as far as the eye can see. That's not amazing. This is piss yellow. <laughs> I don't know why they added piss yellow to the game. That's funny. Okay. So up here, oh my god, it never ends. We found a mountainous ravine of a mesa. Cool. Cool, I really like this. There's another um, armadillo right there. I'm going for it. Okay, I'm going to go all the way this way, and then we're going to see what is off the other edge of this here map. We probably still want to get ourselves a map about as fast as possible. I think we need ink sacks, so we probably need to take out a squid of some sort. I submitted a playlist. I think it should be in You Bop, You Lose. Uh, no playlists. That is a hard rule, unfortunately, TJ. We are doing only albums. Only albums. Check it out, please. I'm, again, not going to do it now either because I'm streaming. And I've made a hard rule as of a couple of weeks ago to just, like, not derail the stream with a bunch of reaction content because I can't make it transformative. Ah, we've got a forest, it looks like. What the hell am I even looking at? It is an album? You just said it was a playlist. Okay. What else are we looking at? Not a hell of a lot. Ah, uh, what is it? Just tell me what it is. I've probably heard it before. Music is a, a huge part of my life. Check it out later? Oh, I will. I'm pretty active on the Discord. I read all of the messages there regardless of whether or not I respond to them. Okay, this place is a mess. This place is an actual mess. Maybe we don't want to be here whatsoever. It's too mountainous. All right, I've decided against it. I've decided against it. We're not doing it. We're going back to the safety and sanctuary of the desert. I'm hoping our village is going to be that way, because if it's not, we may be pissing in our own face. Maybe. It's a big maybe. Hi and bye. Hey there, Red Rugs. Good to see you. Later. <laughs> okay, uh, come through. Oh, that was close. I oh, we need these. Beautiful. Yes, this is in fact the thing I wanted to see. Look at this. We found ourselves some minecart tracks. Yes, please. We do actually need a bunch of these for the uh, very near future, so I will hoard these. They're very uh, kind of like resource heavy to make and they're annoying now how do you bust these down is, is it an axe or is it a saw that gets through these real fast it's good i think it's a we still have a table on us don't we crafting table no we put it away okay let's make another one and we'll drop this right here and then we will make ourselves a sword because apparently we do actually need to do so now we'll just make a cobble sword and we should be able to get string out of this, right? So this is immediately a resource that we want. Good. Let's go ahead and bust this down. Nice. Sword for cobwebs? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Where are the spiders at? There should be a bunch of monsters and, and spiders and ghoulies and stuff down here, right? Because it's dark? And a little bit grim? Okay, I don't know why I put that there. There's a torch right there. Do I hear monsters? Is that what I'm hearing right now? I am also a string hoarder. Oh. Bugger. Okay, I'll go this way first. Seems like there's nothing down here. Why were they mining t uh, terracotta? Hello, human. I'm the great Pepperus. Hello there, Pepperus. Are you the same Pepperus that we had in previous streams? I just don't know. There's so many people who have named themselves after Undertale characters. Oh, uh, guys, I finished scripting Pepperus as a side character, and I'll give you some spoilers because they're pretty minor spoilers for my game theory. Sans went through something traumatic, and uh, Pepperus's kind of like entire character is stimulated by the desire and need for the approval of his brother 
who's kind of like too traumatized and distanced to actually give him that. So Papyrus is kind of like a, a, a victim of, of emotional neglect, which is pretty interesting, huh? Yes, there it is again. Uh, yeah, we've seen a couple of the armadillos. I don't think I'm necessarily going to... Are they worth killing? Do they drop anything? Okay, they've got to be like 100% damage resistance like that, right? Floor Decine is the name of the album. Okay, I will check it out. I've never heard of that. Is there any reason to kill those things? I don't think there is. Okay, let's go ahead and axe away again. Noise. Noise. This is a pretty big mine, actually. Got one here. Got one here. Why am I axing these? <laughs> I was actually using an axe to get rid of them, not a pickaxe. Got more of them over here. Okay, so this is actually going to be really, really helpful later for another project that I'm kind of going to be working on, but I don't really want to tell anyone what it is just yet. Oh, piss on that! No, get them, get them, get them fast, and we run out. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. We're off. I'm out. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. What have I? What have I? Am I playing Ring Around the Rosie with this guy? I must be. Or maybe he didn't actually see me. This is a bad place to be. This is boxed in. Okay, it looks fine. Should be fine. Woo! Woo! This isn't... What the hell is this? Oh, this is still Bad Omens. Oh my god. That is a really heavy song, isn't it? Good grief! Okay, uh, bring up my streaming software. Sorry, I thought uh, Spotify had Smart Shuffle on or something like that. Okay. We're back into it. Uh, the sun is going down. We're probably going to have to go back to our little forward operating base. Where the hell was it? It's probably off this way, right? It's probably behind that uh, gigantic Mesa Willy right there. Ooh. Design? Floor design? Oh, okay. Uh, DJ, you spelled it wrong in your first message. <laughs> Oh, that's, this is why I fell in love with Bad Omens. They're really, really good at the hardcore beatdown stuff. Love it. I love the song. I completely forgot it was even in the album as well. All right. Forward operating base. It's just over there. I see it. We're probably going to want to put a torch on it as well in case we see it. I love the Badlands. It always reminds me of UHC Generations. What the hell is UHC? Or is that like UFC? Universal Fight Club. Undesirable fighting cocks. I don't know. I've n I don't know what UFC stands for. I just know that they hit each other until one falls down. Okay, let's come in here because we are about to go down, down in an earlier round. And sugar, we're going down sleeping. Down in here. Gorgeous. Huh? Get out of my house, you oaf. The hell are you doing in here? What an asshole. Maybe every time you put down your own bed or something, um... Okay, it's not nighttime just yet. Ah, it's a Minecraft series? What, is it a YouTube series or is it kind of like a, one of those mod packs? Ultra hardcore, hardcore, but without natural heart regen. Wait, so how do you get the heart regen? What the hell are you drinking? Did you just drink your own urine? That is disgusting. Or did he milk this llama? One of these llamas is not on a lead. Okay, they don't like me. They just tried to spit on me. So, there wasn't really anything helpful that way. I think we go back to main base and probably think about the possibility of just kind of like handing in all of our crap. Maybe? I am going to light this up a little bit better than it is, though, so that we know it's a forward operating base. Oops. Oops. Don't want to eat that raw chicken. Uh, that one, right there. Good. Put that there. Put that there. Just to make sure we can see it from a distance. Put that one there. And I'm pretty sure we stuck one on top of the plates. Surely we did. Be stupid if we didn't. Whew. It's on YouTube? Oh, I'm, I'm never going to see it then. You can get heart regen from regen effects, like from golden apples or potions. Ah, that is kind of cool. No, I, um, I don't watch YouTube anymore, unless it's like Markiplier playing FNAF or something like that, or Umpaville doing a, a bit of a deep dive into some, some twits of the week. Other than that, I don't really watch a lot of uh, YouTube myself. 
I'm actually, all of my time is spent literally recording videos, making streams, and then managing my Discord and my, uh, and my channel. Okay, I don't really see a lot else. And we're also starving to death. Maybe we do want to eat this raw chicken, but I also don't want salmonella. You should do Into the Pit. So many people have said that recently, and, like, I could do it, but at the same time, Markiplier just did it, and then he beat it on the, the Nightmare Mode as well. I can't top Markiplier. I, as good as my channel is, I can't top Markiplier. Okay, good. It's basically first in, first serve when it comes to, when it comes to um, Markiplier and I. Oh, last night I had a, a rather offensive interaction with Yintset. Uh... Insim, the, the guy that everybody keeps mixing me up with, keeps playing all these indie games. And I saw one yesterday that was kind of like, I think he called it Observation Duty, but it's hyper-realistic. And I was like, this is really interesting. I had it up on my, my PlayStation while I was kind of like winding down for the night. And uh, Yinset was in the room laying on her bed, doom scrolling. And uh, five minutes in, she looks up and she goes, oh, I thought that was you. <laughs> and I was like, no. No, this is the guy who has been the bane of my life so far. <laughs> He's really good, though. I, I do really like him. I'm just a big fan of the UHC series. Good on you. Everybody needs a reason to live. The important part is that one person owns the world at a time, and when one dies, they give the world to something else. Oh, that's kind of cool. I've got a similar thing kind of lined up with Skyblock after we kind of, like, exhaust all of the options of, of vanilla here. I'm going to be opening it up for just a one-on-one -on -one duos with a different person every single time. And every episode, they're going to die in some horrible, gory, grisly death. Or if they, or if they don't die by that way, they'll have died by their own stupidity. <laughs> but it'll be a different person every time. So we'll get a, a real broad range of kind of like play styles and stuff. I might do like, uh, I might do voice chat. Might not. Haven't decided yet. Mod it and make it harder to beat it? You could say you could mod games to make it harder and beat it? You, you have just beat Mark? Yeah, I mean, like, it's not about difficulty, though. It's, it's, it's an entertainment thing. If people really want the challenge of a really hard game, they'll generally seek it out themselves. But if they want to be entertained, they'll just watch someone who's really, really funny. That's where I slot in. That's where Markiplier slots in. And also Insim. Although Insim is uh, kind of... I don't want to, like, offend anybody, but he's less funny and more informative. And I think that's where his, his demographic comes from. Uh, we can't make that jump. We have no stamina. We're going to have to go into the ravine like an absolute oath. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to play all the Five Nights at Freddy's games uh, sequentially as well. I will be doing that in the future. I, I just haven't uh, decided when, because I've got so many things lined up. Bone. Yes, nice. Thank you. Excellent. We're in the bone zone. We're all in the bone zone. Uh, we filled in this here farm. It actually looks like a nice little centerpiece, doesn't it? Maybe we want to keep it like that. We can use that as kind of like the town square or something. Okay, let's, let's go raid this guy's house. Oh, he's got books. Hello, sir. Piss off. Ah, oh, that's unhelpful. So this is the guy that does the enchanting, right? He will sell us a bookshelf for emeralds. You know, since he can't actually enchant anything for us, I think it would probably actually be a better use of these books to be in our house. Or at least in our pocket. Okay, we're going to take these books. We probably have to throw out some crap first, like the stone pressure plate. Let's get rid of that. And we'll bust all of this down. Nice. Okay. Done. Nice. Well, why did you put Omega Flowey in Pacifist? That's a great question. What number Minecraft stream is this? Uh, this is the second one of the Forever World that we're playing in. We played a few hardcore uh, initially, but ultimately... Uh, we kept getting one hit by things that I'd never seen before. Well, maybe not one hit, but we were definitely getting screwed over by mechanics that I just flat out never seen before because I stopped playing this at about, like, I don't know, 2018, I think? Just when they released the copper update. And I stopped playing it because they released the copper update and it broke uh, essentially what was my world. Keep feathers as well. We're going to need to craft a lot of arrows. Uh, we'll put these in the valuables chest because they are kind of valuable to us now. Rails, definitely valuable. We'll keep all the string. We've got 16 string, which is pretty good. Emeralds, yes please. Golden apple, yes please. Uh, enchanting books, I suppose we'll keep those. Somewhere else. I don't know what these smithing templates are for. Dune armor chin, trim. It just applies to armor. Okay, well, I mean, I'll keep it. We've got some iron horse armor. Gorgeous. And we have gunpowder, which I consider valuable. That is a hot take, though. Not many people do. 
Books are also a little bit valuable, so let's keep those. Spider eyes, none of this crap is valuable whatsoever. Armadillo scoot? What? I didn't even know what that is. Gross. Have we got 21 rotting flea? Oh, right, the chests. That's right. So we've also got some spider's eyes. We've got some bones. We've got some armadillo scoot that I'll just dump in here. I don't really care about it too much. we got food. We should probably actually invest some of our iron into making an auto cooker. Might be a really good idea. Because the instance first playthrough was neutral. Oh, what on? Uh, yeah, it was. It was neutral. Uh, we did a blind playthrough on Undertale first, and then we did the pacifist route. We did true pacifist right after that one in the same sitting. And then we went in for a genocide run, which uh, we're st I'm still currently stuck at Sands, and I'm not going to be streaming that one because he's a pain in the ass, and I won't be able to beat him with the ring light and stream things going on as well. I'm just going to whack it at, like, the end of the game theory is kind of like a special bonus. Probably don't want this cobble. Actually, let's get rid of it. We don't really want that cobble deep slate whatsoever mixing in with the cobble that we already have these two blocks of cobblestone that we already have we've got some wheat seeds here that we're not going to plant so let's go ahead and stick them in there we've got a bunch of chests okay i'm feeling maybe we should make just an auto cooker for food right which would require three hoppers okay let's do that because we've got a few bits of iron and it's a pain in the ass to have to manually jam all of this crap into a furnace where is it where the hell is it? Where is our iron? Oh, valuable's chest. That's right. Right here. Iron ingot. So let's go ahead and try and make a hopper. I think it's like down here, down here, down here. No? Nothing? Weird. What if we search it? Hop. Hopper. Right here. Okay. Ah, oh, we need a chest for it. So we need three of these bad boys. Two, three. Two. And three. Now we're going to need a... Furnace, a single furnace, and I'm probably going to set this up just outside for the interim, just because it's not going to be particularly nice to look at. Why the hell are these here? Gross. Put those there and there. Okay. Nice. I thought you beat Sands. No, I did not. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> it's been a bit of a meme on my channel for about, I don't know, a week now. Bad time. I'm having a bad time. You know, bad time simulator, all that stuff. Uh, okay, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and get ourselves a furnace, a single furnace. And we're also probably going to need a few chests. One for each hopper, with a double chest as well. So we actually need more wood as well. Let's go out and, well, first we should probably make ourselves a better axe so that we can actually use tree capitator. We'll go get some wood. We probably need the charcoal as well so we can start stuffing it into chests. It's almost sundown as well, so this is probably going to be the last tour of the day. Right, so, now that we got that out of the way, this one is almost dead. I don't think we'll keep that, to be honest. Let's get rid of that sword, because it's only for the silk. Where'd it go? I'm sure, okay, there it is. Got it. I was looking for a little health bar. I didn't see one. Okay, now that we've got a full health axe, oh my god, these trees are enormous. Mine got! Boom! Thank you, tree capitator. Excellent, and we'll do this one as well. No, nothing. Really? How about here? Okay, tree capitator works there. I don't think these trees are particularly fond of us. Let's go ahead and try and burn out our crap axe. It's probably got one more in it. Nope, a couple more. There it goes. Let's get rid of these here. Nice. How many saplings did we get? I don't actually think we got... I think we got fewer saplings than we needed. Okay, we'll keep on planting all of these in sequence next to each other. There's a few more over here too. Excellent. Plant these ones here and here and here. Do we have any more? We probably do. No, we do not. But there is a sapling just over here too. Put this one down. Right there. And then we will get to cutting down this oak tree, which is going to be a little bit more fiddly, I think. Whoop. There we go. Never mind. That was so much easier than I thought it would be. Okay, that's one. Got one over here that we'll take out. That didn't tree capitate. What about here? Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to just like bust these down manually. Nice. Probably also light this area up so that monsters don't spawn here. Might be a really good idea too. Uh, okay, let's do that. <laughs> We're going to light this area up. We'll put some torches down here, 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 and here. Just in the corners of all of our productive enterprise. And here, and here. I know it's probably a little too many torches to be using, but it's going to be absolutely fine. Oak sapling. Yep, done. Uh, let's go and gather up all of these saplings that we can. They aren't dropping many sapling, saplings, are they? We definitely planted more than seven. Strange. 
So we're actually in a bit of a deficit of resources when we're kind of like out here. Maybe it's a desert thing. It could be a desert thing. We should have enough wood regardless though. Ooh. Sans is not that hard and you can no hit on him. I don't even know what no hit means. Sans is only not hard for people who have been playing or played Undertale for a long time. Yes, uh, I've definitely discovered that a lot of the community kind of gatekeep Sans. Like, oh, if, if you haven't been in a couple of hours, you're just stupid. But they've been, they've already sunk like hundreds of hours into the, into the game. All right, uh, what do we got? We've got a furnace here. We needed chests, didn't we? We've got a spider outside. We're probably going to take him out as well. Let's just go ahead and get maybe a stack of these. We won't waste too many of these oak logs. Well, it's got 40 acacia logs. That's pretty good. So we want one chest, two chests, and then we want some double chests. One double chest for the actual food itself. Now, we also might need one more hopper. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more. And... Take that, and we probably want to go into our valuables, get our iron back out, and we'll make one more, whoops, hopper. So down here, down here, down here, and then we put a chest right there. Whoops, I think it's too much, yeah, too much iron. Here we go, one more hopper. We got four hoppers, damn, that's good. Okay, so we'll put that away. Awesome. We'll come out here, I think we'll build this, like at the, at the side of the building just over here, because what is the harm? Like, there is literally no harm in just dumping it here. Right, so we need to empty that out. We need to put down some chests. Could you get out of the way, you oaf? What an asshole. Uh, we want a double chest here and here. We want a hopper to go into the back of there. We want a furnace on top of that right here. And we also want uh, two more hoppers. What the hell? I don't know what just did that, but I think it just threw me off. One there, uh, so that we can input charcoal as well. And we'll put this one there. Excellent. And we need to jump up here. Good. And we want another one there. Excellent. So here's how this is going to work. If we start dumping charcoal in here, because we're going to be cooking lots and lots of charcoal from inside of this building right here. In fact, we probably just... Turn all of this into charcoal. Let's just go ahead and do that. We'll take a little bit of charcoal and we will convert it into a renewable resource, which will then refill itself, right? No hit mean didn't got attack. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> didn't got attack. Wait, are you saying mercy? Because you can't mercy uh, through it. That, that, that's actually not a route that you can take. Uh, we got an extra hopper, which is pretty awesome. We're going to need a bunch of these uh, for some more projects in the future, so we'll keep those. But we are now going to take these two charcoals, and hopefully, if we dump these into this chest right here, it should stick it straight into the fuel slot of that. And now, we can go ahead and just dump all of our food. Right? Into Yeah, so the item hopper is going to be storing things. This is going to be cooking up all of our chicken, and then it's going to deposit it into here. There we go! Beautiful! It works. No hit means you fight Sans without getting hit in the bullet hell sections. Uh, yeah, no, I'm really struggling with that one. I use a controller as well. That's also something that, um, people are kind of gatekeepy about. It's like, uh... A lot of people just insist that you already have skills with the... What are they called? Uh, keyboards. With the keyboards. You should already be able to, uh, basically beat into the gungeon on a keyboard or something like that. I'm terrible at bullet hells as well. I feel like a lot of people are uh, being a little unfair with Sans, actually. Like, he's tough. He's really tough, and I suck at bullet hells. But at the same time, like, the only advice people are giving me is just, like, uh, be better, or do better, or don't suck. You know, stuff like that, which is just, like, it's offensive, and it stops me from wanting to actually beat him in the first place. Did you guys piss off? I'm trying to mind these. All right. Close him up. Thank you. What's in here? Just some oaf. That's fine. Chicken is hidden to the ceiling. Let's go ahead and grab our cooked chickens right here. Now, we should probably go on a big old murder spree uh, while it's fresh in our minds. We'll go and get lots and lots of foods. Because if we do go and get lots and lots of foods, we will be able to fill up that cooker and we will have food out the ass. What if we can cook the beetroots? Actually, let's see. Oh, I think we can. 
No, you can't cook beetroots. Right, so that's a useless food. I'm just going to start sticking all the foods in here. This probably makes the most sense. Done. We've got one more spare chicken. We're going to go on a bit of a murder spree, I think, to go and get some more meats. Excellent. So there's a chicken right up here that we're immediately attracted to. Uh, we probably actually want to go and hunt some rabbits across the desert on the way back over that way, because I'm pretty sure the village was that way. There was another village. We were going to set it up as competition. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, chicken. Right, I'm not really seeing a lot of wildlife over there, so let's kind of ignore them for now. Let's just go up this hill right here. I'm pretty sure there is another village just over, over here. Do some one-liners? All right, I'll do some one-liners. I'll do some one-liners. Okay, uh, coming up here. We did see it, didn't we? That was actually a thing. We went over uh, this way and we saw another village and we were like, hey, let's go check that out. I think. I think that was a thing. Is there more mesa over there? Someone told me that was a rare biome. I think they were full of it. Oh, it's also an hour in, so we're going to be swapping the shaders. We're going we're to be changing the shaders now. Let's go ahead and go into video settings. We want to go into shader packs. So, this one that we were using was BSL. Yeah, BSL. Okay, so that's what BSL looks like. Let's check out Chocopic 13. Apply. This is going to be for the next hour. It immediately looks like ass. <laughs> it looks so much worse in every single way. Oh, well, we'll play with it for an hour anyway, right? Okay, good. Let's continue onwards. Actually, uh, what do we think? Do we just want to, like, say no to this one immediately? Is this one just a hard no? Right, I'm still not seeing that village that I thought I saw this way either. I'm just seeing more Mesa. Maybe it was that temple. Maybe I got that temple mixed up with a village. What the hell is that? There's, like, some purple stuff down there. That's super wacky. I don't know if I like that. There is a hole in the wall over there, too. What you know about Gaster? I'm not spoiling it. I, I can't spoil it. I've got a game theory uh, lined up, and oh my god, I've only been scripting it. I've spent four hours scripting the Gaster chapter. Oh, right. That, that's it there. It wasn't a village. It was just another temple. We'll go raid it. What's the harm? Hard no? Okay, good. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go back into the options. Resource packs. No, it's not resource pack, is it? Yeah, sure, load again, I don't mind. I didn't change anything, but it's all up to you. Video settings. Shader packs, okay, Chocopix sucks. We'll go for complimentary, which is the, the next one I believe is really, really gorgeous to look at. I think. I think it's really nice to look at. I also think it's about to crash. Yeah, it's definitely crashed. Oh, here we go. I don't think these other ones are working. Okay, let's uh, save and quit. We'll, we'll probably have to go back to the menu to do this then. Options, video settings, shader packs. Let's try the, let's try chocolate pick again. Cause I think that maybe we have to reload the game to actually apply the shader. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to go ahead and just restart the game, which is absolutely fine. It didn't work. Okay, let's restart the game. Let's fire this back up. We do want to take a look at these other shaders. We definitely want to take a look at these other shaders. I just don't know what the requirements for them actually functioning are. Like, I got BSL working, obviously, and then I was like, okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, let's fire into it. That wallpaper is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, by the way. It is such a fun game. Oh my god, I've spent probably close to about 300 hours in that game before I actually ended up beating it in the first place. Beating the game, not, um, not the other one. Not, not the other one that other people think. Okay, video settings, shader packs, chuck a pick. This should work now. Okay, let's go in. Did you read Delta in Newsletter Summary 2024? Uh, yes, I did, actually. It's now... Uh, the, um, uh, what is it? The uh, Spamton, spinning on the spin. That's actually one of my subscriber alerts. Oh, no, okay. The shader pack just sucks. All right, what's the next one? 
<laughs> Video settings. Shader packs. Complimentary unbound. We'll try this one out. It might be good. It might be good. It might suck. I once chewed on a piece of gum for three hours. I do that pretty frequently. I chew on gum for a long time. Oh, uh, the shader pack is actually working this time. There's no shot this is the one that we just used, right? Oh, what a bad time to, for, the, for the rain to come in. What is the shader pack? This isn't the one we just used, is it? Complimentary Unbound. Okay, yes, so Complimentary Unbound. This is one of the other contenders. Chocopic, that's going to obviously... Let's open the shader pack folder right here. Chocopic. Here. It's going in the grave. Done. I've deleted it. It is, it is gone. It's over. It immediately recognized that too. This one's not so bad looking. Oh, underwater is very pretty. Uh, we need squids. We need squids, I think, for ink. So let's go ahead and maybe attack some of these squids for their for their raw resources. Come here, buddy. Boop. Boop. Okay, good. We got some ink. Excellent. Don't know how much ink we're gonna need. Boop. This guy's stuck. Ah oh, well. Sucks to be him. Okay. We got some more ink. I'll see if we can actually make it now. Map. Okay, ink. No, okay. So, oh, wait, hold up. So if we take an ink sack and then we mix it with a feather, is this, is this actually a thing? Or is it, do we have to make the, the black dye and then put it with a feather? I seem to remember we needed like a quill or something to make, um, to make a map, can't remember. Do you know what Papyrus's favorite food is? Yes, approval from his uh, disturbed brother. He can't eat anything else, unfortunately. He can't even eat his own his own spaghetti. Why would he? He sucks at it. Okay, I can't see anything. I remember there was a temple just over here. Let's go and clear this bad boy out. Rabbit! I love rabbits so much. They're probably one of my favorite animals in the world. Uh, let's go ahead and kill one. Like, against my best desires. Get back here, you bastard. Oh, they do drop food. Excellent. Okay. Uh, missed. Missed a bunch. Okay. We probably need to... Oh, this is perfect. This couldn't have worked out any better in our favor. We probably need, like, uh, to use a crossbow, right? Stop parkouring around the place! He's literally bunny hopping, by the way. He's doing something called bee hopping, which is a counter-strike evasive maneuver. Uh, I'm not really seeing an entrance. Like, obviously, there's this... Oh, I... Yeah, so that's above. We want to enter from beneath, but it seems like it's sanded in. Uh, that's death. That's complete death. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sand my way in there. Ha! Huh. Good, and now we're just going to dig straight down because we know how to clear these little places out. I'm going to light this up right there, right there. Good. Oop, don't want to use my pickaxe on the sand. That is irresponsible and worthless. And good. We're in. We're in. Put a torch there, put a torch here, and we'll put a torch there. There's a weed in here. Weird. And put a torch here. It is sanded in. Okay, excellent. Ah, Papyrus' favorite food is oatmeal with dinosaur egg. Oh, of course. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I, I definitely, I should have known. I should have known that. My bad. My bad, guys. All right, we want to... Okay, we actually just lost our pickaxe. I've got a better idea. Let's go ahead and just kind of like bust in here because I know there's a giant hole... I don't think there's... Yeah, so we got a pressure plate down there. I'm going to sand my way down here, and then I'm going to um, stick the sand under me to get myself back out of here. Excellent. Nice. We also now know exactly how high this is. It's 12 blocks high. Probably also uh, mine out the floor down here and get the, get the TNT that's usually lurking beneath the surface. Okay, let's get rid of this here pressure plate. Good. Whoa! Wowee! Wowee! We're going to bust this down. Let's grab all of that. This is just bones and a couple of golden apples. I'll take them, sure. Oh, we can't fit those. What can we get rid of? Probably this black dye. Not particularly useful to us. What about in here? A lot of crap in here. Let's go ahead and take it. I want this crap. Don't want that spider eye. Uh, what's in here? This one's just a bunch of crap as well, but we are going to take it. Why would we not? We've got spider's eye, right? Yeah, we've got a few back at home. Let's not bother. Uh, let's get our sand back out, and we will jump after 
we harvest out this floor for the TNT lurking beneath the surface. Yes. I knew it. We've got just enough sand to get ourselves out of here, by the way. Oh, my God. Wow. You can get rid of these real fast, huh? Okay, what else can we get rid of? Probably rabbit hide. Don't need that. And we'll take all of this TNT for fun. Maybe we'll be able to blow open a cavern of some sort. Good. Do you know Kirby? What, like the, uh, the tiny little ball of uh, power absor absorption? If that's the case, yes. If that's not the case, no. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that smooth sandstone down. It's probably going to be nighttime now. And we don't have a bed, which is not really ideal. The stick over there. Probably don't want it. So let's go ahead and stick a, a wingle dingle right there. We'll mine that out. And then we'll mine out these blocks. Yes. Okay, got some sand right here. Let's bust that up. I kill him, turn into soup. Kirby soup. What? But the whole point of Kirby is that whatever he eats, he gains the power of. So if you put him in soup, he's going to gain the power of that. It's not a bad place to make your home. We've already made a base inside of one of these here. Temples, I hear something up there. Maybe you're right. Maybe we wait. <laughs> Maybe we wait until night nightfall. Uh, let's go ahead and fill this in. Okay, what have we got? Uh, we've got a crafting bench. We've got four chests. We've got a saddle right here. That's pretty cool. We've got a golden apple. Nice. We've got some crap, actually. We've got a lot of crap in our inventory. We've got this one piece of terracotta. I don't know where we got this either. Probably didn't get it from this here dungeon. We'll empty that out. We don't want the stone pressure plate either. Again, the power of Kirby. I am now pink. That's not a power. That's a color. Creeper, it did sound like it, right? Kirby is God. Okay, the autism is strong in this chat. Uh, whoops. Oh, that's right. You can just throw it out of your hand. Oh, I've completely forgotten about that. So there's only one way of knowing that the... That is daytime, basically, and it's looking up this hole right here, isn't it? We're just going to be looking up the butthole of this temple. We might as well just, like, kind of micromanage ourselves for a little bit. Although there's not really a hell of a lot to micromanage. We could set off some TNT. We've got a pressure plate here. We could do that. Let's see. I've got some chairs. I don't know what these smithing templates are. Let's go ahead and look up here. And while that kind of, like, ticks away in the background, I'm going to look it up. Because no one has told me. Literally no one has told me. Uh, Minecraft. Smithing template. Did you beat Warren? I don't know what the hell you're talking about anymore. Honestly, Papyrus, I have no idea what you're talking about. You, at this point, you're just autistically screaming into the void. Smithing template. Okay, so these are... What do they do? Usage. Oh my god. Oh no, this is just like crafting them, right? Okay, smithing ingredients. Smithing templates are used at the smithing table. Don't know what that is. Netherite upgrade smithing templates used to upgrade diamond gear into netherite gear by using netherite upgrade. A piece of diamond gear and a netherite ingot. There is so much more stuff in this game than I thought there was. Wow. There's some math right there if anybody's interested in math. Great. Okay, so we can dye it. Is this just cosmetic? It's just, it's just cosmetic, right? I feel like it's just cosmetic. Okay, what's the smithing table? This looks like one of the villager blocks, right? Oh, it's pretty easy to make, actually. Like, very easy to make. Oh my god, that is so easy to make. Okay, I've seen enough. We'll get back to it eventually. Oh, I was hoping the game would tick away in the background, but it wasn't. It wasn't ticking away in the background. So there should be a couple of exits, like, side to side here, right? This one here. Oh, this one's just, like, flat out open. I don't even know where we are, by the way. Okay, let's claim this by putting a torch on top of it. Now everybody knows that we've claimed it. So I feel like our village may be this way. My god, what the hell is going on? I don't even think it's nighttime. There's no monsters. Oh, creepy. Rabbits are out. Very creepy. Warden? Did I beat Warden? No, I have, again, I have no idea what you're talking about. Still coming around here. Is that a, no monster? No, this, this is hard, by the way. We're playing on hard. I don't even... What the hell is that? It's like a glowing rock down there. I'm too afraid to actually go down there, though. On account of the, uh, the cave-in. Yeah, there we go. Cave-in. 
Uh, is that a creeper or is that a cactus? Nope, that's a creeper. We're not going that way. There's a spider over here. We can probably actually take out the spider. There's an enderman. Oh, we saw this a bunch of endermen. We're really close to our village. I can actually see the tower that we've already illuminated. Let's just gap it over here. We've got enough sprint charge. No, it's definitely night. Oh, piss off. All right, there's a skeleton firing arrows at me. He's coming close as well. I can hear the arrows whizzing past my head. My least favorite whiz that I've seen in this game. Oh, that is an arrow. Yep. <laughs> All right, we'll come in here and we're going to do a sleep. Screw this. Get out of my bed, sir. Oh, that was stressful. This shader is actually a, a little bit, a, a, you know, a little bit, a uh, little bit stressful. Still very pretty, though. This is definitely not the original shader that we had enabled. The, the, the colors are definitely contrasted a little bit better. Okay, that skeleton that attacked us is burning to death. I can't think of a, a fitting end for him other than that. Check out food chest. We got some cooked mutton. Uh, we can actually go ahead and put in this, this, and that's it. That's all we got to cook. Not a hell of a lot, to be quite honest. Oh, we've got some trees already up and running too. Let's go and craft ourselves a couple of uh, better axes. And by better axes, I just mean axes that will function without breaking. I uh, want this cobble right here. Yes, very cash money. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Skeleton. I am, I am made of questions. I'm honestly made of questions. All right, we'll come over here and I'm probably just going to throw this axe on the ground because it's not really doing a lot of good for us anymore. It's not going to have enough charge for a tree capitator, so we're not going to worry. We also probably need to empty out our inventory a little bit. I think maybe not taking out all the... Oh, yes, resources. Maybe not taking out all of the trees in one big lump is a good idea because we, we're probably actually losing a few resources as a consequence. Maybe it was the big trees. Maybe it was actually the big trees that caused us to lose out on resources. Get that one down. Get that one down. Do this one next. Excellent. Uh, there's a big one here, unfortunately, but, you know, we took it out. Is this a tree? No. <laughs> tree capitator says no, it's not a tree. Uh, let's go ahead and plant these here oak saplings just over, just over here. Good. And we'll grab all of this stuff around here as well. Oh my god! Hello there! <laughs> What's your name? I'm Jensen! Excellent. That'll give us a bunch of saplings. We do have a stack of these acacia saplings uh, off back at home, but I don't think we're going to necessarily use them. Are you taking the piss? Oh my god. Okay! Let's go ahead and knock this one down as well then. Boom! Done. Knocked it down. And we're going to plant all of this crap back in here as well. There, there, there. We've actually filled out this entire zone now. Excellent. Oh, there's saplings for days. Probably actually do with just sticking down a chest here for the saplings and maybe some of the wood as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Chest right here in between so we can actually see it when we come up here. And we want to put in here logs, logs, saplings, and we don't really have anything else. Maybe sticks. We've got an excess of sticks. Let's put sticks in there. This can be the uh, the lumber yard, I think. Excellent. Right, now that we've got that out of the way, there's some string over here that I'm gonna take. We'll go and empty out our inventory, I think, because it's getting a little bit too full. Aww. Come over here. Can you download mutant mobs? I'm not doing any mods. Uh, that is a hard rule. This is going to be a vanilla playthrough. A uh, lot of sandstone, a lot of building materials, actually. Got some ink sacks, I'll stick it in there. We actually, let's fill out our valuables first. Put the TNT right next to all the gunpowder. Got a lot of gunpowder now. What else we got? Golden apples. We've got some gold. We've got some more string, which is uh, very valuable until we get a stack of it or so, and then it becomes a little bit annoying. What else we got? Emeralds. Yes. And that feathers, also kind of valuable. That's probably about it, honestly. Yeah, that's probably it. We'll keep the arrows off of our hotbar. That doesn't really make sense. What else we got? We got some paper. I'll put that in there. What else? Bones can go in here. Smithing template. This can probably go in the valuables chest. Like so. And in here. What else? Saddle. I'll put that in there. And the rest of this is kind of like building or utilities, isn't it? In fact, let's go ahead and... Let's consolidate these uh, torches into one stack. Because then we can save ourselves an inventory slot. Nice. Alright, now that we've done that... 
Let's kind of like take more chicken because we do need more chicken done. And we're going to go ahead and eat it. Yum, yum. Well, maybe not all of it right now. It's probably unnecessary. Bong. Everybody run. Flee, you fools. Oh, the trees are really coming along fine. This iron golem's like, why did you ring my bell? I was bored. <laughs> That's why, my good sir. I am a god playing amongst mortals and I am bored. Uh, we've got some clay in here. I was literally just about to grab something from here because we kind of needed it. We've got a lot of hay bales as well. Could probably turn that into bread. In fact, let's put that in the food chest right this second. That's right. We were going to go and we were going to deposit a lot of the building stuff into the building chest that we've got in the middle of the village right here. Like this cut sandstone, oak planks, probably want to keep those. Uh, acacia planks, we'll put those in there. I think acacia is probably what, going to be what we make all of the village out of. Okay, very tall tower. That, that is actually a really useful tower, by the way. Like, I didn't realize just how useful it was until we, quite frankly, uh, needed to see it in the dark from all the way over there. Okay. Do you have a nether portal? No. No, I do not. Uh, we found some diamonds. We could probably make a diamond pickaxe, actually. It's probably a good idea. And then we'll go and... I don't think we'll make a nether portal immediately, but it'll at least allow us to get the resources that we need. Probably also make another spear iron pickaxe. We probably should be going down to the mines at this point, honestly. All right, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and make a iron pickaxe. And we're also gonna make a cobble pickaxe too. Like so. Oops, that's a hoe. Good. So now we should have a tier for everything. At maximum efficiency. Let's go into our little, our little mine area. We could probably do with strip mining a little bit more. Or we could get in a boat and maybe look for another village or something just off on the horizon. I don't know if there is going to be one. We could probably do that, honestly. We'll do that now. We probably won't need to uh, worry too much about food. But if we find ourselves another village, hopefully in some plains, we'll get some carrots. And that is basically going to be emerald sorted if we trade with our villagers. Got a hopper. Excellent. Where is our boat? Probably in here, right? It is right there. Good. Nice. Let's go ahead and just drop this on the other side of this channel, I think. We won't worry too much about it. We'll just circle around the place. Actually, I still want to make a map. How the hell do we make a map? It wasn't in the journal, was it? No, there is no map available. Is this a candle? Black candle. Wow. We can do a seance, but we can't make a map. That sucks. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to go to the end over here and we're going to drop this boat into the ocean right here. And we should be absolutely a-okay. Oh, it's nice over there, actually. Look at that. There's an island over there that I like better than the base we have. Oh, that is a big tree. Well, there's a huge trees. Users. Maybe we could set this as kind of like our forestry area. Just, just over this way. What the hell is this place? I've never seen this place before in my life. I hope it's not a swamp. It might be a jungle. It may be a jungle. There's some planes over there as well, which is pretty awesome. So we're probably going to boat around. Let's go over here. Do you have dog? No. No, I don't have a dog. It's not that we haven't had, like, opportunity. It's that we haven't had opportunities to get a dog. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of dogs in this playthrough. I think I've seen one so far, and we left him behind to go somewhere that wasn't just absolutely disgusting to look at at all times. I love how the jungle looks over here. There's also a bunch of flying islands. So I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Okay. Now that we have kind of, like, gone this far, let's go ahead and just explore over here. We haven't been this area. We haven't been here whatsoever. We probably also do with hunting some monsters while we're around here with our stone axe, like so. Very nice. And I think maybe when we get back, we might want to set up some kind of chicken farm. Because, quite frankly, we probably want to specialize as an archer. Oh, the sun's going down too. Oh, it's going down behind there. What the hell am I looking at? We're going to make a couple of beds as well. So every sheep we see, we're going to kill them for their wool. Whoops, sorry, buddy. I meant to uh, kill you in one hit, but we didn't really have the opportunity to do so. There we go. Done. There's another one just over here. We'll go over here as well. The water is beautiful. Isn't it just? I love the... I, honestly, these shader packs have made this game so gorgeous. Like that. I'm going to kill this sheep before I showcase it. 
But look at this right here. Oh my God. In fact, actually, you know what? Screenshot. <laughs> Just before we lose that, lose that. There is literal God rays shining through this hole right here. That is adorable. Not in the cute sense, but the literal sense of the word. Put a couple more sheep over there. Some horses. Some different colored sheep down south side, but I don't really care about them too much. Oh, hello there, Captain Sheep. Bye bye. We'll get their wool and now we're gonna move on. What's on the other side of this? Is there anything on the. Oh, there is actually a village this way. And there's some pumpkins. Okay, so we found. I don't think that's gonna be a plains village, but we definitely have found a village. I do like the village. Ah, chickens. Sorry, buddy. Excellent. We'll take him out. And take him out too. And him. Nice. And there's also one over here that I'm just going to absolutely de decimate with my axe. Whoops. Missed. Good. Done. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Is it not? I love this. I keep turning off the HUD to take photos, by the way. Okay, let's kind of like use the rule of thirds right here. F2. Done. Screenshots. Lovely. Uh, we're going to make a mad dash while we kill all of these sheep on our way over to this other village. And then we're going to kind of like take over the village. We probably want to oppress as many people in the area as is humanly possible so that we can maximize the revenue we get from taxes. If you know what I mean. All right, this definitely is a village in the desert. Uh, it is now nighttime. We probably want to mitigate the risk that we are kind of like dealing with. So we'll get into our boat to go over to this village here. Just in case we get ganked on the side of the shores over there. And we'll be really far away from our original point as well. Whoa! Look at all the hay here! Okay, good. Let's get out of that bad boy. We'll knock it all the way down. So, we want to go towards that kind of like Lion King looking area. Oh, the moon in this shader pack is really nice as well. You know what? This calls for a screenshot. Love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and knock these down with our boat. I don't think there's a better tool to do this with. To knock down hay. Hello, Yitzin. Hey there, King of Spiders. Uh, we're picking a shader pack today. Honestly, I think it's going to be a toss-up between the first one we put. Oh! <laughs> Stars! Oh, there's a zombie over there. Yuck. Gross. A dead thing. Ah, well. I hope there's iron golems here, because I ain't dealing with that. Yuck. Or maybe I have to. All right, fine. It's a zombie villager. Oh, well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we took it out, and now we are going to bust these hay bales down, free of the guilt of killing a villager. Huh. Look, there is a mountain that means ancient city. Oh, are you talking about the one that uh, kind of has that peak right there? Is that the ancient city one? Shoot star? Isaac Bluestone? Stars. Yes, there's stars! There's stars in the game! Uh, we're picking a shader pack for anybody just getting into the stream right now. Uh, so far, this one is probably going to be a contender for the forever world that we have. What the hell? Oh, piss off, sir. <laughs> Ooh, cartography. <laughs> okay, that was not good. Where are we? Whoop. Oh, no, this is not good. I think this place is basically buggered. Oh. Maybe I have to wait here until, uh, until daylight. We'll go ahead and eat instead of busting the door down. Okay, good. We'll put that down. We got 10 raw mutton, that's pretty damn good. Uh, we don't have any other kind of like fruits that we can use. We can eat this rotten flesh, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So that should regenerate our health after we lose this sickness. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. No, behind you. Uh, we're probably gonna have to wait until, we oh wait, are you talking about that one just over there? The gigantic mesa sticking into the sky? Is that the one? All right, so uh, while we have uh, all of this kind of like crap going on around us, I'm gonna go into the options. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about with the uh, shader packs. So if we go, okay, Mojang, thanks. I definitely wanted to reload the game after not changing a single thing. Shader packs, right here. So we used BSL original. Uh, we tried one called Chocopic 13 by a user called Chocopic 13. It was um, basically vanilla, so I deleted it straight off the bat. It didn't work. This one is complimentary unbound. And there's a third contender right here called Kappa. So we're gonna we're gonna vote on the best one. Huh. I'm back. Just finished Outer Tail Pacifist Space Undertale. It's a Mesa. Yeah, uh, I can actually see it from like above this building right here. There's a real weird kind of color at the top there, and it definitely looks like the the Mesas that we've already explored. 
Uh, we regenerated a little bit of health, but I think kind of like having the yuckiness. What the hell is, is that a camel? I haven't seen one of those before. Is this village effed? Oh, then do the peak one. What do you mean? You said this one means that there's an underground city. This one here, is this one? Because there is one off in the other distance. Can you make iron farm? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm basically like figuring everything out for myself because I haven't played this for a long time. We've already made an automatic cooker. Like that's probably going to be enough for, for the near future. No maces aren't mountains, I checked. Really? I mean, it's pretty damn high. I wouldn't call it a molehill. <laughs> is that skeleton still out there? Okay, I think he buggered off. No, he didn't. Yeah, he's... I see him. Oh, my God, he's, he's aggroed. Why is there a torch on here? Did I do that? I must have done that, right? Ooh. Oh, piss off. There is no shot he's going to jump shot me. In fact, there is going to be no shot he's going to jump shot me because I'm going to wall this in. <laughs> Eat my ass, Skellington. Make a shield. Uh, yeah, I probably should do that, but uh, we haven't done so, so far. We haven't actually needed to. Like, it, it is something that we probably need about now that we're going exploring. But once we get a map, we're probably not going to worry too much about just dying because we'll be able to find our way back to all of the things we drop really, really quickly anyway. So a shield is, is kind of like an interim fix for a bigger problem that we don't... Why are there torches all over the place? Surely I didn't put those there. I think we're approaching sunrise now. I'm really glad that we have these doors with holes in them. So we can kind of see what's going on topside. The water is really pretty in the shader pack though, I gotta admit. Oh, the stars move! Oh, that's also awesome. Finally, somebody has added the touch that we are actually on a rotating earth. On this provably flat earth. Yes, Minecraft Steve is a flat earther. It's because the earth is actually flat here. Otherwise, it, it wouldn't be square. I watched Pepperus play Minecraft. Uh, okay. I didn't know he had a uh, computer that could run Minecraft. I didn't think anybody in that game could add a computer that could run Minecraft, to be quite honest. All right, so... I'm just kind of, like, counting out the seconds, because the sun is coming up. I'm just... Hoping like hell, it's not going to be one of those annoying instances where it just starts pissing down with rain as soon as the sun peaks. Right. I feel like the fog in the background does actually indicate some kind of sunrise, though. That camel is wandering around free. Is there like a mod that kind of like has mobs attack the wildlife at night? Is that a bit cool one to use, I think? No, it's just the fandom tricking you. Make a break for the bed. I feel like it's sunrise soon, and I don't know how many of these arrows we could take before we just die. I also don't know if this is kind of like a zombie village, and if there's even going to be a zombie inside of the building that I'm hoping to make a, a break for, which is going to be that one right there, because it's probably closest, right? You can ride him? The camel? Yeah, obviously. In a village house. Uh, yeah, no, I, I know that there's beds around here, but there is a skeleton camping us right around this corner right here. And, and, okay, I'll just do it. All right, took a little bit of a hit. I did not get spotted. Damn it! <laughs> okay, we went into the wrong building. Perfect! What the hell are you doing in here? You're really short. My bed now. Whew. Okay, we did it. <laughs> I just basically had to start doing it, which is how I go to the gym. All right, let's get a good lay of the land, because I think we're in a tower right now. And maybe we'll put down some torches up top. Hey, nice. Oh, yes! Food! That solves quite a lot of our problems, actually. Mainly being, where the hell are we going to get food from? Okay, now that we've done that, this is all lit up perfectly. Wonderful. Some of these houses are actually completely effed. There is a skeleton down there, hiding in the smithy. I cannot believe that. Okay. Fortunately, we've got this. Okay, let's reload this, and then we'll fire it at him. Oh, I one hit him with it. That feels good. That feels re whoops. That feels really, really good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this bread to restore our health, and then I'm going to reload my crossbow, and then we'll just stick it on our hotbar, I think. Or not. Okay, good. 
And where are our torches? They are in our hand. Excellent. Done. Okay, we'll come down here. Uh, why do we take these chests with, uh, with us? Hey, he dropped a bow. Perfect. What's in here? Some iron leggings? Yes, please. Okay, that's our first one, I think, as well. Our first piece of armor in this entire playthrough. That's really unlucky, gotta be said. Whew. Here's a baby villager. You just stole a bed from a child? No, no, he's just a really, really short man. Okay, we've got a, peer, a repair bench here. We don't have a second bow, though, so we can't... Oh, I thought that we could actually repair the crossbow with a bow. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. Okay. So what's in here? There are some mushrooms. That is disgusting. This guy actually needs to clean this house up. That is an indicator of mold, and that is not good. So what is this? Is this supposed to be like a gatehouse or something? All right, now that we've got the sun up, this is a really nice shader pack, actually. Although I prefer the other one, BSL. I prefer that one during the day, and this one probably at night a little bit better. We can also see significantly better in the water with um, this shader pack, complimentary unbound, rather than BSL so far. Is this the mountain that you were talking about? This one right here. Is this the one that indicates an underground city? Or is it that? No, that's a mesa. Because this is the one that you said would indicate it right here. It's got a giant hole in the side of it. Oh my god, it just gets worse as we go on. Whoa, look at that one. Holy hell. Yes? Which one? I've, I've given you a few options. Is it this like um, Hakuna Matata? We'll call this one Mount Hakuna Matata. Because it's a mouthful and I'll probably screw it up a bunch. No, I didn't know it was a mesa. Okay. All right. They are kind of like planting. They're only planting wheat. Awful. Yuck. We're obviously going to take all of their wheat, though. Because <laughs> we can trade it. We can trade their wheat for emeralds and stuff back at base. Okay, we'll get all of this down. Uh, this place actually has a smithy. So maybe we want to kind of like set this place up as more like the, the utility area. Wait, why is this closed? Is this supposed to be kind of like a... Uh, the water looks cool in here, actually. <laughs> What is this? I don't know. Wait, are these stairs? Can you actually put a, a water source block in stairs? That is so cool. There's got to be like a barn, right? I love this. Oh, there is a barn. Great. Okay, let's leave these here closed. And we'll keep on ransacking houses. That's a crafting table. Okay, that would be a good interim base, but I don't think we'll use it. This is significantly more beautiful than the other place that we were at, though. Gotta be said, we could put like a castle up on that mesa right there. Woo! Emergency alert system bot, hello there. Welcome to the stream. It's the peak one. Uh, Mount Hakuna Matata, is that the one? Yes, yes you can. Okay, these guys can actually escape out of here. So I, I don't think this is a very good idea to be putting in a barn unless it's like quite far away from a wall, maybe. Are there carrots in here? I don't think so, I only see wheat. This guy's jumping on his own crops. What an asshole. Okay, what's around here? This guy's got a, a nice little kind of deck. Okay. And he's got what I can only assume to be a backyard of death. <laughs> that is a cactus. Okay, we'll come around here. Don't know what these uh, kind of like plinths right there are for. There's a chest right here. Got some bread and don't really care about anything else in there necessarily. We got another smithy right here, do we? No, we don't. That's the same smithy. We've been in there. We've been in there. We haven't been in that little house over there. Again, they've got a little uh, little backyard here. Oh, that's a nice little setup. I wonder if they made that themselves. All right, and here, what's in here? Nothing really. Oh, jungle, okay. So there's a reason I wouldn't set this up here. I don't like looking at the jungle. I don't know why. I don't like the jungle biome too much. It's not particularly aesthetic to my eyes. All right, let's go and check out this uh, this area over here, right? Actually, can someone tell me how to make a map? Because I don't, I don't remember. I will look it up right now. I will look it up while we kind of like oogle into the distance of what I can only very safely say is a very, very gorgeous area. I want to build a base up there as well. Just overlooking the, the village. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just look it up on my, on my phone here. Uh, Minecraft. Map. No, not seeds. We want a map. It's an item. Is it now? Okay. So, what we want to do... Ah, we need a compass. That makes a lot of sense, actually. What is compass? That's redstone and iron. Hello, sir. How are you? You on this boat? No? Okay. 
I'll go and check out over here. We know that there is a village over this way now, which is kind of like a hop, skip, and a jump across a little bit of water. Well, that was weird. <laughs> I actually, I wanted to put the boat down. Okay, thank you, game. <laughs> zero, zero context. Hello, I'm back. Hello, space. Welcome back. Okay, we're going to go over here. We are going to crouch out of this boat. We're going to knock it out of the water. Whoops. I think I accidentally right-clicked. Go ahead and break that. We'll come over this way, and we'll and we'll start approaching Mount Hakuna Matata. What the hell? It's like an underwater cavern here. Now, a lot of people were saying that the kind of like caves and cliffs update to Minecraft kind of ruined the game a little bit. And I honestly, I don't blame them for saying that because some of this generation is so unbelievably stupid. I don't think it would fly. I, I, I just don't vibe it. Also, a lot of the kind of like underground caverns are just filled with water, which is a pain in the ass. Just a pain in the ass. Massive pain in the ass. Right. All right. Now, we probably are also at the point where we would benefit from getting ourselves some more resources from underground. Probably need a lot more iron, need a lot more redstone, need a lot more redstone, and then we could probably go ahead and make ourselves some kind of mob farm, right? Probably want to start farming up these animals too. We'll get some animal farms. I think we'll get some animal farms as well. Oh, what's down here? Any low-hanging fruit? Pardon, pardon them what cows? What the hell is this? Okay, there is a way up if we get stuck down here. Hello? Hello? Oh. Uh. Hello? Oh! My god! That was close! There's <laughs> a skeleton right there. Okay, I'll take everyone's advice. We'll go back home, we'll craft a shield, and then we'll... We'll go from there. We'll go from there. Because I, I feel like now we need a shield. The skeletons are just too much of a pain in the ass. Ooh, Coco. Nice. I'm not going to take it, obviously, but... Okay, we're at uh, Mount Hakuna Matata. I think we've kind of, like, backtracked slightly too far that way. So we want to go this away. I don't see any resources under the ground. I am looking. I don't want to skirt along the edges over here, don't we? Along this kind of like tiny plains area. Everyone says Minecraft is boring and not fun. Do they? <laughs> I don't believe that for a hot second. Like literally, I'm, that is an immediate cap in my eyes. Okay, good. Excellent. I'm kind of like, I'm surveying my surroundings as we go along. So across this little channel here should be our village, if I am not mistaken. Or at least it's over there somewhere. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Everyone is a very strong word. It is a very strong word, isn't it? That's like eight and a half billion people. Minecraft is fun and kind of sad when your old friends are not online for a very long time. It doesn't mean it's not fun. It just means they haven't gotten into it for a while. I showed uh, Yinset, my girlfriend, I showed Yinset the Minecraft with BSL on it last night, and uh, her immediate thought was, can I play this? She doesn't play video games, by the way. The only game she plays at the moment is The Sims, and before then she just flat out didn't play video games. I got her a desktop for her birthday in February, and she's played Sims like on it maybe three times in total. She's not very good at them. But I showed her, I showed her this, just how beautiful Minecraft can look, and she was immediately sold. Okay, good. I uh, will knock all this down. It's a bit of a crap computer, but a lot of the a lot of the shader packs that I have installed, I installed them because they're pretty easy going on the system that we've installed them on. Pretty awesome. King Spiders back. Hey there, King Spiders. All right, we're going to re-up. We're going to kind of like outfit ourselves, I think, for... No, we're not. We're going to go down into the mine, and then we're going to outfit ourselves. So what we're going to do is probably... We want to make as many arrows as possible. That's probably first and foremost thought. And then we're going to main our crossbow down in the dungeons. When we go down into the dungeons to kind of like mine up a little bit of resources. Get out of my bed, sir. That is my bed. <laughs> it told me I couldn't even sleep in there. I just kicked him out for no reason. When are you going to the ancient city? Uh, we're going to get a few resources together. And then we're going to go down into the depths ourselves. Hello there, sir. Now, we did get ourselves a cartography table. So what would be the harm in placing this down in another villager's house like maybe in here this guy has a step so a villager should come and claim this right here he is 
What is he going to sell? Oh, he's only got a monocle. That's all he claimed. What's he got? Ah, empty mate. Okay, fantastic. So we don't need to spend iron and redstone on that. We can actually get out of my house. We can buy that literally right this second with a few emeralds. Let's do that. Good, 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 good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we'll take this empty map right here. Beautiful. I just got an achievement too. What a deal. So if we use this map here, it should centralize it to this block of the world, right? The ancient city is this early on is a really bad idea. Uh, I kind of load. What the hell? It just filled everything in. This is not the map that I... Huh? What happened to the really big maps? Am I stupid? I've got to be stupid, right? So, can we actually put this on the wall? No, we can't. Okay, there's a couple of things Bedrock has over Java Edition, it seems. Because in Bedrock, you could kind of, like, get a gigantic map that just fills out heaps and heaps of chunks, right? You want to locate a map? Is that what I'm talking about? It's like fighting Jevil before ever playing Deltarune. I don't know how you'd be able to do that because you've got to play Deltarune to, to get to the boss fight. But I, under, I understand your point. Okay, what else have we got that's valuable? Probably not a hell of a lot to be quite fair. We've got a bunch of crap in our inventory. Yeah, no, not a hell of a lot. So, okay. Locator map. What is a locator map? Is, is that something that we can craft or is that something we need to like find in a dungeon somewhere? Okay, we'll put our bones in here. Feathers. We want to take all of these feathers and we want to craft them all into arrows. How do we make arrows? Is it just... It's like stone, a stick, and feathers in a line, right? Like this? Like so? No? It doesn't have to be cobblestone, does it? Maybe. I'll, I'll look it up. Arrow! Ah, we need flint, which means we need gravel. We get four per, which is actually pretty uh, generous. We probably make that on the fly in the mines. Because there's a lot of gravel down south side anyway, so we'll keep these feathers on us, I think. And we probably want to put all of this meat into our cooker, just over here. Let's go ahead, just drop it in. Boom, boom. Done. We'll take some more meat if we have any. Maybe some cooked rabbit would stave off the hunger for a little bit. It's good and efficient. Nice. It was better, Spamton or Sans? Uh, yeah, Sans, easily. <laughs> easily, Sans. Okay, feather, cooked rabbit, we got that. We've got a crafting table here, which is probably a little unnecessary. We've got one south side, we've got two crafting tables in here now. Uh, we've got some chests that we should probably just dump in there. Apples, we'll keep those on us because it's still food and food's handy. Ten white wool, uh, we'll put that inside of this chest. We've got a lot of wheat as well that can go in the food chest. Uh, actually, let's compartmentalize all of that into the food chest right here. More stuff here that can go in the food chest. We've got some oak planks. We'll keep that. Logs, probably want to keep that as well. Actually, no, we don't. There's some down south side of the mine anyway. And other than that, we probably don't. There's boat, and we definitely will never need that map. That was a waste of our emeralds, I think. Whoops. Oopsies. Oopsies. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy that, and we'll put the pumpkins in here and this wheat in here as well. Nice. We've got some wheat seeds I'm just going to throw on the floor right there. And other than that, let's go south side into the mine and we'll see if we can't find ourselves a heap of gravel. Because I know that there is going to be a, a lot of gravel south side and we could probably also do with strip mining to get some more resources regardless. Come in here. Nice. I think maybe we want to kind of like migrate our resources to the other village as well. Because I kind of like where that one's placed better. This one's kind of like in a, a bit of a yucky area. Although it's got a nice nether portal. I can kind of like visualize the other base a little bit better. Okay, we'll come all the way down here, and we don't want to go off the ledge here. Because it's a mess. <laughs> we don't want to go down there whatsoever. Let's come all the way through. We probably want to keep our torch out just until we encounter somewhere where there could be combat, right? All right, let's go in here. And we'll see if we can't start getting ourselves some more resources. Ah, gravel, immediately. Perfect. Let's just beat this down with our fists. So we want to just keep on mashing this out, right? And every now and then, it'll, like, not drop gravel. It'll drop flint. Or do we need to use, like, a shovel or something like that? Papyrus, not Apris. I never played Undertale. Oh, my dude, it's actually, it is actually worth it. I know that a lot of the fan base is quite cringe, but the game itself is definitely worth the experience. Oh, I didn't want to put that down. Come on, get that out of your fist, my dude. Put that down there. What is your favorite candy? Uh, mine is uh, Sour Patch. Or kind of like those um, fabulous grape crunchy sherbet things. Those are quite nice. We don't have a lot of candy here in New Zealand, though, unfortunately. It's basically you get what you're given. 
And if you don't like it, you don't get candy. <laughs> Pretty simple, honestly. It's a simple trade-off. All right, we got... Is that flint? That is flint, right? Yeah, that's definitely flint. Okay. We're almost at the end of this shader, by the way. We're almost at the end of the life of this shader right here. We'll go and try our capper next, I think. And we'll see which one we like the most. I don't think we'll vote on... Wait, is that gravel? No. I think we won't vote on the stream. I'll just put like a poll up in the YouTube community. And we should be absolutely fantastic to pick a shader that way. Jolly Ranchers. Uh, the Jolly Ranchers, gotta be said, they are delicious. I had a few Jolly Ranchers when I went to the States. We don't really have them here too much, but they are very delicious. I never eat candy. But it's probably for the best, honestly, with your uh, schizophrenic um, autism screaming. It, it's probably for the best you avoid sugar. Jolly Ranchers are fun. They are fun, aren't they? My mum loves Jolly Ranchers. I love freeze-dried candy. What the hell is that? I've never heard of those. You have Undertale and Undertale Icebound and Outer Tail. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't be eating sugar. <laughs> oh my god, four meets function, huh? <laughs> oh, the fan base is a lot better than it used to be. Oh, yeah, it's it's a 50-50 in my opinion about the Undertale fan base. Like, there are definitely cringe people in it. Like, super, super cringe people. Uh, the people who, like, roleplay as the characters, they are not so bad. It's the kind of, like, the people who bother me are the ones who will, like, they'll just come on, they'll watch a couple of minutes of of the stream uh, that I did of Undertale or something like that, and th immediately they'll, like, hear that I disagree with the uh, general consensus of Gaster being alive and behind the scenes and, like, doing a, a bunch of stuff, and then they'll just throw a bunch of slurs and insults at me, and then they'll leave and dislike a bunch of my videos. And I know it was them that disliked a bunch of my videos because they come in bursts. No one else dislikes my videos. It's, it's, it's always these people that do it. Oof, uh, Cry of Fear is fun. Yep, that looks like it's going to be the next game. I'm actually pretty excited for that as well. Okay, we've got a bunch of gravel. We actually have enough flint as well to make some arrows, so we'll go ahead and just craft those while we um, go ahead and do that. The hella cringe ones are the shippers. I, I think we've seen one shipper, and they weren't really that bad. They kept shipping, I think it was Relsey and Chris, which I think is incestuous by definition, given that Relsey is supposed to be a representation of Chris's brother who left to go to university, which we know from direct evidence in the in-game lore. Okay, flint here, sticks here, and we'll make as much of these uh, arrows as we possibly can. Or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll put them up in a line like that. Okay, good. We got 34 arrows. That's actually probably pretty good. Let's dump all the gravel in here and also flint. We won't need that anymore. So we'll keep that. We'll keep that out. And now we'll start strip mining. Hopefully we'll get ourselves a bit more redstone. What level are we at, actually? Step three, right? Yep. We are at level six. Okay, so we should be generating some good stuff further down in here. We just have to pick a direction and just start mining into that direction, right? Maybe we just maybe we just do it. Maybe we just hunker down and start doing it. I'll go a block up as well, because I want lots of redstone too, and I'm pretty sure redstone is ideally at kind of like 15 to 8, I think. Like, I don't agree that Gaster doesn't exist due to evidence you kind of ignore in Delta Room, but that... What? Gaster doesn't exist due to evidence you kind of ignore in Delta Room. Huh? What? No, Gaster definitely exists. Existed. He's just dead. He didn't come back to life or anything like that. Yeah, that also makes sense why I've heard of it. What have I missed? What have I missed? Is it a full game or just fights? No, it is definitely a full game. It's worth it too, because if it's just fights, it would make sense why I haven't heard of it. Ah, it's very innovative. It's, it's like a, a narrative story experience. It's pretty good. I've only really seen stuff on Game Jolt anyway. Oh, my man. My man. You gotta check out Steam at some point. Steam is where all of the best games are. Or at least Edge.io. Edge.io actually does have some real good indie bangers as well. Shotgun, Buckshot Roulette was really good on that too. I'm talking about Undertale Ice thing, I've played Deltarune. Okay. I've never played Undertale Ice or anything like that. I'm burying my head in the sand with all of that stuff until I get the game theory out. Because I don't want my own opinions tainted by someone else's. And then I'll like try and cite a source in my own game theory. And then it'll be like, it would have been speculation and hearsay from a YouTuber or something like that. Are you Steam? Good choice. Uh, is this Lapis? I think this might be Lapis Lazuli. Go ahead and take it anyway. Yoink! Yes, please. Makes for a nice color. Makes for a nice dye. All right, good. Put a torch there. And we'll continue on the strip mine. Excellent. 
now. Let's keep on busting through here. I don't know what we're going to find. Honestly, strip mining is a bit of a casino, but we haven't had any luck when it comes to, like, exploring caverns. They've all either been flooded or just, just unnecessarily large and almost impossible to navigate because of it. Lapis is used for enchanting. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Gaster is not Sans dead. Uh, I, I thank you for the autistic outburst. Um, Pepper is right there. <laughs> I got Ralph Yard as my profile picture. Oh, so you do. I didn't even notice. Uh, your profile pictures are all so small on my... Is that gravel or is that water? Oh, that's water. Oh, no. No! It happened again! The bad luck returns. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oh, that's infuriating. So if we come out of here, there is literally nothing in here of... Well, I mean, of course, there's gold. And unless we have, like, water affinity or something like that, there's not really a hell of a lot that we can do about it, right? We could probably actually just block it off. We could, we could block it off, and then we could continue our strip search. <sighs> branch mining is better. Uh, what is branch mining? All I know is uh, strip mines. Use a door. Oh, that's a really good idea, actually. Yeah, let's do that. We'll go back, we'll make a couple of doors, and then we'll go back into there. A door creates an air pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made a bunch of underground bases. The biggest base I've ever made was, like, this gigantic glass dome uh, inside of a um, an enormously deep trench. It was huge. It was about 40 blocks high. Okay, good. Come all the way over here, because there's a crafting bench right here. That is a really good idea, my dude. Good. We'll make a few of them, actually. Make a, a few of these right here. Get the sticks off our hotbar, because they're completely unnecessary. And let's go back in. Well, so it's strip mining. But every other block you mine left and right? What, else, what does that do? What, what difference is that? You're not increasing the surface area that, that you see new blocks at, though. That's the thing. So it, it, there's no efficiency with it. You're, the, the only thing is that it's, it's quicker to go back to the start. That doesn't do anything. And if you do that enough, you get stuck as well. Oh, my God. The light is reflecting off of the stone. Oh, that is sick. That is so sick. What is this stuff made of? That is so cool. I love that. That is such a nice touch. You never see that. You never see that. Uh, let's put maybe a block here. And hopefully this one won't blow us out, right? We'll go ahead and stone this one out. Then we'll swap to the oak door. So what was this? Not really anything useful, right? All right, we'll come in here. Good. If we're going to do a lot of, like, ocean stuff, we may as well just keep a bunch of these doors on us anyway. Okay. So we need the iron pickaxe for this. Yes, gorgeous. Bit of gold right here. Bit of gold right... Ooh. Oh, this is going to make it real hard to get back, though. Okay, I don't really see any enemies in there. I want to eat. want to eat again, apparently. Oh. Oh, no, this is fine, actually. I've got a strategy for this. So if we just go back into the water, that should negate all of the damage, right? Hey, buddy. I don't really see any goodies in there aside from some iron. In fact, unless there's a skeleton in there, we probably don't even need to really do anything, right? All right, let's get our stone pickaxe to bust through. Oh, piss off. <laughs> it's... Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> that worked in our favor so... I've seen enough. We're off. We're getting out of this area. This one sucks. Uh, where the hell is the exit, though? Oh, no. Here it is. Okay, one tiny block. I can't get in. Okay, we got in. Whoa, that was clutch. The swimming mechanics. Oh, look at the light reflections in here. Cool. I'm blocking this off. I'm blocking this off. This is revolting. Whew. Oh, my God. You guys really started chatting. It's not how the music and indie games typically work, especially in Underun. All motives connect with at least one other due to other fight similarities, such as Mad Mew Mew's track being a mixer of Muffet. I love how all of, most all of your streams, at least the ones I've seen, always ends up having a conversation related to Undertale. I know, it's, it's, it's a popular topic, honestly, and I feel like I'm getting a little bit typecast for it. Am I crouched? Yes, I am. That's why I'm not going forward. I'm going to put a door here. That's just, that's just going to wall off that water there. I've seen enough of it. Yeah, it always pops up. It's a, it's, it's a really popular thing to talk about here. 
Merg is a YouTuber. I don't think Jensen will know Merg. No, I do not. Makes sense! Okay, thank you, Pepperus. Screaming. I know Undertale Deltarune has a lot of motive stuff, but because of how simple Gaster's theme is, it's easy to convince yourself you hear it everywhere. Oh my god! Gaster's theme! That is- Oh! I figured out, by the way, the Mystery Man- I know exactly what it is. The Mystery Man uh, theme. And it didn't even take that long to figure out. So I'll just tell you while I'm kind of like mining, I suppose. The Mystery Man theme, when you slow it down right and reverse it as the popular consensus, you get Gaster's theme. The first few notes from Gaster's theme, right? That is absolute bollocks. That is not true whatsoever. And anyone who actually does it does not get Gaster's theme. I did it. It took me literally two minutes of editing to figure out, hey, to get the same BPM as Gaster's theme, you slow down the Mystery Man Sting to about 20% of its base speed. You don't reverse it, which is apparently essential in getting the Gaster's theme um, notes. Not only is it the wrong notes, it is the wrong um, key of song, and it's not even the right beats per minute. Gaster's theme is a standard 4-4, and the Mystery Man Sting is 3-4. Uh, so it's, it's complete bollocks. Everybody who's been pushing these narratives, it, they haven't actually been doing anything on their own volition. All they've been doing is kind of like parroting what a bunch of other people have been saying. It's just, it's so annoying. Because everybody keeps on bringing it up. Oh, but Mystery Man has guessed his theme. No, it's not. It's, it's actually not. Uh, but, uh, sorry, I don't want to blue balls you. I figured out what it actually is. It is the Waterfall theme song, Slowed Down, which... Thematically makes sense, doesn't it? Because the mystery man is in the waterfall. All right, we've got some dirt here. Pretty cool. Ah, there are some songs where it's more likely, though. Uh, that what? There is literally no song in the game that relates to Gaster's theme. I'm still convinced it was cut content based on uh, the state that the, the game was when they kind of released it. Let's go ahead and fire that one there. Yeah, I don't think Gaster is the mystery man. They can't be. They don't have any relationship whatsoever. I went onto the wiki as well. The Mystery Man uh, icon is on Gaster's page and it says possible sprite, which people seem to ignore. They seem to see it on the wiki and think, oh, it's guaranteed then. And then right under the only thing that really connects Mystery Man and Gaster being the uh, theme song that the, the Mystery Man um, kind of like floats away with, it says citation needed. Here's your citation. It's bollocks. It's not true. <laughs> people have thrown slurs at me over this. <laughs> Like, it's ridiculous! I just don't get it. I do uh, believe that Gaster is important to Deltarune. Uh, possibly. He could be in He could be in Deltarune. They are supposed to be alternative universes, so it could be a universe where Gaster didn't actually die. How about we accept that Gaster does not exist and it will never be canon? Uh, unfortunately, that can't be done because he made the core. He was the royal scientist, which is cited by several pieces of in-game evidence. And also NPCs talk about him repeatedly. So he's got to have existed in the game at some point. Who's better, Jevil or Spamton? Easily, easily Jevil. Like Spamton's got his charm, but Jevil is... I like the little devil energy. Love it. Okay, we'll put that there. Uh, what do you mean by motif? Do you mean uh, constant motif use as in like the fonts? Because they are important. They, like, they are definitely important. Sans speaks in Comic Sans and Papyrus speaks in Papyrus. The font. We know about his existence in Undertale. Oh, in Deltarune? He could be. He could be in Deltarune. He could not be in, De in Deltarune. Like, the, f the simple fact of the matter is that the game isn't out. <laughs> so, like, just coming to, coming to terms with the fact that there's no evidence out there to support anything yet... It's probably the first step in, in kind of cracking through Deltarune, right? I like the Jevil boss more, but I prefer Spamton as a character. I feel like Spamton's complex. Jevil is very one-dimensional. Uh, you know that he is a little devil. He was locked away, obviously, for being a little devil. He probably did something devilish. But Spamton, on the other hand, there's so many pieces of him that just, like, are separate entities altogether that it's really, really kind of hard to, like, differentiate him. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, piss off. We found another pit of death. Great. Awesome. I mean, I'll explore it, obviously, but I still don't see any, like, low-hanging fruit in here that would warrant us exploring in here whatsoever. There's obviously Lapis Lazuli just up on the wall there. There's another kind of path we can go up there as well. Piss. We'll go there. We'll do that, and... We're running out of torches as well. We probably want to maybe think about getting some more torches before we... Kind of like push too far into here. 
Although if there's some coal, we could probably just make some on the spot. What the hell is that? Is that a skeleton and golden armor? You, sir, are taking the piss. I'm certain of it. That is a skeleton and golden armor. And there's no ores in here. Piss on this, we're off. We're out. Screw this place. I'm going home. Hey, am I right? Am I right? I'm going home. Hey, remember that meme? What is this? Oh no, we flooded our hole. Oh well, some people get pay good money to have their hole flooded. I have some iron right here, that's pretty good. Okay. We don't want to use the stone pickaxe, we want to use like with like with this because it's faster, more effective. Quite a lot of iron here, actually. I like this. Yes, this is exactly what we want. Hopefully there's not going to be lava on the other side of this. Because, um, we're being a little irresponsible and we don't want to lose all of our crap either. Okay, good. That is fine. This is really hard to find our entrance as well. Let's put a door here. It just says, kind of like our calling card, I suppose. All right, good. Done. And we're off. Ah. I think Gaster is the voice at the beginning of the game due to the first song. It has very clear use of the Gaster theme, especially in comparison to the terrible Missionary Man comparison. It's not a, they're literally not even comparable. They're different keys. They're different beats per minute. They're completely different melodies. Like, I can tell you for a fact that the Missionary Man uh, pissing off while you touch him sting... That is literally the waterfall theme played in 3-4 rather than 4-4. Four, four. They're the exact same notes. I even overlaid them. It's the same song. It doesn't sound exact, obviously, because I had to slow it down. Obviously, you lose a, a little bit of fidelity with that. But uh, it, it's there. It's there. Different keys and BPN don't matter. That is absolutely not true whatsoever, my dude. That is, that is a falsehood if I ever saw one. But yeah, the melody part, that's important. The, the melody is not even the same. The BPM, that's not important because you can always change that. Different keys, that is vital. If you're comparing motifs. What do you guys even mean by motifs? Do you mean stings? Like the, the quick songs that play while somebody kind of like leaves or enters a room. That's called a sting. I don't know why people keep like changing the names of things all of a sudden. It's only happened over the last couple of years as well. We got some gold, that's pretty good. We also got some raw iron, which I'm going to cook up right here. Done. We're going to keep that iron right there. No. Well said. Well said indeed. Yes, to tell Jevil this is not real is game, then Jevil go crazy. Particularly because of the stuff in the Undertale account before the game released. Some people pay good money to get their holes flooded. Oh yeah, they do. They're melodies that are used throughout multiple different songs to represent something. Yeah, but you need to actually be able to um, have a relationship between the songs to represent something or a direct relation um, of them using it. We don't have any of that whatsoever. They're have you never heard the term motif in music? No, I've not. Should I Google it? I'll Google it. I had to teach myself music. That's basically how I learned it. Music. Motif. A motive IPA or motive is a short musical idea, a salient recurring figure, musical fragmentation or successive notes that has some special... What the hell? <laughs> In the context of music, a motive is simply a short musical idea longer than a single note, but shorter than an entire section. What? So it's like, um... Oh, is it, is it just a series of notes shorter than a bar? Is, is that... Am I reading into that right? I didn't know that was a thing. That's the point of the theory? Is it happens to use the gaster motif? That's why it's theory. What uses the gaster motif? They're not even, the, they're not the same notes. So even if you're just using like a series of notes to represent something, there's still no relationship between the mystery man and gaster. There's, there's just none of that. It's not there. I don't know where people keep uh, getting all this, these ideas from. Uh, I'm going to start mining into this direction now. Uh, our pickaxe is about to break, but I feel like just going into different directions is probably better than standing around doing nothing. The song in the very beginning. Are we still talking about um, Undertale or are we talking about Deltarune? Okay, let's put that there. Another him. None of us are talking about the Mystery Man. Okay, I was still uh, thinking about Undertale. Are we talking about Are we talking about Deltarune now? You just have terrible ears? What? <laughs> My dude, I learned how to play guitar by ear. 
Deltarune. Okay, 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 okay. I don't think he was listening to the chat. No, I'm kind of like, um, I'm half mining and articulating thoughts at the same time as well. It's a bit of a curse of YouTubers. Because, like, uh, you, you, can't, you can't fully focus on something if you're, if you're streaming and stuff. Like, it, it's just impossible to do. Okay, so we've got a few more iron ingots. Let's take these top side. We'll also take that diamond top side. We should probably think about melting down this raw gold into ingots as well. There's not really anywhere we can do that aside from right here. All right, we'll take these ingots and we'll melt down all of this raw gold. Okay. Yeah, so essentially I have not, I'm, I'm not going to touch Deltarune with a 10 foot pole until like chapter five or six is out. Because when we get at least half the game released, at that point we can start like theory crafting and stuff. But until then, uh, it's, it's every, everything that we find is basically worthless to us. There's only speculation hearsay, which has ruined Undertale completely. And people keep uh, throwing a bunch of insults and slurs at me because of it. Okay. Lol Minecraft dude just appeared. It's fine. What, are you talking about Isaac Bluestone? He's, he's turned up a few times. Ancient city? Yeah, uh, let's make a shield. Let's make a shield. Let's go and try for an ancient city. We'll empty out our inventory and we'll try for an ancient city. Oh, it's also been two hours. So you guys uh, who have been here for at least an hour will know exactly what that means. I'm back, human. Welcome there. Uh, welcome back, Vaporous. We'll go back into this here tunnel. We're going to change the shader. We're going to change the shader to the third one, which is called Kappa. And we're going to pick one, basically from the three. I think that the one that we uh, kind of like used Chocopic 13, it was either broken or it just looked like absolute ass. One of those two. And it's a 50-50 toss up on which one it could be. So let's go ahead and let's empty our inventory first. Let's, let's do this before we do anything else. Let's go ahead and maybe start with the food chest because we probably don't need this one cooked rabbit or these apples. Uh, did we actually deposit all of the meats? Oh, we're out of... Yeah, we're out of uh, fuel now. Okay, we'll put those oak planks in there. That should that should do everything good. Also, when have people thrown slurs at you for it? I wasn't there for that. No, you weren't. You you definitely weren't there for that. Um, it's it, it happened across. What was it? The secret hunting. I had a couple of people. I can't really cite exactly when they were, because memory had made uh, issues, but... Oh, you made an auto-cooker? That's nice. Yeah, we made one of those. It was basically an essential. And we're going to basically harvest all of the parts from that to make an automatic chicken cooker, too, when we actually get enough bits and bobs, because uh, I want to play with the redstone. We do have an iron ingot here that we probably could transfer into the amount of hoppers required for an automatic chicken cooker, but I don't know if we'll do it just yet. Okay, let's get, like, a dump chest. Do we have any chests on us? No. Do we have any in here? Yes. Let's get a dump chest right there, and we'll stick it right here. Oh, apparently we picked up both of these chests. I didn't want both of them. Okay, let's stick all of our valuables in here. We'll keep that stone sword because it's not particularly useful. I'm going to keep maybe one of these iron pickaxes at least. We probably don't want to lose the bow or the diamond or the ingots, and quite frankly, we can make another crossbow. They're not that hard. Stone axe, we'll keep that. Bread, uh, we could do without it. Everything else can basically just stay in our inventory. Good. Okay. So we'll pick all of that up when we come back. Now, let's go ahead and change our shader, and then we'll go ahead and try and find that underground city. I don't know if it's actually going to be there, but it's there's only one way to, to find, right? Shader packs. Kappa, right here. We are going to apply Kappa as a shader pack. We'll see how this one works. I've been wondering, is From Dusk going to be on one of the votes soonish? No, I'm probably just going to play that in one entire sitting on one of the days where I get to choose the games. The Outer Style community can be super toxic, which is shown especially by the example about Underverse I talked about. The Underground City is a real bad idea so early. Yeah, I just want to see it though, right? Ooh, this is weird. Whoa, this is weird. Oh, what the hell? The sky. I want to wait until night time. I think that the reason Kappa was on the list is simply because it had really, really kind of like gritty lowlights. I don't know if I like the, um, the shading on the edges. Oh my God, there's motion blur on here too. Can we turn that off for the love of God, please? Yuck. Wait. Why can I not? There is definitely motion blur on here. Ugh, makes me sick. 
What the hell? I'm not... What do we think about the shader pack? What do we think about the shader pack? I kind of like the water physics, but at the same time, I'm not... I don't like any of the shading. Uh, uh. Is anyone else getting motion sick from just walking around here? It sucks. <laughs> I like motion blur. <laughs> I am not a motion blur guy, my man. I will literally like play a game in pixel quality if I can avoid uh, motion blur. Uh. Okay, let's plant down some sugar cane. I'll wait until night. We'll, we'll wait until nighttime before we like really decide, I think. I like it. Do you? Do you really? <laughs> okay, good. So all of our sugar cane is planted. We've got a lot of spear now. Oh my God, what is up with the lighting on the torches? That's cool. That's really, actually that nether portal from this distance is really cool looking. Actually, I do kind of like the, I do like the lighting at night. Oh my god. Oh my god, everything changes it. <laughs> this one really shines through in the in the low light. Okay, what do we think? There's very good loot in there? Yep. You will die and most likely not be able to get your stuff back. Yeah, that's why we uh, put a dump chest in there. It's awesome. Shader pack is pretty gross. How about now though? What do we think now? That's the pack I use most of the time. I like it. Everything looks terrible. You like it? The sun is yellow, but it made everything sickly yellow, color yucky. I like it. At night, it's cool. I think that's probably my, my feeling. Oh, stars as well. My general consensus in my head is I like it at nighttime. I like how it bleeds all of the colors off at nighttime. Oh, we've got a couple of rude dudes over here. Maybe we want to bust them down with an ax. Hello. You got wood? <laughs> that was a bad one-liner. <laughs> Okay, good. I'm doing the whole crit thing that uh, that Java is famous for now. This is so weird. I've never seen it so like desaturated at night. Ugh, that is yucky to look at at a distance. Oh my God, there's clipping textures everywhere. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. The lighting is a bit too bright. At night it's amazing, but I hate it at day. I, I think that's probably, we'll play it for an hour anyway, right? All right, let's go to bed. <laughs> Screw this, we're going to bed. <laughs> this is, it's a little disgusting, but it's like, it's like a pug, right? It's disgusting, but it's cute at the same time. The light isn't good. The lack of light is cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see what you mean actually about the yellow, the sickly yellow. I feel like this is like bloom on crack and the shading, gotta be said, is re absolutely revolting. This is just not right. And why does it change when we walk up to it? This is so weird. Oh, I know it's like, uh, we're holding a torch. So if we actually take that off our hotbar, it's probably gonna, oh no, that changes nothing. There's just like a little point of light that we always cast. That's weird. That's super weird. I don't know if, I don't know if I like this one, guys. This one's probably gonna be a controversial one. That's nice. Oh my God, that's nice. Free shot. Did you watch the video I put in Discord for, called Flipside? Uh, no. No, I did not. You're glowing, that's crazy. I know, right? That, it is a little bit silly. Uh, the, uh, it's the shadows in the corners that ruin it for, like, indoors. It's not even correct. Like, I, I can understand that these aren't casting light onto the, the base game's shadows that are probably just cast from the sun, but they're not even right, even if you consider that. Whew. Did you watch Hasbun Hotel? Oh, again, thank you very much for the autistic screaming. Uh, no, no, I have not. It's really cool. I'd recommend checking it out when you can. Okay, I'll take a look at it uh, tonight. The lighting is awful. I feel like you're probably right there, Overdrive. I, I definitely feel like you're probably right. Is there any way of kind of like, let's check out the settings of this one. This one's probably the most controversial one, I, I gotta say. Shader packs. So, shader pack settings. Okay, profile. Atmosphere, okay. Rainbows on, oh, that's nice. Sun path angle. So this is weird. I, we probably have to change that. Air coefficients, okay. We don't really want to change any of these things. Just want to go back 
a little bit and see what else we got. Lighting, directional light maps, meh. Light leak prevention, please. Absolutely, I'm pretty sure that's what's annoying me so much. Direct light, penumbra, sc penumbra scale, okay. Filter iterations, contact shadows, hard-coded tab. What, what should I change to get rid of all of the motion blur? Actually, we probably want to change the indirect lighting as well, right? We don't want bounces. That's annoying. Rainbows. Yeah, apparently there's, ri there's uh, rainbows in this. I would love to keep that skybox, but hate everything else about it. It's because the roof is slabs, and slabs are considered transparent blocks in Minecraft, so light shines through them. Ugh. Really? Brother, ugh. Brother, ugh. Okay. Post-processing. Miscellaneous. Where is the motion blur? Turn that crap off. I'm literally playing this in 1080p. Why would I ever want motion blur? Anti-aliasing? Uh, no, it's definitely not in here. This one's huge. This one's actually a huge one. Okay, we didn't actually get to change anything. Where is the motion blur? I have to go, I need to beat up sands. Okay, good luck. Good luck, best of luck to you. Terrain camera post-processing. This is probably where the motion blur is going to be, right? Per jink effect? Per, per Kinji effect? What is this? Oh, there's got to be like the, uh, the color grading at night, right? Oh, never mind. <laughs> there's color grading as well, which is off. Okay, so this one is probably actually it. Anti-aliasing, not, not interested. Display gamut, no. Output bit depth, don't care. Sharpen bit depth, no. Don't care about any of that. Where is the motion blur? There's got to be motion blur, right? It can't just be hard-coded into it. Terrain? No. I don't even know what the hell I'm even looking at. Like, half of this I understand. Half of this I do not. Ooh. I love that Jensen has finally mastered the Pepper's voice after he finished Undertale. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've mastered it. I've mastered it completely. Oh, the motion blur! <laughs> it's so obvious! It's so obvious! <sighs> If we didn't have that reticle right there, it'll... actually, here, you guys tell me if this makes you motion sick. I do like the water, though. Water is really cool. Is anyone getting motion sick from this? I want to throw up. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm actually getting a little queasy, like unironically getting a little bit queasy about this. There's a single beat in here. What do we want to do? Uh, we wanted to go to Mount Hakuna Matata, didn't we? So let's go do that. Where's our boat? Let's go get ourselves a boat, and then we'll go over and we'll see if we can't find this underground city that I've heard so much about. Akuna Matata. What the hell? Did this guy just shut the door on my face? What a wanker. What an actual wanker. Ooh, I'm sure we'll get used to it. I'm sure we'll get used to this. I'm already threw up multiple times already. Water does look amazing. The, okay, there are. What the hell is this? Are we supposed to be like in inverse of the shading? Th that is weird as hell. That is so weird. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Okay, we'll go over this way. We got to cross this way over to the river. And if we die, it's absolutely fine. We don't have a lot of torches on us. We'll basically just kind of like scavenge everything that we have. Uh, uh, we haven't seen trees yet. Trees might look really, really good. What the hell is going on with this? I feel like the shading is reversed. I've, okay, look. If, I, if in five minutes somebody doesn't tell me how to unscrew all of this weird shading issues, because the, the shadows are completely reversed here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just, like, get rid of it. Tenth time asking for Ancient City. Yeah, we're doing it right now. We're doing the Ancient City right now. However, unfortunately, we're going to do it with the Shader Pack. Let's stay on the water for, this enti for the entire duration of the Shader Pack. Oh, I think the water is actually, like, clipping above the boat as well. And now that I've seen it, I can't really unsee it. Little bit of a shame. Someone called the police on three separate occasions to simply pick up and sing Nance Enigma Buffy Barber. Bug bug Bugithy Barger. I beg your pardon? Nice. Okay, yeah, I got you. I got you now. It took me a while to get it. I was the stupid one in this instance. But I got it in the end. Okay, this motion blurt. 
It's too intense. I, we're, we are at Mount Hakuna Matata, though. Oh, my God. I don't think I can play like this. What the hell is going on with the uh, sun? Where is it? Why is everything dark? What is going on here? It's got to be like the angle, right? Okay, let's go ahead and go back into the settings of the shader pack. Because I'm pretty sure I saw the... What was it? S the sun angle, right? So if we just like set this to zero... Did that fix it? N no. And there's also... Still a beam of light beneath- Oh my god. Hey, this one's broken. This one's broken. This one's absolutely broken. We're going back. We're going back to the other one. <laughs> what was the last one we had? It was, uh, video settings, shadow packs. So, BSL or Complementary Unbound appear to be the two that we kind of really like. I'll go back to BSL, because that was the first one we had, and then we'll kind of, like, choose from there. Unfortunately, i got to say, cap it. Probably not going to be a winner. All right, this one's still quite nice. Where's our boat, by the way? We should probably take it with us. So this one here, BSL, actually does have similar water, but with much higher fidelity in the graphics. Okay, good. Also, everybody, you are watching a stream. Don't forget you're watching a stream. So there is actually going to be uh, better quality when the VOD goes out, because I record that one on my local machine. A lot better quality than the stream can actually consistently stay up. So this is the one people were saying that there is a, a city beneath, right? Like there is a cavern right there. Yeah, we're definitely at the right place. So this one here, this is, this is the one everybody is saying is the place. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in our hot bar and then we'll get a axe or something out in case we get ganked from in front. Uh, we got a rude dude right in front of us here. Sucks to be him. Oop. What? Oh, well, I'll take it. We're probably going to get hit, but that's absolutely fine. Bye-bye! There's also a creeper down there. Ah, oh, well. Say la vie. Okay, that's going to be a little bit... Where'd that creeper go? There was a creeper down here, right? Oh, I see. Oh my god, it didn't one-hit him this time. Oh no. Ah, we could probably actually just get him with the axe, to be honest. There we go. Good. We'll reload our crossbow. Woo! This person was heavily fined after the third incident. That's pretty funny, actually. I like that. Uh, so, is there a path down to the ancient cities, or is it just kind of like, dig your way down and hope for the best? Okay, we've got Creeper right there. Okay, good. Uh, that worked in our favor pretty well. Let's go ahead and reload our crossbow. Good. Okay, we're not seeing anything else down here. Let's go ahead and just uh, put some torches up. Oh, we're being attacked. By something. <laughs> We're being attacked by something. I'm going to mine straight down from here, I think. We only got an iron pickaxe. We've got two iron pickaxes, actually. Okay. We're digging down. Now, I don't remember what the height at which the city spawned at, but we are going to basically go all the way down here until bedrock, essentially. Use a cave for mo a most accurate. You shot it. I didn't shoot anything. I shoot a creeper. Yeah, we're pretty low on, uh, I really like the, uh, the lighting and these other two, what are they called? Uh, shader packs that we have. So this should be straight down. I didn't see any cliffs that, like, led us straight down. Usually deep slate. Okay, we're gonna go all the way down then. All the way down. Well, this is some appropriate music to do this to, by the way. Doom Slayer music to, uh, to mine out caverns to. And we'll get one more block down, and then we'll get ourselves another torch right here. Uh, we probably actually need to find some coal real badly. Maybe we'll do that here. Maybe we won't. Who cares? Okay, let's keep on digging. If we use this pickaxe and it breaks, then we have freed up an inventory slot, which is awesome. There we go, done. I'm uh, not going to put it down just yet. And keep on going down. Now, if there is actually... A city down here. We're probably going to rename Mount Hakuna Matata to Mount, um, Death. <laughs> Mount Doom. You can usually smelt wood into charcoal to make torches. Yeah, but we not only need a, uh, oh, actually we, 
didn't take any wood with us, so we can't make a crafting bench down here. Probably go topside and just do it. In fact, do we want to do that now? We uh, let's let's do that. Let's go topside and we'll smelt down some uh, some wood to get some some torches, and then we'll come back down into this uh, heinous little cavern down here. Let's eat some food, real real fast. Good. I guess it. You're probably far away from mountain right now. Do a spiral. I'm literally mining into its base. Like that way is away from it. So if we go out here, I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. If we come out here, the mountain is there. It's over there. It's not over here. It's over there. Oh, piss. I was being taken away. Uh, the sun is also going down. That's probably not amazing for us. Let's go ahead and just go get some wood, I suppose. Egg. Yum. I love eggs. All right, good. Now, let's get some logs, which we can turn into planks, which then we can use to fuel the destruction of itself. <laughs> ah, life comes full circle, huh? All right, get all of this, and we'll get a couple of these acacia strains as well. All right, there's one there. Ah, bugger. Okay, so this is not going to break down the entire tree. Probably just need to go ahead and make a crafting bench then, right? Right here, done, crafting bench. Get rid of that sugar cane, it's useless to us. Put that there, and we want a couple of sticks and some cobblestone. Nice. And now we want to replace this axe, throw that one on the ground, with this one. Excellent. Go ahead, grab some more wood. There we go. Excellent. And in here is next. I don't know if we've looted this uh, nether portal here. I don't think I ever saw it. Let's see. Let's see if we ever saw it. No, we didn't. Okay, it's full of a bunch of stuff. It's got a golden shovel with mending. Ooh, that's actually really handy. We'll take that. We'll take that right now. The rest of it, I don't really care about. I'm gonna get this tree down and then we are going to go back down stairs. Whoops, just took that ax, didn't want to. All right, uh, let's reload our crossbow real quick. And now we wanna push onwards, hopefully not attracting any attention from the rude nasties that are about to spawn in a few seconds. All right, now that we've done that, coming through here. In there. There it is. Okay, enemies can spawn in here, but it's unlikely they'll actually spot us at this point. I love how we've done this into a creeper hole. That's pretty funny. Manding! I know, it's awesome, isn't it? Still no co-op? I can't join you now. My free seven-day trial on Nintendo is over. What? I literally have not planned to create a server whatsoever. Like... There's going to be a point where I, I, I create uh, very, very closed off lobbies, but I'm not going to be creating open servers. That is, a, that is an invitation to get banned on YouTube. <laughs> I've almost been banned on these platforms uh, just by having friends who throw around slurs and stuff just like willy nilly, right? So we probably want to mine into one of these sites right here. Then we want to... We actually need to mine into another one so we can get a crafting bench as well because we forgot to grab the other one before we went down here. Crafting bench, and we want to put this one right in the wall right here. Good, we're not being snuck up on. And now we are going to craft a furnace, which is going to craft us some logs. Let's burn some logs. What can we use as, oh, actually we can use these logs, turn them into planks for a bit more of an efficient burn over time. And then we're going to put all these acacia logs here. That should be charcoal. Excellent. Cole Gold is on Java, not Bedcock. Yes, I am on Java right now. I did play on, on Bedrock for most of my life, but I'm, I'm kind of sold on Java at this point. Just because it's so fun. It's, it's, it's a really fun experience, and it's completely different from, from all of the limitations of Bedrock. Like, Bedrock is massively limited in just about everything that it tries to do. Especially with the automation. And I don't mean automation as in kind of like the villager stuff. I mean automation very specifically as in redstone, which was not implemented well in Bedrock whatsoever. And you're just lying to yourself if you disagree, honestly. Okay. Shovel time! Okay, good. So that should repair itself when we get experience, right? That's what I'm being led to believe. We can also repair it, I suppose. Okay, good. Bust these down. Could we, theoretically, take the enchantment off of the off of the shovel and stick it on, say, a diamond pickaxe? Is that actually something we could do? <laughs> King, why are you calling me a bot? No, uh, Goldie is definitely, 
Definitely not a bot. He or she has been in several of the streams. Oh, piss off already. Okay, nothing down there that we want to deal with whatsoever. Oh, I hate all of this. Okay, let's plug this in. Okay, we've got a couple of glowing squid. We need something to plug it in with. Why have we got acacia saplings in our inventory? Get rid of that crap. Right. Oh, we just picked them back up. Nice. I can't wait to say the same thing again later. All right, good. We'll put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. Now, if we blow this one out, I'm pretty sure that we're going to go straight back down into the water again. Oh, there's gold down there, actually. There is gold down there. Okay, I'm going to stick a torch here. Do we have the doors on us? Yes. Great. Okay, let's go down, down in an earlier round. And we will go and put a door right beside this right here to create a little pocket of air. Okay, good. Done. Now we want to mine all of this out, right? Okay, that's really weird and disturbing. That is lit up good so we can find our way out. Excellent. All right, let's bust down all of this gold. I'm really squinting to see it, though. Like, massively squinting. There's another hole in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. My gold! Wait, are we close? What is this? There's a zombie down there. There's a creeper there. I think if we get into the water right, the creeper can't harm us. Is this what you guys mean by a city? Oh, there's some light down there. Oh, they keep falling down. Idiots. All right, good. Uh, let's go ahead and start lighting this place up. Uh, we left all of our t torches topside as well, so we're just going to have to go up. Ah, that's going to be an ancient city? <laughs> it, it, it is actually going to be. Okay. Down, down the underworld and bro just went swimming. Yep, you are. Okay, this is an underworld. Is, is this actually an underground world? I was embarrassed by what you said about how you made El Ultra Custom Night and you called me a bot. Oh, yeah, you did say that, didn't you, uh, Scott? I remember that. I was there for that. All right, our gold's all the way down there. Uh, that's bad, actually. That's real bad. Where the hell is our exit? It's not, like, through here, is it? Oh, it, 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 no, this is definitely not our exit. What is that? What the hell is this? What is this? Glowing sack? Oh, wait, isn't this where we plugged it in? Yeah, okay, so... Through here. There's also a lot of iron around the place. Don't worry, I see it. Uh, let's get out of here. We should probably just mine our way past that water so that we don't ever have to deal with it again. Guys, don't fight. Literally, don't fight or I will start uh, muting people. <laughs> it's that easy. Okay, good. Uh, let's go ahead and put the charcoal on the stick right here to get some torches. Excellent. That's a stack and a half. Uh, we'll put that in our offhand so that we can kind of like dedicate this crossbow to it. I'm not fighting? No, you're being argumentative, and I, I, I don't want to see it in chat. Okay, uh, let's come through here. Come all the way through here. Okay, so now that we actually do have some torches, we can start illuminating this area, right? I don't know how the hell we're going to get out. Because quite frankly, we're just going to lose our way as soon as we come through here. All right. Uh, all right, I see the gold down there. Now, tell me, do I have to go through here or do I just follow this gigantic tunnel downwards? Because I can do both of those things. You haven't read what the context of the conversation is, have you? No, uh, no, I have not. All I've seen is that uh, you were getting aggressive with another viewer and I do not want to see that in my chat whatsoever. Uh, under any context. No context. I, I don't need context to see when people are having a bad time. Like, it's, it's really obvious, my dude. <laughs> Usually they just say it. Which they have just done. Aggressive? Yeah. It's just confusion, not an argument. Confusion is a state of anger. Did you know that? Okay. I'm coming all the way down the tunnel. I don't see any city, though. What is this? All right, we're really, really far down. Let's come all the way across here, and... I'm not actually seeing any, like, city-like places. Is there somewhere where I'm supposed to be, like, going to specifically? Okay, let's come all the way through here. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I usually don't like calling people out for their aggression, especially when it's unintended, but there, there have been a lot of times where um, you've been trying to kind of, like, 
get further information from people and all it's done is kind of like invalidate anyone's feelings. You gotta take people's feelings into account. I'm just pissed right now. Oh, Goldie. Goldie, come on. Don't be pissed off. It's that easy. Oh, lava looks really cool with the shader bag, doesn't it? So is this it? No, this is again just death. More and more death. Okay, piss on this. Are we actually in the right area? I did not call Goldie a bot. Didn't you? Okay. Uh, I'm not saying you are the one. I'm saying you do sound like a bot with how you type. And uh, to be to be fair, some of the things you say sound a little botty. Uh, anything else? Nope, doesn't look like that. No, nothing like that. So uh, people could definitely misinterpret that as um, being called a bot, mainly because you directly said you sound like a bot. That's... That's why people are becoming upset. Okay, let's eat our bread. <laughs> By the way, chat's recorded on YouTube, so there's there's no getting around that. That was in response to what someone else said. Yeah, but your words have impact, my dude. Everyone's words have impact. Come on. Yeah, you, you can't just blame somebody else's. Yeah, every everybody needs to have a little accountability for themselves. Freedom of speech only works if people uh, remain accountable for what they say. Okay, we'll go in here. We'll get some more gold because it's here. Oh, there's a zombie down here. So where is the city? Where is the city? Like we are down in this very, very deep cave. I'm not seeing a a lot of a a lot of a a lot of a city. I threw up three times and I can't go to school. Oh, that absolutely sucks. And I'm also really, really sorry that you um you threw up three times. Ancient cities, as well as the deep, dark biome, generate more frequently under biomes with low erosion. This is basically mountain and hilly areas, such as Jagger Peaks and Cherry Groves. So it's got nothing to do with the cave system underneath. Is, is that actually, like, a thing? That they have nothing to do with the cave systems beneath? And I'm just kind of, like, looking for an entrance to somewhere that there's not going to be? Is that is that what I'm currently getting at now? I can't see anything with this texture pack. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. This texture pack, by the way, is the vanilla texture pack. We've just got a shader on. There's, there's no texture pack enabled. What you're looking at is the yucky um, base game. And it's in all of its yucky glory. And I know exactly what you mean, because I came from Minecraft Bedrock, where I played with the uh, pure BD pack for a good four flat years. It does, it does look yucky, but you do get used to it. Get used to it. There is kind of like a path that way. I can see everything. Yeah, no, uh, I think what he means is that the uh, the textures are kind of hard to keep up with. Which is fair enough. That is fair enough. That was probably the first thing I said when I when I fired up into Java. Was, oh my god, the textures. I never knew how much I hated how the base game looked. <laughs> I'm going to try and cre create like a path around here. How does that sound? We'll keep on going around here. And, okay. I think we may be close to death. Just keep on skirting around here. I want to go over there. Okay, we actually picked the right level to start putting these blocks down on as well, which is just fantastic. Okay, that's that. There is a bat in here. Oh no, not a bat. Not a bat! Some gravel. A bunch more crap. There's some gold up there. We're getting real flush with... Oh, thank the Lord. This was already profit. Redstone. We're going to need heaps of this. Good, 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 good. Yes, I'll take it all. No! No! Not like this! No! I Okay, he's going to come around the corner and he's going to gank us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for him to walk around, then I'm going to knock him off the edge. Come on, buddy. Let's also eat while we're waiting. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I was holding down the button and I, uh, I may have accidentally placed down a couple of torches. Wookie. 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 This guy's just goose guarding. What an asshole. What an actual asshole. Oh my god. Are you going to fight Warden? Uh, no. No, I am not. It is just dark, yeah. Here's a stone axe as his best weapon. That's not a good idea. Stone axe does twice the damage of a sword. Stone axe is stronger than iron sword. I find the swords be, to be kind of crap, honestly. Like, as soon as I figured out the difference between Bedrock and Java in terms of combat, and there is a huge difference, 
In Bedrock, you can just kind of like mash the button and it will just do damage every single time you click. But in the Java version, you have to jump and drop assassinate enemies and you got to like time it because when you swing, there's a little icon under your crossbar that has to fill up fully before you actually deal the full amount of damage. Still horribly underprepared. I just want to see it. I don't want to go and like take them on. I just, I just want to actually see it. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, maybe drop assassinate the skeleton because I think that I could probably get him. No! Yes. Okay, one, two, three. We ha I can't take another hit. I'm f okay, we did. All right, at least we know. At least we know. We also lost our iron pants. Okay, so let's continue on with what we wanted to do in the first place, which was kind of just like relax and terraform a little bit. We went under. There was nothing. There was a gigantic cave system. I don't know how far I have to mine into the cave system to find something. Uh, let's get ourselves some iron tools. X, pickaxe. We lost that shovel of mending, which I'm not really going to miss. To be because it, it was a golden shovel, which means you can't use it a lot in one sitting at all. He is practically inescapable if you spawn him, if you don't know how he functions properly. I don't even know what he is. I just wanted to see what he what he looked like. Uh, we'll put on this golden chest plate, I suppose. We, it's better than nothing. And we also need some sticks. We don't actually have a lot of sticks. We've got some acacia logs, though, that we can turn into sticks and, and logs and stuff. Let's go ahead and make these into the sticks that we need. Boop, boop, boop. And we'll keep these planks in case we need the wood. Good, 15 sticks. And we need an X. And we also need a pickaxe. Iron axe and pickaxe. Done. Beautiful. Okay. Um, maybe actually while we're here, let's take a look. God, the ocean looks awesome with this, uh, with this pack right here. This is BSL, by the way. This is the BSL pack. Uh, food chest is looking good. How is the fuel? Not great. <laughs> I've seen better, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Make a shield. That's probably a good idea, actually. We'll make a shield now that it's fresh on our mind now. It's in the valuables chest. Here we go. Wait, did I just put all of the iron ingots back in here? Surely not. Where'd I put the... Oh, there they are. 30 iron ingots. Excellent. I'm glad I made a dump chest. How many do we need for a shield? Just the one, right? Boop. There we go. Okay, so we need to kind of like... Is it just like this? And then with an iron ingot in the middle? No. What is it? What's the recipe for a shield? I could probably just look it up, couldn't I? Shield. What do I need? Oh, yeah, I can make one. Even though the outside of this was was red. Okay, we want to put that on our offhand, don't we? And we also lost our... Sorry, I'm getting uh, allergies for some reason. I must be allergic to dying. We might want to get ourselves another crossbow, because those things are absolutely awesome. Oh, it still works. Okay. So does this work if it's just like hanging at your side, or does it only work when you are holding it up in front of you and facing the direction? You can get gold apple and diamond armor. I can send you an image if you'd like to see. What, the city or the... Yeah, send an image of the city. I'd, I'd like to see it because the only issue that I have at the moment is that I don't really know what I'm looking for. I've never seen any of these underground cities or any of these things other than in Minecraft Dungeons, which was... It was fun, but it's not particularly helpful to what we're playing right now. Okay, these are still steps. Still got a lot of building materials as well. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mow some more lawns. Do we... This might, this might be a, a bit of a hot take. Do we want to go and set up like another base? Kind of like over at the mesa where the village is. Cause this one, it's okay, but it's, it's just lackluster. And there's not a hell of a lot here that is useful. It's just sand, which we've already got too much of anyway. We could probably just leave this village behind. I mean, they are farming up some wheat and stuff for us as well. But again, like, None of that is useful because they're not depositing any of the resources. All they're doing is um, turning the resources that we need into compost, which is worthless. It's worthless to us. Where? Check it out, I sent it. Uh, it's in the Discord, right? All right, let's check it out now. We'll check it out. Okay. I'm glad Discord didn't try and update itself this time. It does that every single day. Where is it? Chat Hub? There's a playlist. That's not it. Ah, an actual private message. Oh my god. Are you playing this on a phone? Oh, I can kind of make it out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I, I see it. I see it. I see it. 
right, let's go back to it. So, now that we're in here, I do... Oh, it's going to be a toss-up between this one and the complementary shaders, honestly. I can already tell. Ah, we've got some trees grown. We could probably actually knock these down and maybe try and craft some valuable resources, perhaps. Might be a good idea. Oh, apparently that's not a tree. What about this? Yep, that's definitely a tree. Let's knock all the rest of this down. Good! Oh, there's a poor little sapling. Didn't get any light in there. Poor oh, baby. Poor oh, baby. I think we probably don't actually want to set up trees that grow really, really big. Right, that seems to be a really, really bad idea. Because we, we have to knock them down manually. Which invalidates the entire purpose of Tree Capitator. So maybe we just kind of, like, fill in all of the holes. Every, like, second hole. We'll space them out a little bit better, I think. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and... Need a shovel to do this. No, we don't. We don't need a shovel whatsoever. We'll just mine all of these out in a line. And these ones as well. And we'll just have them kind of like with one gap between them. All right, we'll mine all of these out. I'm redoing the lumber yard. I have a guide for an auto wood farm. You can make to speed up the wood process if you'd like. I kind of like doing it myself. And the satisfaction of tree capitator, honestly, to me, never gets old. How do you do it, though? Just out of interest, how do you automate the wood harvesting? Is it pistons? It's probably not pistons. Probably, probably, that's the last thing that you would use to automate wood. All right, the sun is going down, which is absolutely fine. Put one there. Uh, we probably don't want to mine out too much of the sand, though. Because we do kind of want it in between every single one of these trees. This one right here. And this one. I know it looks like ass right now. Whoops. I know it looks like ass right now, but it will come together. We're going to have these uh, plots of land kind of be, I don't know, like, Five by fives? Yeah, five by five. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. I know the oak's in the way as well. Okay, nice. And we'll replace this one with that. And we'll put this one right here as well. I don't know if we've got a lot of sand in our inventory, but we can always go and get some, right? Let's go get some. There's a chest of it over here. I'm not sure if I like the the sunset from this direction. Like, the, the sky seems too blue, but from this direction, Oh my god, that is just beautiful! It, it cannot be beaten, can it? Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Maybe angle it up here. Rule of thirds, of course. Done. Hey! Auto tree farms use TNT. Back then they used ghasts. Oh, it is actually pistons. Okay, I probably know how to do it myself then. You mine the wood yourself, but it generates wood for you? Oh! Oh, it's not one of those, like, uh, duplication exploit kind of kind of things, is it? Because I've seen a couple of those. I'm not sure if we want to use, like, duplication glitches for this playthrough. It's a little bit too cheaty. I don't ever want to have to do it unless I literally have to. And quite frankly, the tree capped it's fine. The only issue that we have at the moment is that we're not generating enough seeds to kind of, like, perpetuate the cycle that we've got going, which is why I'm spacing out all of the trees uh, the way that we're kind of spacing them out now. No, it's not an exploit? Okay. Maybe I'll have a go at it. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this one down. We've got a stack and a bit of acacia wood, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of all of this as well. We'll keep no saplings planted because we don't actually want any saplings to be around here. By the way, this is why I keep using stone axes is because uh, tree capitator, it's insanely eff effective. Oh, nice. Got a sapling over here and some wood. Excellent. Uh, we'll go over to the building chest by the fountain over there and we'll get ourselves out some sand so that we can plant it in between all of the all of the dirt. Uh, how about like two stacks of it? It's probably going to be enough. I send it to you if you want to use the tutorial. Okay, I'll, I'll like check it out and then I'll decide whether or not we'll do it like the next session. I always build one as soon as possible when I'm making your world so I never run out of wood. We're not really running out of wood though, that's the thing. We're basically just trying to generate a heap of... Uh, resources early game, and that just happens to be charcoal at this point. I would go mining, but all of the mines we've found have been absolute ass. so we don't want to do that at all. Okay, and now we want to mine out a lot of these ones too. In fact, I'm going to make a big willy decision, and I'm going to mine out two of these as well, and we're going to replace these with sand to separate out the economies. Put that there and there. And then we want to put an extra row on the other side of this, just to make it a little bit better. Right here, that can be dirt. Where is my dirt? Get that quick mud off my hotbar for now. Right here, dirt, and that one right there, dirt, and this one right here, dirt. Of course, this one right here, dirt. 
And of course, this one right here, that, you know what that's going to be. That's going to be dirt. This one here, dirt and no torch. And of course, this one here, dirt. Nice. It was written. It was written that this would happen. Uh, dirt goes here. Dirt. And dirt goes there. Nice. And now I'm going to mine out this entire line here. What are you doing? <laughs> I love the screaming. I love the screaming. It's a good energy. It's a good vibe. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll mine these out. I have no idea what you're saying, though. <laughs> it's just chaotic. Okay, good. Put all of this down. And plant them all away around here as well. See, it always comes together. I know it, and it, it initially looked like ass, but it doesn't look like ass right now. And we're going to plant all these down so we can maximize the surface area to volume ratio of the trees that are going to grow. And thus, we will get more saplings and we won't run out like we were doing before. Okay, good. Excellent. Let's go ahead and put all of this crap in there. We've already got it like a stack and a bit. Probably turn a lot of these acacia logs into charcoal now. All I know, all I know is bad, bad decision. Sorry, I was having a little bit of an internal monologue. Trying to figure out what to do. But wheat seeds, these are useless now that we've got the villagers kind of planting everything for us. Yeah, okay, so let's cook up all of these logs. We'll put them in the wood chest. No, we'll actually manually put them in something. Will Portal still live be in the next week's vote so you can play Portal 2? No, I'm going to play that one privately on a on a day that no one's going to vote for. That's that's me. That's me next week. I'm going to play that one myself. No one else gets it. All me. All me. But I am going to stream it. So, not all that bad. All right, put the charcoal in here. Now the stack of logs there. And got a lot of glass now. Perfect. So, we can now just... Is this... What are you guys doing? I need to get rid of these uh, pots right here. Because... I don't want people just climbing into my house. Okay, good. That's why we got this glass in the first place. All I know... All I know... Oh, I see. Oh well, that's gonna block it off anyway. Okay, I'm happy with this. And put one here and here so children can't run through the walls. Excellent, which actually is a bit of an issue. Oh, hello there, Iron Golem. Piss off, please. So we'll put the rest of this glass in the building chest. Can't wait. Yeah, I know. A lot of I think a lot of people are gonna be really keen to get back to the uh, the portal content as well. Okay, I'll put all these away. Got some more acacia planks. I put those in there, got some dirt too. Flower pots. I mean, technically it's a building material. Cactus can just go on the ground with these wheat seeds. Okay. So, now, what do we want to do? Do we want to kind of like, now that we've lost everything, do we want to go to the other base and just start setting up a, a, a little base there as well? I think we probably do, honestly. We can take all of our food over there and start kind of like setting that one up as our main base. Like, we'll keep this base here, obviously, but I feel like if we just dismantle all of this and move it, it might be really, really handy. Okay, we'll do that. We're actually going to do it right now. We're going to do what I just said. I am king of this channel. It's happening. Ah, sandstorm. Great. Oh, apparently there was a furnace in there. That's weird. Oh, no, it would have gone into the hopper, wouldn't it? Okay, let's get all of this, and we'll also get all of our valuables, and we'll set up a little base in the other area, right? Uh, probably want all of that redstone, yes please, iron, diamond, yes, golden apple, gold nugget, yes, all of this we want to keep. Wunderbar! I probably don't want to take anything else, necessarily, unless it's a hopper. Gunpowder's probably useless, useless. rails, definitely, we'll take these eggs as well. Books could be useful too. Okay, we're going. Where's the sun? The sun has been blackened out of the sky. Like, I like it here, and we've got a farm, but the farm doesn't generate anything, and it's, it's kind of a crap area. Villagers can open doors. It is futile to block the windows. There was more so like monsters couldn't just climb in, like flat out. I know the cacti were kind of like blocking their way as well, but we, we just kind of like, we, we crossed our eyes and dotted our T's, so to speak. Hello. I'm just going to eat this cooked rabbit while looking at that armadillo, I think. Oops. Go ahead and eat this cooked chicken as well. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, good. Now we are going to come all the way around here. We're going to make a mad dash to the other village because I like it more than that one. It is a nice village. It's got a blacksmith. It's got a, um, I mean, the other, the place that we're coming from has a potion stand. We probably, actually, I don't care too much about it. I don't think anybody cares too much about it. 
Uh, I'm also going to burn down that forest over there because I am all about capitalism and that is the first step in uh, getting anything uh, financially viable, right? Is to, to burn down a forest. If you want to be like Nestle or, or Mendeley Corporation or, or something like that. Oh my God. Look at everything change. Oh no. Oh my God. I thought we were about to die with literally all of the resources on us. Okay, I'll put that there. That was so close. Once you have a base established, I'd recommend going through the challenge sheet. Cross off what you've already done. We've probably actually done quite a bit of it already. I've killed a skeleton at a pretty long range. By, with the crossbow, not the bow. We did it with the crossbow. Hello there, Mr. Sheep. We are going to be making a metropolis. So let's go ahead and start collecting their skin. And by skin, I mean wool. Hello there, Mr. Sheep. Good. One shot him. What the hell is that? Oh, I think that's a nether portal, right? That's one that we didn't necessarily find before. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, turtles. What do they drop? Oh my god, they're very tough. They drop nothing! Ah, okay. That's a feel-bad thing. Gotcha. I'm just eat oatmeal with dinosaur egg. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, ch chat, help me out here. Help me out. I don't know how to respond to that. Also, that skeleton is an actual advancement in the game. If you've done it, it would have popped up in the game. Ah, oh, that's right. It is an achievement, isn't it? I remember that on PlayStation. Did we loot this one? I don't know if we looted this one. Oh, no, we did not. Let's take it with us. Why not? And actually, I'm not going to loot it whatsoever. I'm just going to take everything. Oh, I got obsidian. Nice. Uh, we've already found a pretty good uh, contender for where a mine should go as well. So if we come around here, over this hill should be the village. Theoretically. It should theoretically be the village. And it's the same annoying biome, the desert biome, which doesn't really have any resources in it, as the... There it is. Nope, that's a temple that we cleared out. Where the hell did it go? Where was it? Did we pass it? I thought it was kind of like at the end of the savannah here, where the mesa starts. We probably should have taken a bed with us, realistically. Okay, there is a temple over there. Maybe going this way is where we want to be? I don't rightly remember. We've probably overshot it massively. I think it's probably actually going to be this way. Let's try for this way first. There is a temple over there. Yeah, it was right at the edge. It was, it was kind of in between these mesas and a desert biome. Yep, there's a giant penis in the sky. You are a freaky killer? Yes, I am. I am a freaky killer indeed. Uh, this doesn't look somewhere we've ever been before. Nope, we have never been here before. Absolutely never been there before. Okay. We've got all of our resources on us. Uh, this is great. Let's kind of like jump in between the chasm of death and a giant pit of water. We can always hide out in the... in that right there. Whatever that is. What the hell are these things? I'm certain there was a village around here. Or maybe it's further that way. This is why we need a map. Okay, uh, I'm going to come all the way over here. I'm just going to look over this hill before I kind of like dip in there and hide for the night because there may actually be the village around here somewhere. Okay, I feel like it's becoming night time. I'd sell with the shader pack, honestly. But this one was also supposed to be uh, further south, I think, of the village. All right, let's go in here. Good, this is the one. This is the forward operating base. So we got lost here once. Oh, it's a traitor. Good. Okay. Excellent. I'm going up the stairs because I put a bed up here a while ago. Let's sleep through the night. Ooh. Ooh, we win. We win. Uh, let's take a look at our advancements. So what have we got? Husbandry. Minecraft. This is the one, right? Where is it? Uh, doesn't look like it was actually unlocked whatsoever. It was just this one, right? The Minecraft basic ones. Enchant an item. Deflect a projectile with a shield. It's not an adventure thing. Unlock a vault with a trial key? I don't know what the hell that is. What the hell was that? They didn't open a door and let a mod. Oh my god, are you taking the piss? Get out of here, you asshole! You're such a jackass! What an idiot. What an actual oaf. God, look at how beautiful this is, though. Oh, yes. 
I love it. Okay, so there's two ways we could go. We could go further down this way, which I think is going to be the direction that the village is in. Because it was right on the outskirts of this mesa right. Damn, that is big. Holy hell. Whew. Uh, we're pretty low on food at this point. We're not really lost in the desert per se. I wouldn't say, but we are definitely not, you know, doing well. All right, fine. We'll go up this way. I think this is like north, right? I think. Sun sets in the east, rises in the west. Well, maybe this is south. Rises in the, rise in the east. Uh, northeast, southwest. Or northeast, southwest. I don't know. Depends on what side of the world we're on, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to go towards the savannah biome. I'm pretty sure this was a, a better indicator of the village over this way. This is really nice, though. It's like a, a, a little oasis in the middle of death and destruction. Go around that, I think. Okay, jump over this, of course. We're not going to go into the gigantic butthole of death, I don't think. Try aim for here. Good. Where the hell was it? Uh, can we actually make a village? Is that actually a thing? Can we make a village? I think we can probably make a village if we just like place down enough beds, right? Or do the villagers have to bugger to, to get the actual villages? Oh, this looks promising. This looks very promising. Is this it? I think it might just be over this hill here. I'm surprised we haven't touched a cactus yet in this playthrough either. Technically, you can make a village. Oh, there it is. It was over here. Perfect. And it's right on the outskirts of this jungle. I don't necessarily like jungle biomes too much, but you can't really look past this, can you? This is just gorgeous. A bunch of giant flatlands in a desert. A giant lake right next to it. Jungle. Yeah. Don't like jungle. Okay, let's go down, and then we'll swim through here. As slow as we possibly can, apparently. I don't even know if we're like... Are we actually sprint swimming? Oh well, not now. Probably not. Okay, we weren't crouched either. We were just really, really slow. Gotcha! Right, so I think we probably want to set up over here, right? Instead of the last place? Because this place is actually pretty thoroughly flattened out already. We can just like flatten it out a little bit further and start building houses here. Trying to get these these villages to do some something productive. And then we've got the I think this is Mesa, right? Mesa just over here. I love this so much, by the way. Oh, this is like a playground where we can start kind of building a bunch of awesome stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So, first things first, we probably want to flatten out the last of the sand that's up here, right? So let's get ourselves set up. Let's get ourselves a couple of shovels. We'll make our little auto cooker. Chests. They can go first. We'll put a double chest here. We'll put a double chest here. We need one here. And we also need one right there as well. So let's also get a crafting bench. Or we could knock because we don't have any wood. That's fine. There is probably a tree around here. Oh, no. That is the only thing. Oh, no. There's a jungle over there. So maybe we go on... Oh, there's an oak tree right in the middle of the town. Beautiful. That's that basically sorted for us. Go ahead and knock this down. Ha ha. Tiny little bit of planes right here. Saved us. Uh, there's one oak sapling. Plant that back where it was and we'll plant another one here. Now we can make a crafting bench. I think we're probably going to set up here. I, I love it here. I actually don't know why, but I just love it here for some reason. Put that, uh, put that down there. I think we might want to, like, recess a base up into one of these mountains here. One of these mountain sites. They look sick. They look absolutely awesome. And I kind of, I think I'll do it into this one, right? We probably want to have the main place that we are staying at sticking out of this mountain so that we can overlook all of the productive enterprise that we've stuck all over the place. What the hell is this? Armadillo scoot. Wow, thanks. Okay. Let's go ahead and start basically sticking all of the crap that we don't want in our pockets. Why do we have wheat seeds? Eggs we don't need on us just yet. Probably make an auto chicken cooker if we get another chest here. So let's actually do that. Let's make ourselves a single crafting table. Great. 
We'll go back to that other village eventually. We'll probably even set up a rail track in between here and there. So now that we've got this, we'll set this as kind of like our little crafting area for the interim. And we want to make ourselves two chests. Well, one chest, essentially. But this chest is going to serve as our input for our furnace right here. Good. Put that right there. Ah, bugger. Yeah, we got to mine this one out and put it one block ahead. It's absolutely fine. I'm happy to do that right here and right here. The reason for that is we want to go ahead and take these hoppers now. We want to put one into the back of there. And we want to put one into the side of here. Good. And we just want to put one there. Why the hell is it recessed into the wall? That is not what I asked you to do. Or it probably is. Actually, it might be, might be my fault. We want to just put it there then? Yep, that works. Perfect. So now we got a food chest. Great. Raw food does not go in there. Absolutely not. Beetroot, apple, sure. What else we got? Wheat, pumpkin, and a bunch of hay bales. We'll get these two chi cooked chicken on us, and let's put all of this raw mutton in through the cooker. Got some wool here too. Probably get some farms for some some sheep going up around here. I'd like that. But we're also going to need some grass to do that, which is probably going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to kind of like actualize as well. We do have some plains over there actually that we could probably spread the grass from, and we also have a lot of jungle over there. A lot of kind of like. Look, we're basically at a cereal bowl, which is really, really neat. I love this. I actually love this. Uh, let's go ahead and hoard all of these bales of hay as well. This is a nice area. It is, isn't it? Like, in the hardcore worlds, we probably found ourselves facing a lot of areas that were kind of, like, scenic, but not necessarily functional as well. But this one here has the potential to, uh, to just be functional and scenic. It's got a village. It's got access to grass right smack dab in the middle of it. It's got infinite water sources basically as far as you can look. It's already got a couple of farms already set up. Uh, we could probably have a giant overlook as well that we could put our bed in or maybe set up some rail, cart rail systems, kind of like transit us from area to area. Take a bunch of these sticks because we're probably going to need them. And we'll get rid of the ones over here too. Yes, I think that's good. All right, good. So, let's go ahead and fire up our tools, I think. We probably want some more tools now. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these shovels. We didn't bring any cobblestone with us, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a iron pick. And we're going to use this. Oh, we already have an iron pick. That's funny. Let's keep that on us. We'll use this to generate some cobble from somewhere, which is probably actually going to be in here. I see some cobble in the side of the mountain just over this way. And we're going to use that to make a bunch of shovels. I think that's probably going to be exactly what we do with it. That is not actually too deep a cavern. Probably a contender for a mine, I would say. I kind of like terracotta. I like it. Okay, let's eat this cooked chicken, and we'll jump over the gap here. Eat. Got it. Got this couple of cacti as well around the place. So this is what the hell? Hey, I found another contender for a mine. How about this one? Oh, there's also like mine shafts up there as well, into the mountain, which is very cool too. So... This is a huge cavern. Let's start, let's start getting ourselves a, a few cobble resources. We'll just mine into here just a little bit. We won't scar the landscape that we can see from a distance too much, but I think quarrying is probably gonna be a bit of an essential thing. Okay, the sun is definitely going down. I can see it behind the, that is so cool. I actually love that. Screenshot. I gotta take thumbnails as well. I'm, uh, that's another purpose of the stream. I gotta take thumbnails for the series. Okay, so we don't really have a lot of access in through here to any cobblestone, but what we do have is a gigantic drop into basically death. Okay, we'll mine out all of this coal because it's basically free fuel, which we don't necessarily have just yet. Probably wanna get a tree farm as well set up about as soon as possible. We probably have a, a, a bunch of acacia trees that we could knock down. We could go and get some jungle trees as well. Oh yeah, I see a bunch of trees in the distance over here. Let's go check it out. We'll go and scout the area a little bit. What's over there? That's a pretty funky looking mountain over there. Don't know what the deal is with that actually. It's quite flat on one face. Okay, let's go take a look. We'll get the lay of the land. What the hell is up there? More hills. Okay, we've got another little cereal bowl that we could probably set up some kind of gigantic monstrosity in. 
I don't really think it's going to be all that necessary, though. Oh, my God. There is wood here for days. Okay. We're going to get some wood. And we're going to uh, probably also come back here. We'll get some dirt. I think it might be a good idea to get some dirt. Set up a tree farm pretty close to where we are going to actually be staying. All right, good. We don't have a good source of food. That is my only concern about this area. It's the food. There are rabbits. I don't know if we can kind of like set up traps for the rabbits or anything like that. Like, I would assume that that is actually a thing. Like, you can get a, a trip by a hook and set up a bunch of, um, maybe, what are they called? Deployers? Something like that? Wow, this place is actually pretty big. I love how it's coastal, too. That is really cool. I love this. I love this area. We found a good area. Hey, this guy owns pigs. Wow, wow, we are. King of the castle. King of the castle. He's also got the trees as well. Maybe this is where the mayor sleeps. The hell is this? A smoker. Smoker? The hell is that? Never heard of a smoker in my life. Well, I have. My mum was a smoker uh, for a number of years. What have you got in here, buddy? Ooh, food. Don't mind if I do, my dude. What about you? You got anything? No, get out of the bed. It's the least you could do is get out of the bed. Did I wake both of them up? I think I woke both of them up. Oh, he likes that. He liked what I did. Okay, so we actually have access to some plains over here. So after we spread this grass, we might want to build a uh, kind of like a farm here. What the hell is this dromedary doing? It's just hanging out. Is your, computable cap is your computer capable of running RTX? Yes, I have a 40 series graphics card. Can you do it? Is Minecraft support it? I don't actually know anything about the other texture packs. I've only taken a look into... Sorry, not texture packs. Shader packs. I've only taken a look at the Kappa pack, and that was only to get rid of that motion blur while we were kind of deciding on a forever pack right here. I feel like this one might actually be it as well. I feel like this might be the forever pack. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. <sighs> it's good because there is a portal game that is exclusive to RTX. Really? Wait, do you become the god rays? Is that... Is that it? What the hell is this guy doing so far out? Oh, he's probably just given up on life, honestly. I don't blame him. I probably would too if this was what I had to look at for the rest of my life. Okay. So, let's go ahead and chuck some of this coal in there. We'll start cooking up some food. And we've got some other resources that we probably don't want on us immediately. A lot of, a lot of res- Wait, why is all the crap in here? Armadillo scoot, two oak planks. Seriously? We may as well just, like, keep this as- Curse of binding? What does that mean? Oh, does that mean you can't take it off until it breaks? That's probably not a bad thing, actually. Some golden apples we want to keep in here. Emeralds, obviously. Fire charge, sure. Don't know what they do, but can't hurt. And we've also got some string. Uh, we've got some food that we can probably transfer into here. Oh, God, I love the effect on here with the shader pack. That's so cool. Portal RTX is the most recent entry in the franchise, so you don't have to play it anytime soon. Okay, good. I probably will get through them. Like, I blasted through the first one. I feel like I blasted through it pretty quickly. But at the same time, I'm always up for a challenge. Unless it's a time limit or some superfluous, like, step count or something like that. That's I don't consider that to be challenging, honestly. Because it's it, there's just, like, one way of beating something, which isn't a challenge. That's, that's just memorizing a map. All right, let's go ahead and make a couple of shovels, probably, like, three or four. And we'll get up some sand, maybe. There we go. Four shovels should do the trick nicely for now. Let's go up here and we'll start shaving out all of this and everything in front of it as well. I think we're going to build a wall around here too to defend it. I think it might be a good location to be to be defended. Might be a great idea. Okay, so I'm going to kind of like shave in here. This will be kind of like the perimeter wall, I think. Or maybe we want a perimeter wall that actually extends into the rivers, the ravines and rivers. Okay, shaving all around here. The hell is down there? Death. It's death. Okay. Good to know. Let's start getting rid of all of this now. Wonderful. We still haven't made another crossbow. I do really like the crossbows, though. The crossbows are really, really fun to use in this. Right. Just shaving some sand. Nice. I love this. I love shaving sand. It's so satisfying. It's just so satisfying. So goddamn satisfying. Get rid of that cactus, of course. We basically want to remove hazards from the area that we could necessarily ourselves fall victim to. Okay, let's just cut through here. 
and then we'll kind of like we'll work on the left part and then we'll go over to that right part that we're looking at over in the corner there good shaving all of this off we've almost gone through our first shovel and we've almost got our first stack of sand okay there we go that's for our first one actually how many did we get we got uh two stacks of sand so maybe 120 blocks is how much this can shave out we probably want to start planning that ahead honestly okay good the franchise goes portal portal still alive potato sack what the hell is potato sack Portal 2, the final hours of Portal. Portal 2, Lab Rat. The Lab, Bridge Constructor. I won't be playing Bridge Constructor. Aperture Hand Lab, Aperture Desk Job. People just told me to play Aperture Desk Job. Other than like Portal, that's the only other one people have been talking about, is Aperture Desk Job. I think it might be VR. I'm not entirely sure. I could probably play a, a few more VR games, though. I got a VR. I just don't know how I would record it, because I green screen what I've got now. There are also several questionably canon entries. Yeah, like Amnesia Justine, right? That's probably the most questionable one that I would say. But they're official. They were made by the developers, so... Like, by law. By law of canonicity, it has to be canon. Okay, good. It's like when Trump was saying, just inject bleach, it'll get rid of COVID. When you have a platform and people look to you for information, you can't really say things like that. And I feel like a lot of game developers should have to sit by the same thing when it comes to like canon entries into a series. It should be either really obviously satirical, like uh, Scott Cawthon tends to do with Five Nights at Freddy's. Get out of the way. Literally get out of the way. Good, thank you. And we should be fine. Excellent. Another one right there. Did you piss off? <laughs> okay, I think you got a little bit offended by that. Portal, no escape. If there's no escape, what's the point? Okay, good. And we'll still fire through here. Get rid of all of this sand right here. That could kind of like block our egress. Oh my god, is this guy like a, a protester or something? What are you doing, my dude? Get out of the way of industry. I'm bringing your bumpkin town into the, into the modern age. Of like whatever year this is. We need to uh, probably make up some religious figure as well so that we can gauge uh, time as well. Not like um, the days itself, but so we can gauge years and months and stuff. I don't think we want to go Gregorian. Maybe we want to have like a cycle of 13 so that we can have a, like a perfect blend of 30 days per year. And then we'll just have like a leap week every now and then. Kind of like make up for it. Read what's before Portal No Escape. Yeah, I already, oh my God, there are so many more. I thought that was the same message. Oh, wow. Portal Prelude, Portal Stories, Mel, Portal Stories VR, Aperture Tag, the Paint Gun Testing Initiative, Thinking with Time Machine, Portal Reloaded, Portal Revolution, Murray Zero, and Portal No Escape. Good grief. That's too many portals. I, I was, honestly, like, I'm a little bit daunted now because I remember what it was like to only have two portals. And now, five minutes later, after learning just how many entries there are in the game, why are there fewer entries into Half-Life? Didn't they do better than Portal? All great games? Okay, I'll check them out. We'll do them in sequence. I still want to beat all the Battlefield games as well. We're basically at the point at which I can just smear through Hardline, which is probably my favourite of the games that are just, like, non-military based. And then there's Battlefield 1 and 5. And then the series In My Eyes ends, because Battlefield 2042... Not only didn't have a campaign, but the gameplay sucked. Portal 2 outsold Half-Life quite a bit. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Because uh, just about everybody I know here in New Zealand, like, they go on and on and on about how awesome Half-Life was. And uh, you never hear, oh, Portal was great too. You never hear that. Not where I come from. Okay, our inventory's filling up pretty fast. We need maybe another two shovels to get through this. Probably don't have enough to even get through this line. Enough durability on the shovel. But that's fine. That's what we've set ourselves up to kind of accomplish, right? All right, let's go and get ourselves a couple more shovels. It is faster to get a couple of shovels and then use those instead of using fists. I don't like wasting time, necessarily. Get a couple. One, two. And... Cobblestone. Shovel, shovel. Done. Two of them. Excellent. I prefer Portal as a game. I probably... I, I, I would agree with that. I would prefer Portal as a game. Half-Life... 
I clicked on that one way too late, honestly. I was like 20 when I first played Half-Life 2, and I still haven't played Half-Life 1. I got Black Mesa, though. Uh, I'm probably not going to play Half-Life 1 because it handled like absolute ass. I literally couldn't finish it. I did try and play it on console, but the movement uh, at the time, it was just not clicking. So I never, I never finished it. So I'm going to go with Black Mesa, I think, which is kind of like the fan recreation in 4K. A gorgeous, gorgeous rendition of it. Okay, good. We get all of this out of the way. If we flatten this out, we can make a arborists. That's where we grow trees. And we could probably also set ourselves up a farm of some sort so these villagers can come and maybe uh, work for a living instead of kind of like mooching off of our success. We're going to become the Jeff Bezos of this world. We're going to turn this world on its head. Okay, good. I think I underestimated the amount of shovels needed to get through the sand. Probably going to need a couple more. Excellent. And we're probably going to need a sand chest as well at the rate we've been going. Holy hell, is that a blacksmith? What's he selling? Okay, shovel broke. Let's go talk to this blacksmith. Buddy! What's up? Yes, he is. Oh, he sells iron axes. Oh, I was hoping he, buy, he bought charcoal. Because if we get a, like, a tree farm set up, we could definitely trade 15 charcoal for an iron axe. That would be such a good use of our resources. That is really cheap, though. That is insanely cheap. So maybe we want to take advantage of that probably sooner rather than later, right? Get rid of these cacti here. Probably want to uh, make like a bin of some sort using the cacti. Uh, we also need to find a bed that we want to sleep in. This will do. Hello there, sir. Get out of bed. What do you mean I can only sleep at night? Let me sleep in the bed. I know it's... Get out of the bed, sir. I know the sun's going down. It's really, really easy to tell. Screenshot. Okay, and get rid of that. Get out of my dear, my bed. Okay, we did it. We did it. We have successfully survived our first day in a new village. I think he just bred with me. That is disgusting. What an asshole. This cacti are actually a bit of a hazard. I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> Don't replant that. <laughs> it is literally going to be the death of them. Okay, I'll throw that in there. And we'll grab this and we'll plant it over here. You know what? Actually, we will grab this and then we'll just throw it over here. Because it despawns every time you touch the cactus. I prefer puzzle-based games to shooters. I'm 50-50. I'm completely 50-50 on them. There's like... I don't think there's a better one. Oh, what is this? Is this a pumpkin or a melon? Melon seeds! Oh, yes. Okay, so... Sorry. If we get ourselves a piston, I can make an automatic melon farm with this. Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, we'll put this in the food chest right here. Oh, what a god roll that one was. Uh, we've got a lot of cacti in our pockets, so let's get ourselves maybe like three more shovels. We're pretty low on food. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three. Done. Shovel. Got him. Uh, food. Probably want to worry about food. Cooked mutton, 17 of them. I'll take it. Sure. Let's get the sand off of our hotbar. What the hell? And now we want to eat this cooked mutton to restore some of our food. What day of the week is portal day so I can be prepared? I can't tell you. I, I, mm, it's going to be a hard one to decide, honestly, because it's not going to be like portal day. I'm basically, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm getting through either games that I didn't finish as requests, or I'm getting through games that I realistically feel like I should have played by now. Because you'll probably notice, my, my channel is at a quality now that I'm incredibly happy with, and I'm, I'm, I'm just playing all of the really, really big AAA games, games now. Not playing any AAA games. Uh, that would that would be a horrible thing to play on a stream. I don't really want to exploit the um, the, the lower demographics for views or clicks or anything like that. So uh, we're not going to be playing any gays, unfortunately. But the the games definitely they're going to be triple A games. I was thinking about doing Skyrim as well at some point after I play Morrowind and then also Oblivion. I could probably slam through Morrowind in a couple of hours. Actually, there's a few exploits that uh, you can kind of use in the Mages Guild to just accelerate the amount of time you spend. Uh, traveling, which is basically the core gameplay of the loop. Uh, the core gameplay loop. It's travel. Travel is Morrowind's core gameplay loop. Mor uh, Oblivion kind of like was good with its travel. Uh, uh, everything else is more tightly packed in, so it doesn't take as long to go from A to B. But with Morrowind, it's just a genius game in the sense that it came out when the world was wanting to transition from kind of like dice-based roles to RPG formats. 
where, you know, you swing a sword. And so the combat in Morrowind is kind of like, you swing your sword, and instead of the level at which you have in the weapon that you're holding, dictating how much damage you do, the weapons do a set amount of damages, and the level you have dictates whether or not you're going to hit, uh, based on kind of like the dice roll in between. It was really cool. I can't wait for the Skyrim main quest playthrough. There are almost no good playthroughs of it. Yes, I can't wait either. I am going to be doing it in a couple of weird ways. I'm going to be playing it in vanilla with a couple of kind of like graphics mods because I don't want to play without them. Kind of like how I'm playing Minecraft now with Tree Capitator. Like, a couple of mods, but if someone asks, hey, what mods are you using? The list of mods, you could say it in t under 10 seconds very, very easily. Right. So I'm definitely going to be going through that one. And... God, Skyrim was so fun, actually. I haven't played in a wee while. I've got, I got into modding Skyrim really, really heavily back in like 2017, 2018 when I was studying for my bachelor's of IT. And uh, quite frankly, I got to the point where I would spend like 40 hours modding the game and then I'd play it for a couple of hours and be all like, okay, the mods work. And then I'd just leave it. So if enough I fire it up now, I probably wouldn't be able to play it on YouTube because there'd be so many mods in it. Even my VR one has about 400 mods in the mod list. I'm not joking either. There's probably about 400 mods. It's insane. I'm probably more excited for Oblivion. I've got like a, a little bit going. I'm going to make myself a custom series of quests for Oblivion. And as I play them through on YouTube, I, I want a bigger fan base to do to actually pull this off, by the way. As I put them out on YouTube, I'm going to update the the mod on mod, DB, uh, mod Nexus. Nexus mods, that's it. I'm going to post it on there and everybody can kind of like play along with me and they can, if they follow the quests, they can kind of like see sneak peeks of what I'm going to see in the playthrough, but I'm not going to kind of like put too much in there to spoil the next episode, so to speak. It's in my request type bone. Yeah, Skyrim's a big one. Oblivion's probably going to be the biggest one though. Uh, essentially, the bit that I've got going for that is uh, we are looking for our long lost sister who happened to be the subject of the Lusty Argonian Maid. And uh, after her life was kind of crippled, after the Lusty Argonian Maid was published, she had to turn to kind of like roguery and thievery because no one would hire her. Right? So um, she kind of like became a bit of a badass and went out on her own. And we're, we're kind of like going and hunting her down. That's the story. I've managed to talk uh, two of my friends and Yintset into helping voice act. For the quest line, so it's it's gonna be a, it's not gonna be a small thing. It's gonna be a real big one, and I'll just kind of like be polishing off and adding like cities to Oblivion as it goes on. I think that'd be awesome. That that would literally be such a cool thing to see on YouTube. Is a custom quest line for the YouTube series being made as it's going on? I'm very excited for that one. But again, I need a bigger fan base to actually pull it off because uh, as it currently stands, five people keeping up with it. Probably not going to be a, a hell of a lot of people. It's not a lot of hype. I also actually want to go one level down again, to be quite honest. Uh, we probably also want to shave out around the bottom of this tower too. Probably a, a little bit too... Too close there. We'll just shave out a little bit out here, like a couple of blocks away from it, I suppose. Just so it looks like it's built on something that's not just sand. Because I don't know if anyone's ever built a house in chat here before, but I can safely say to you from my experience in building that building your house on sand is the stupidest decision you could make when you are building a house. It's brain dead. There's some food over there that I missed. Nice. Let's go take it. Yoink. What's up? Hey there, MLG Chara. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you. Okay. Uh, oh, you'll be pleased to know that I am now scripting the Undertale game theory, and it is uh, hectic. It, it is really, really big. It's really, really long. And now that I've got kind of like all of my plot points articulated in a timeline in front of me, I'm really confident that I have a plot of the game that the entire fandom slept on, like completely missed. Everything ties in, basically, in my theory. There's, it's not like little sprinkles of lore. It's like everything ties in. Which I, I just haven't seen yet. Okay, we've got a pocket full of sand, honestly. We, we just need another chest. Do we have any wood? Mm, yes, we do, actually. We'll make ourselves another ch uh, sand chest, I think. A double chest for sand, right here. We'll use four of these planks. Un. Duh. Good. We got two. Let's get all the sand off of our hotbar. What the hell? <laughs> uh, let's put all of the sand... Right here in the middle of this field. 
<laughs> People will be like, oh, it's a communal chest. What what goodies could there be in there for me? And they open it and it's just, oh, it's sand. It's just sand. You're rapidly approaching a thousand. I know, right? I'm hoping I'm not going to miss 969. I'm probably more excited about that number than I am about a thousand. Like, cool, money. But at the same time, like, 969, eh? Eh? 969? Eh? Hey, 969, the number? Hey? 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 969? Yeah? Huh? Hey? What did we think? 969? Funny number? Haha? Uh Haha, -huh. uh -huh, too funny? Okay, let's put the hoppers here and we'll also separate all of the industry up. Maybe we want to think about making the auto chicken cooker now because I think I remember how it functions. But it's a, it's a little bit fiddly, and it is a multi-block structure, so we're probably going to have to conceal most of it in a house of some sort. All right, what's in here? This is just some dickhead's house. That's absolutely fine. Ooh, okay. So we could probably go back to the other village, and we could probably think about getting some animals here. Because we are going to need chickens. We are going to need sheep. We're probably going to need cows at some point. But I don't know how confident I am that we're actually going to need all of these things. What are they growing here? What the hell is this? What is this? Melon seeds! Awesome. That's more melons. Let's think about making a piston. I think that's probably going to be a good idea at this point. We'll put these in the food chest right here. Done. Is Jensen as a being dead? Jensen as a being? What do you mean? I am being. Oh, him! Uh, no, no, no. That, that would be silly. That would be silly. He's, he's not dead. It, it, by definition of dead. He's not dead by definition. But like, man, you don't want to be there, guy. You, you guys really don't want to be there. I think the, I think the, um, the Mesa is actually throwing off our perception of time. Because now the entire city gets blanketed in darkness early. Which is a little bit of a shame. Although probably good. It's probably a really hot day every day. God, I love all of this. I love all of this so much. So what do we want to pri prioritize next? Do we want to get some farms up? Do we want to get an auto chicken cooker? Or do we want to kind of like, you piss off, this is my bed. Get out of it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Get out of it. Get out of my bed. Get out of my bed. My bed. I'm possessive. Okay, good. So we did that. He loved that, apparently. Us sleeping in his bed. Wowie. Auto farms priority. Auto farms? Uh, auto farms? Or like villager farms? Because we could make both. I feel like we'll dedicate this orange bit to like redstone monstrosities. Probably going to be a good idea. So, okay. If we auto farm a melon, we'll need pistons. How do we make pistons? It requires iron, redstone, something else, right? I'm certain of it. Redstone, iron, planks of wood, maybe? Both are classified as auto farms. Oh, I wouldn't know. I had to figure all of these out by myself. Uh, but the farming one, the villagers farming, they suck. They suck at farming. Honestly, like, these guys are terrible farmers. Because all they do is kind of, like, grow a crop to half maturity, and then they just take it and then dump it in a compost. So I think maybe melons would be a bit more appropriate, to be quite honest, right? Oh, God, my nose is itchy. <laughs> okay. So we got melon seeds. We just need a piston. How the hell do we make pistons? I'll Google it. We're probably going to need some uh, weird resources, right? Or maybe they change the recipe with the copper update. Uh, Minecraft. Piston. A oh, pistol. <laughs> Minecraft pistol. Where do we make the guns? You can exploit the way the function very easily to make automatic farms. Okay. I've never seen this. How do we make these? How do we make a piston? They are made using... Okay. Oh, it's exactly what I thought it was. Right, okay, that recipe is really, really easy. I probably should have just tried this. How much cobble have we got? We got enough. Okay, so, cobble down here, down here. Uh, actually, let's get rid of all of that. We need lots of planks as well. Cobble, cobble, and we need planks up here, and we need redstone at the back, and we need a piece of iron right there. Boom, piston, baby! Why doesn't it add it to the... Oh, I did. Did I search this? Oh, certain I did. Okay. 
Okay, my mistake. Right, so now that we have the piston, one piston, we actually need significantly more of these. Like a bunch of these, and we're also going to need some dirt. So, okay, let's do that plan that we had earlier, where we kind of like, actually, let's go ahead and make a couple more of these here. Axes. It sticks, good. Or we can make one cobble. Nice. One cobble axe and a stone axe, uh, an iron axe, because we have the iron for it. We're going to go, and we're going to go get some wood. We'll go all the way over there. We'll get some oak. We'll get some acacia saplings. And we'll also get ourselves some of these here oak trees. And then we'll set up an arborist. I think that's probably going to be best case scenario for now. Oh, I didn't realize you could swim on the surface. It always just canceled it for me. Uh, let's go ahead and replant all of this. Yuck! Because we're going to need the paper when it comes to crafting pretty soon. Although we're still level three. We died recently, so we're probably not going to be... Worrying too much about, about the enchanting too soon. Also some big ones over here. Let's replant these ones too. Good. Done. All right. Uh, let's jam all of these down. Done. Good. All right. And through here, we probably want to cut down some of these trees. There are some savannah trees way off in the distance over there. That's a weird little, little trench. I don't like that. We've got birch over here. Birch is disgusting. I don't think we'll ever use birch in our lives. Let's use tree capitator, just get rid of some of these. Got some apples now too, which is uh, completely redundant. Give oh my god, we've got an oasis! Look at this! I love this! I love this so much! Excellent! Okay, good. Oh, this is so nice. We can actually cut all of these down as well without using any durability on our axe, which I didn't know was a feature that they added, because that's still the case in bedrock. It's still a thing. Let's get rid of this so we can actually see it from a distance. This is a nice area. We got a lot of things here. Okay, there's a bunch of gravel there. We could probably do with making ourselves some arrows as well at some point, but we don't necessarily need to grab it from here. Let's get this uh, jungle tree knocked down. Oh, piss. Uh, tree capitator won't knock this one down. Awkward. That's good. I don't like the jungle wood at all. I think it's um, really gross looking. We're probably going to burn this entire place down to be quite fair. What the hell is that? Gross. Ugh. Oh. Getting the hell out of here. Okay, we've got some cocoa beans. We've got a bamboo stalk. Hey, we've got a bamboo stalk. What do these do? Oh, I know what we can do with these. We can use these to make scaffolding, which is something that we can stick from beneath, kind of like build upwards repeatedly, right? What the hell was that sound? I heard like a little squeak. Was it this? What the hell is that? Is that a... Is that a bird? We feed it seeds? Oh, we got some seeds. Did you like that? You want some more? I've got a... I've got saplings. <laughs> There's a bird here. Ah, huh, parrot. You can make uh, wood type out of bamboo as well? That's pretty cool. I like that. Whoa! Whoa! What a find! Okay, I've changed my mind about the jungle. I kind of like it. I kind of like the jungle. Just a, what the hell is up there? There's a giant butthole going into the side of that cliff. Looks like an eye. Melons! Oh, yes! Okay, let's use our axe for this, since we can't use tree capitator on the, um... On the trees. Melons, yes. So, golden melons, right? That's, that's a real big cash cow when it comes to people, people doing things. Uh, looks like we've only got oak over here. I don't know if I like the oak, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, let's get some of this here dirt so we can plant all of our stuff in it. Gonna be a good idea. Ah, melon! English or Spanish memes are dying? Huh? What? What do you mean? Do you mean like um, English 2 Spanish memes are dying? That'd be sad. I would prefer people enrich themselves with another language. Okay, so this area is actually quite nice. Probably want to set up a base of some sort around 
this area anyway. I'm going to shave off the top of this hill because we need the dirt. We actually do need the dirt for a lot of the uh, farming stuff we're going to get into. Let's recapitate this down. Nice. Got a few saplings from that. Got some okies. Okie. And we'll knock that one down too. Get some birch, even though we don't want it. And we'll knock this one down next. Good. We've got lots of water, uh, wood on us now. Sorry, I said water. Let's go ahead and start shoveling all of this off. Now we... Oh, piss. We basically got essentially what we needed, which was a bunch of logs, and we're working on getting some dirt now too. Get our shovel back out. Probably going to have to finish off the rest of this hill's crown with our fists, which may not be the most ideal thing in the world, but it is something I'm willing to do. Okay, good. It, yeah, it broke. All right, let's use our fists. Wait, why would we use our fists? We literally have wood right here. Why wouldn't we just make a crafting bench and then make more stuff? Put that there. I think we're out of cobble. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we can't use... Yeah, we can use wood, honestly. It's not that bad. Probably need the one. All right, good. That's slightly better. Not by much, but it is slightly better. I kind of want to shear off some areas so that we increase the spawn rates of the animals. So we'll be able to basically get ourselves some farms going without necessarily having to go too far with the lead. Okay, we'll knock all of this down. Good, 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 good. There is still a single tree up on the crown of this hill. Probably going to have to knock it down with one of our axes, which I'm happy to do. And we should be golden. I'm basically going to mine out this entire crown and then we'll get back home. We'll kind of like reorganize, I suppose. We'll plant down a very, very basic tree farm. Okay, our shovel is broken. Let's try and make another one. Do we have any cobble? We don't. I think we dropped all of our cobble down south side, didn't we? But what we do have is iron, which I'm happy to spend. Good. Especially since it's so fast. Probably should have just done this initially, right? Shouldn't have bothered with the uh, wooden shovel. It's just so much quicker. Okay, good. Shave all of this off. Nice. And we are almost done. Sorry, cow. I know you wanted to stand on that piece of earth, but I was moving it as you jumped. Okay, this has to go down too. Excellent. Nice. Got a lot of resources out of here, actually. So, let's pick all this up, and we will go back home wherever the hell that direction is. Probably this way, right? I do like these plains. I, do, I don't like the jungle. I like the plains. Okay, where is our town? There it is. Our little township over here. Very cash money. And what are we going to do with it? We probably want to go get some savannah wood as well. I do like the savannah wood significantly more than I like anything else in the game. It's just better in just about every way, shape, or form, aesthetically. <laughs> Maybe not functionally. Maybe functionally it's equal to everything else in the game, but I have my preferences, and Acacia Wood just looks absolutely gorgeous. We could probably frame out all of the new houses here with Acacia Wood as well. Oh my god! Oh, look at this! It's so pretty! I love it. Screenshot! Okay, let's come over here. This uh, Iron Golem has a very gormless look on his face. Don't know if I like that, necessarily. Right, so we also don't have a huge source of torches, do we? That's actually a, a real big bad. Hmm. Yeah, we got no torches, we got no charcoal. We got a lot of logs that we could probably turn into charcoal. Let's do that. Excuse me, sir, I don't know if you have noticed, but this is my bed now. <laughs> Just kick him out half sleep. Babe, wake up, I'm taking the bed. Oh. Get out of the way! I'm trying to take a screenshot, you asshole! Screenshot. Done. <laughs> what a jackass. Alright. So, we have not got anything in there to take out. Nothing in here either. Got some wheat seeds. Okay, I don't know where we keep getting these from. Got some bamboo. Probably plant the bamboo. But I haven't done so yet. Now, I'm thinking maybe it would be a better idea to plant the trees kind of like in this desert area. And then keep all of the kind of like product of enterprise in this zone. Do we want to shave off more of this mountainside? I kind of do, actually. Okay, I'm going to do that. 
I'm gonna shave off more of this mountainside. Even though our inventory is pretty full. I want more room. I want more room than less. Okay, we'll make it look as natural as we possibly can. Here we go. Good. Oh, maybe shear that one off too. Good! And we're probably going to take this all down one more level as well. Unless we kind of like place blocks around and then frame it with some stairs. That'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind that actually. We can, we can frame this with stairs. Okay, using that single iron ingot on, a, on an iron shovel was such a good shout. I love it. And it's not like we're going to run out of iron ingots because the village is generating iron golems. Which we can essentially just farm for free iron. All right, good. Come in here, shave off the last of this. Okay, I'm sold on the iron shovel. I thought it was a waste of iron, but it's actually really cool. It's kind of uh, empty out our inventory, I think. We've got so much crap in our inventory, we, we probably don't need it all. We don't need all of this melon seeds. Uh, redstone, probably don't need that until we get heaps and heaps more cobblestone so we can make more pistons. Let's not put the piston in the... Why are we putting... Okay, I got the wrong chest. We'll put our valuables in here. Piston can go in here down with the other machinery things. Uh, iron ingots go in there. What else have we got? We've also got... Oh, we've got books. We need to put those in there too. And we've got some sand as well, which isn't valuable whatsoever. What the hell did he just do with this water? Weird. Ah. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we get some pens up and running. We won't have to feed the animals necessarily though. We just won't have to do that. Okay, this doesn't really look very natural, but should be fine regardless. I'm hoping this is shovelable. Oh, thank the Lord. It's, it is shovelable. Okay, let's kind of like slice around here. And then we will cut away into the village. I think. Or do we actually want to uh, have a little farming landing? We'd have to get rid of this pen right here to do so. And we'd need like a, a straight cut across the... What's the village like from here, I would say? Because we do want to put a bunch of houses and stuff in this area too. Okay, I'm going to shave out here and then I'm going to go and cut out everything from the left as well. Yep, that's sandstone. Get rid of that. I think there's supposed to be paths. Okay, we've got sand again. And path again. And now shovel. Nope, path again. Wow, that's a lot of sandstone actually. It's good, though. We can use that to make ourselves some stairs. All right, so I'm thinking maybe if we kind of, like, shave off the side here, we can kind of, like, we can use the the naturally generated geometry to our favor. Just by kind of, like, putting some stairs that kind of, like, curve around here. Let's get rid of all this. Good. And all of this has to go. All of this just has to go. Okay, that is too hard. Also, too hard. A lot of steps around here, actually. Probably gonna need another iron shovel at some point as well. Oh my god, seriously? Why are there so many paths all of a sudden? Alright, let's knock all of those out. We'll get the shovel out for a more effective swipe. And we're probably gonna need another iron shovel. I'm... What the hell is that doing there? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just... Make another iron shovel, because I know we're gonna need it. I just know we're gonna need it. So let's do it. One iron shovel... Right here. Oh, we don't have the iron on us anymore. We'll keep like two iron on us. One of them can go into a shovel and if we need to make another shovel, we'll still have the resources on us to do so. Boop. There we go. And we'll put this over the other shovel. Now there is a mod that kind of like replaces the tools that you use after the durability runs out with the ones that are already in your inventory. Maybe we want to install that one too. Because fishing around in the inventory is a little bit cumbersome, especially when it breaks the flow of what we're trying to accomplish here. Like this. Good, 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 good. But I don't know. That's that's another one of those things where I don't quite know if I will install the mod for any reason other than my own convenience. I'm pretty happy just to keep on going along as I have been going on, though. Yeah, I think we are going to kind of like we're gonna we're gonna build up the next level of this area into a farmland, into a really really nice looking farmland. We'll make a big structure out of it too. Big walls, nice towers. Maybe even a crow's nest. I'd say. And we're not just going to make like one plot of, of soil like we did in the other village. We're going to make it pretty damn big. 
I just hope that they're not going to grow a bunch of crap again. Because they, they grow a bunch of crap in the other one. Beetroot's very inefficient. You can't even cook them. Very, very crap. Very crap yield of, of HP. Okay, we'll come through here. Excellent. Uh, we're probably also going to want to take out this pig farm as well, or at least move it? Like, it looks nice enough, but I, I don't think it's necessary to have. Oh, we've got some solid sandstone here. Hello there, sir. You interested in the construction? I am currently uh, uh, fabricating this land to enslave you. <laughs> well, at least now they know. <laughs> uh, I've also just realized that we could probably go around these buildings too. And we don't necessarily need to, like, dismantle them, realistically, unless they're in the way of, like, more efficient housing. We could probably instead just go ahead and take out the sand that they're built on top of and replace it with the sandstone blocks to make them look like they're supposed to, like they're on purpose. Make them look like they're on purpose. That is solid. Let's go ahead and knock these down. I think these are the paths. I think they're supposed to be, like, solid sandstone or something like that. Knock that one down as well. This is all sand. This can all go. I don't want to knock down those uh, pillars just yet. Okay, that's another path. Go ahead and continue our terraforming and more sand right here. Very good. Nice. We're pretty hungry. This is pretty, pretty hungry work. I did do a lot of shoveling when I was building. It was probably the least favorite thing that I came across. Which is a very hot take. A lot of people always told me while I was building that the shoveling is just the best job because you, you can turn your brain off. Jensen? Yeah, hey, Scott's World. What's up? What's good? I'm right here. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm right here. Oh, big news, by the way, actually. Uh, Dying Light finally might get the sequel that it actually deserved. Dying Light the Beast has uh, been announced, I think, last night by Techland. Because Dying Light 2, uh, anyone who played Dying Light 1 knows that Dying Light 2 just absolutely sucked ass in every single way, shape, and form. They took all of the stuff that was not fun from Dying Light 1 and then uh, put it in Dying Light 2. So hopefully this next one's going to be awesome. We're going to shovel. Nightmare House official sequel remake on Steam soon? Oh! Ah! Oh, that! I think that crossed my mind recently, but I looked into it and... It wasn't actually due for a long, long time. Is that, is that not the case anymore? Are they, have they actually got an, an, a release date set? Because I think the last time I looked it up, I was waiting for the uh, remake to come out. And that's why it took me so long to get to it. Okay, none of that is sand. It's not like I was just being a, a neglectful uh, jackass. It's, it's because there was a remake that was announced uh, a few months ago that I was just waiting for. And I completely missed it. But yeah, hard to say. Hard to say. A lot of games are getting remakes these days, uh, just being put out. Yeah, this October, I'm really excited that Silent Hill 2 is getting remade. Jesus, that was a fun game. I hope they keep the dog ending. I know how to get that one without a guide. The dog ending's awesome. I love the dog ending. It's funny, too. I anyone who has played Silent Hill 2 enough will know exactly what I'm talking about when I say the dog ending. Or even, like, if you just kind of go look at deep rabbit holes on YouTube, you'll probably eventually come across the rabbit hole that was Silent Hill. Two's dog ending. Um, the thing about the Silent Hill 2 dog's e dog ending is that it's canon. It's actually canon. Because it doesn't really matter what the ending was, according to the director of the game. It was just the journey that you were supposed to enjoy. Not, like, getting to the end of the game. That was never supposed to be the intent. You were just supposed to enjoy the concepts and the, uh, and the art and stuff that people had handcrafted for you. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Nightmare House Reimagined 2025. Ooh, 2025 though. A lot of things coming out in 2025. You see, um, I, I think 2K just announced Borderlands 4 as well. And I don't know if it's going to suck ass. I've, I think it's like a 50-50 on whether or not it's going to suck ass. Because Borderlands 3 was fun, but my god, the story was so unbelievably cringe. I could not play it as, nearly as much as I played Borderlands 1 or 2. Even the pre-sequel is better than that. The pre-sequel is kind of known as the, the dog's breakfast of Borderlands games. Like, it was... The, the, the gameplay was fun, but my god, don't you dare try and enjoy it. <laughs> I think it was the insistence on, like, the, um, the oxygen-based time limits that the game imposed on you that kind of pissed me off. The movie was, was 
Horridness story? Sorry? There was a movie? For Nightmare House! No shot. No shot there was a movie for Nightmare House. Sorry, I'm just thinking contextually was as well. Okay, let's bust all this out. Good. Looks fine to me. Let's go ahead and leave all that sand lying on the ground. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just sleep in someone's bed. Because I want to. I, I actually want to. All right, let's come down here. Hello. I think we're probably going to create some buildings for increased industry, right? Probably makes the most sense to do so. We'll make a nice village here. Oh my god, if we can wake up to the sunrise from that mountain, overlooking just a bunch of really awesome crap every single day, I will be in such a great mood. All right, excellent. So, now that we have done that, let's actually take some of the sand and... Cons That's not what I wanted. And consolidate it into the blocks, right? So it just needs to be four like this, then we get a solid sandstone. Yeah, good. Okay. Wait, why have we only got 28? Oh, right. It probably stacked onto a stack we already had. So now that we have that, we probably want to make a bunch of stairs. Nine. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. Boom. 32. 36 stairs. I think I missed one. Uh, let's go ahead and get the cactus off our hopper. We'll get these steps. We're going to separate the residential quarter from the agriculture quarter with some sand and some stairs. I think that's going to be the best way. Okay, let's just uh, put down some easy to break sand all along here. Nice. I'll put all of this here. Good. And we want to fill this one in too. And steps. Whoops. I fell inside of a hole. That's embarrassing. Let's go ahead and plug this bad boy right here. Damn, I, did, I don't think I wanted to plug it with that. To be honest. Alright. Good, 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 good. Yep. Nice. Oops. Missed one. Okay. So, now that we've got steps here, we can create like, kind of like a an early Egyptian... Kind of like aqueduct looking, looking thing, right? Uh, don't want to use sandstone. I want to use sand to replace it because it's easy to break in case we make a mistake. This one here can get filled in as well. Good. And I'm going to fill it in over here as well. Just going to fill it in like this, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Fill in this giant hole that we've created. Break these for the sticks that pop out. Nice. <sighs> oh, the Borderlands movie was horrid. Yeah, I honestly, I thought it was going to be either really good or really crap when I saw the cast. But then I saw uh, Penguin Zero's review of it and I thought, oh, okay, well... It was a 50-50 toss-up, honestly. It was a 50-50. Okay, we're out of that stack of sand. And now let's keep on with this stack right here. You do actually need quite a lot of resources when you're kind of like terraforming stuff. Because a stack doesn't actually go as far as a lot of people might believe it does. Right, let's eat some food. Probably also shave into this mountainside if we want to extend out the agriculture zone too. But I don't really think we're going to need to do so for a while. All right, let's fill this in right here. Good. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. One there. And one here. One here. Good. I've been looking to playing this, uh, forward to playing this for a week, by the way. I love this game so much. It's it's kicked off a love that I didn't remember that I had. These here. All of that here. And it was so much slower. So much slower in uh, Bedrock Edition. By such a long shot. Okay. So, one, two from the post and then stairs. Gotcha. We'll keep this going along as a consistent theme. One, two from the post and then stairs. Good thing we, uh, no, not smooth sandstone. We want sand. Good. Excellent. Uh, we need these ones filled in as well. Because when I played with a controller, it was terrible. It was really, really bad. Is this smooth sandstone? I think it actually is. Okay, let's mine some of this out and we'll just shave across. Now we want the shovel, which is broken. And we'll just take all of the stuff out by hand. There's not actually a lot left, so probably not worth it, right? Watched Alien Romulus the other day in theaters. It was the best of the Alien films you've seen so far. Awesome! I'm going to go see that uh, this weekend with Yinset, Carl, and a couple of other friends who have kind of interjected themselves in kind of like the interest that we already have of horror films. I think, um, I, I keep mentioning on the channel... Yinset was not very good at horror initially, but we kind of like 
did a psyop where um, I threw her basically into the deep end and made her watch this this uh, Thai film called Shutter, which is probably what, like unironically one of the scariest films that I have uh, ever seen. So I throw her into that. Like the first half of it, it's like all. It's, it's tacky, but then after the tacky half of the film, it gets really, really dark and scary. It's so worth watching. Not the English remake. The, re the English remake actually sucked, but the, uh, the, the, the Thai one, the original Thai one, that was really good. Okay, put the smooth sandstone in here. I'm going to separate that out, actually, because they kind of look the same. Okay. So now we want to bust this down and just let the iron golems take all of the mobs out for us. After I made her watch Shutter, I mentioned to Carl, hey, I made her watch this. And he was like, oh, we should watch the Alien movies together. And I hadn't seen Prometheus or the other one that came after it. I can't remember what that one was called. By the time he said that, and I was like, oh, hell yeah. I didn't even know Prometheus was an alien movie. So, like, I watched that and it blew me away. It absolutely blew me away. Michael Fassbender nailed that one. He didn't nail the Assassin's Creed film, but... In terms of Alien, that was such a, a, a good entry. And the consecutive one. And I loved all the, uh, the little touches in the consecutive one that I still can't remember the name of. Like, when they get to the city and all of the, uh, the bodies are, like, piled up on the walls, I, I immediately looked at, at that and I said, if they were trying to get into the city, they would be on the other side of it. They were trying to get out of the city. And that was actually a uh, piece of foreshadowing for the plot. Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay, now with that out of the way, we can start, like, uh, creating our own little agricultural zone up here now, can't we? Probably want to fill this in as well, because it looks like ass. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to fill in this big yucky scar so that it doesn't kind of, like, look all bad. I want flat. I want flat. I want, a, I want my farm to look like a swimmer's chest, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you, you guys know what I mean, surely. Okay, so... I'm doing a thing, right? Maybe we need more sandstone steps and we'll just kind of like work on the edgings before we work with what we've got. Covenant! Yes! That one was awesome. I loved Covenant so much. That was such a good one. Actually, the last two that have come out, I adored them so much. So I'm really, really excited for Romulus. Which I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't really know what a Romulus is. That's like a, um, it's a... It's, it's a constellation, isn't it? Well, maybe not a constellation, but kind of like a galaxy that's, that's far off. That's what a Romulus is, right? I just don't know. I don't know. I think I, I came across it at some point, but I don't think I ever kind of, like, got terribly interested in it. All right, let's make some more steps. Okay, that was bad. We'll use the half and half technique then. Okay, halve that, and put a half. No, we don't have to halve that. What else we got? Okay, we'll halve this. Done. We'll have this done. And that's all we can afford. So we've got 24 stairs. So far, we can actually turn all of the sand that we have into stone stairs as well. We want to take a look at where we want these to end, don't we? Which is probably actually going to be somewhere around... Okay, have we? Probably should make another shovel. I'm just going to do this by hand. It won't take that long anyway. Is the name of the ship in the movie? Ah, okay. Of course, of course, of course. What is a Romulus, though? Is it a geometry thing? It might be. I just don't know. Okay, we'll mine in through here. This is where the line of stairs are going to go. And we'll come back here with the shovel at some point. We probably don't... <laughs> what? <laughs> we want to wall this off here, don't we? We want to wall all of that off so that we don't ever have to deal with it. So now that that is carved out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place some stairs in a little line here. Till we get to here, we're going to turn around... And then we're going to keep on angling through here so it meets up. Awesome. This already looks a lot better than the other village. Maybe we just needed to die a couple of times, get into the swing of things. Just empty out our inventory. Okay, we'll take the sand. We'll fill all of this stuff in here. A bit more here. Good. Whoops. And all across here. Excellent. Whoops, didn't want that one there. Grab that one before it hits the ground. Hilarious. Good. And... Excellent. This actually looks uh, pretty premium, doesn't it? I like this. I like this. I like what we've got so far. Uh, I'm going to be right back, by the way. I have to do a biological function. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because you guys will be absolutely disgusted to hear that I even have to do that in the first place. But I will be right back. I will be right back. I'm not going anywhere.
I'm back. Rose going number three. <laughs> oh, how did you know? How did you know? We used to uh, say here in New Zealand that a number three is kind of like where you go number twos inside of, oh my God, we could have died. Hey, we've got a shadow. Nice. Oh, that is so cool to look at. You know what? Screenshot. Screenshot? Screenshot. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. That Enderman could have crossed our vision and we could have died. That was close. Yeah, number three is kind of like where you go uh, number two in a long drop on a really cold night and it freezes as it hits the ground. Or it freezes after it leaves your butthole or something like that. Like, that is number three. Where you're chilled to the bone. Heh <laughs> bone. <laughs> okay, we'll come on through. Oh my god. Hello, sir. Would you care to piss off? Well, that was easy. Significantly easier than in the hardcore world. He looks really, really cool in the, um, with the shader pack on. My god, that's terrible. Yeah, it is pretty nasty, isn't it? Apparently it's something that actually happens too. Is he just visiting? Bye! I thought that was supposed to be afraid of the light. Oh, string. Yes, please. Okay, so I am going to... We're going to do something really, really cool with this, by the way. We are going to go ahead and get some cut sandstone. Sure, don't know how the hell we get this. I'm going to mark out this corner right here with it. And then we are going to take a torch and we're going to put it on top of here. Nice. Sick. Okay, and then we're going to do another one on the other corner of here eventually. But we'll just light this up for now. Okay, so we'll come in like maybe here and we'll start mining out like a four by four so we can place some sand in. Sorry, uh, dirt. Yeah, it is pretty nasty, isn't it? New Zealanders have a rough sense of humor, though. <laughs> I don't think northern New Zealanders talk like this, though. They're quite soft. They're quite soft people, realistically. The, we the weather is not literally trying to kill them at all hours of the day. Okay, we got some dirt on our hopper. Perfect. So we want to set this up as a farm. Yes. Now I was going to kind of like build it up on top of layers and layers and then have an aqueduct just kind of like going through the middle of it. But I don't actually think that that is necessary because we can just use source blocks, right? I think that's probably it. So when will not, uh, from dust be a part of the vote? I have absolutely no idea. I could probably stick it in the next one, but don't hold your breath because it's not a popular game whatsoever. <laughs> okay, let's uh, dig through here. This is where the water is going to go, the water chan channel. And I kind of also want to mine in here. Three, four, and one, two, three. I'll stick it in the next vote, sure. I love it. Yeah, I had a, a pretty fun plan, a time playing it as well, but, like, it's not for everyone. It's, it's that kind of game where, like, it can be boring to watch. It's fun to play, but it can be very boring to watch. Okay. Go through here. I could probably finish it in a single sitting, though, so it, it wouldn't take me that long. Good, 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 good. Ah. 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 Honk. <laughs> Uh, do we want to, like, fence all this off with sandstone? I think we do. That's probably actually going to look really, really cool. But we probably don't, ironically, have enough sand to do it. Probably actually get a crafting bench over here as well now. Let's go ahead and just do that. Put a crafting bench right here next to the sand chest. And we'll also stick it on the ground right here. And now we are going to fill up our inventory with sand so we can craft ourselves. One, two, three, four. Oops. Right there. Sandstone. I think that if we make this into a fence. How do we make this into a fence? Oh, it's literally just six by six. Okay, great. It's so easy. Okay, I'm going to wall off that wall. Nice. I don't know, people seem gravitated towards games they don't recognize in votes. You say that. You say that, but I do actually uh, kind of, I, I think about the games pretty hard before I stick them in the, in the votes. And I think what would be really fun to watch me play? 
What, what would just be a really, really fun game to watch me play? And I always come to the conclusion that it's just one of the old popular ones on YouTube, but more recent so that people have kind of like a, a perception of nostalgia with it. I suppose you get a little bit of a nostalgia with it. I was actually going to choose to play Insane Aquarium next week. I don't know if you ever played that. It's like one of those early 2000s games, but it's kind of awesome. It's kind of an awesome game. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to do something bold. Bold and brazen. I don't want these wankers dropping themselves into these pits anymore. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to use some iron on a bucket and I'm going to plant some water, an infinite water source underneath the... Uh, farms, and I'll, I'm going to see if that irrigates them. All right, nothing in there. Go make a bucket. What the hell is this? Get rid of that. Great. I remember that. It's made by the same people who made PVZ. PVZ, Plants vs Zombies. It was a pop cap game. Is, is Plants vs Zombies a pop cap game? Because I remember that. I remember pop cap. They were like one of the the big big companies that made uh, flash games once upon a time. I think Insane Aquarium was also supported by Disney at a point as well. Yes, it is. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. It's like watching a company go from like, you know, baby's first steps fledgling to an actual company. Isn't that sick? I love that. Okay. I'm going to put a gate there if I can. I'm going to put a gate there. I would like to put a gate there. Actually, no, we don't want any gates along this side whatsoever, do we? So we're going to just fence this off so that nothing over here can come into our yard. And uh, we'll count out the, um, the blocks that we're placing down before we kind of like commit to this. Uh, we've got a bucket now and we can take some water from over there before we fence ourselves off completely. Or maybe we can't. There's a giant drop. Wow. What is this? Skrillex? bang rang Okay. Let's drop this in here. Yeah, Insane Aquarium was awesome. Um, there were some mechanics in it that a lot of people don't necessarily remember. Like, it was kind of one of those feed and grow fish games. But at the same time, aliens invaded the game and you had to kill them or they would eat your fish. That is, it, it's so brutal in a way. It's really brutal. Okay, we'll mine that out. We need to keep that dirt. I'm gonna get rid of these. That's sandstone. Probably shouldn't be doing that by hand. Okay, let's get our pickaxe to do that one. And this one here by hand, this one here by hand. Uh, now we want to bucket in, don't we? One in there, one in there. And I'm hoping this is actually going to irrigate it. I should probably make a hoe and just make sure that it's irrigating before I kind of like commit to this. Let's do that. We probably, we could probably just do it out of wood, right? Probably don't need an iron, an iron hoe. That makes no sense. Got a lot of dirt actually. Perfect. Uh, we don't have any logs, though. Let's go ahead and make... Uh, planks, sorry. We don't have any planks. There we go. One wooden hoe. Uh, we probably want to get the cut sandstone off our hopper. Let's replace it with the wooden hoe right there. Good. Nice. Calling in San Aquarium brutal is like calling Minecraft a horror game. Yeah, but, like, at the same time, you can kind of see somebody's logic around it as well. Can't you? You can definitely see it. Okay, let's see if this aquifer that we have just kind of built under here actually does function as intended. Uh, ho! Does this work? No. I don't think it actually does. I, I don't, I think it has to be on the same layer, right? It can't like soak upwards through capillary action. That's not... That's not actually something that happens in this world. Like, you can be correct in a way, but it will also just know. Ah, my sister once told me bones are, eggs are boneless chicken, so. You know, I'm all about the kind of, like, yes but no mentality. All right, the aquifer doesn't work, unfortunately. Who's ever heard of capillary action? Certainly not game devs. Just grab all of this. And sulk. <laughs> We can probably actually just get away with sticking, like, I don't know, a, a, a bit of water here, maybe? And this will probably reach far enough. And if it doesn't, we can do it on the other corner there, too. And then we could just, like, plank it off. Oh, no, we can't put it there. We have to kind of, like, fill this in a little bit as well. 
Okay, let's get some sand. Fill that in, fill that in, fill that in. In fact, that can all be filled in all along there. Maybe this will work. Okay, so if we put some soil all over here now, let's fill in this infinite water source. And put all of this here. And we hoe this one. Will it actually reach? Let's get this iron axe off of our hopper. We're not using it. Right here. Will it reach? What the hell is going on there? Is that water? Is that the water spreading across it? Or is that the shadow kind of like edging over the soil right here? We'll find out. We'll find out soon. Okay, uh, while that kind of like functions, let's go ahead and just start placing all of the dirt and sand that we need to over here. Okay, we got rid of our infinite water source. Hey, it reaches, perfect. Okay, so we can do it in like every corner here. And a corner here, good. Excellent, oh, we probably wanted that infinite water source, didn't we? Okay, let's go ahead and stick one here. And we'll go and get some more water. Go and get some from VIP. Nice. And let's go make an infinite water source right. I don't know, like here. Does that work? Oh, it does now. Uh. Oh, this does actually work. <laughs> oh my god. Weird. Wacky. Nice. Done. Okay, we filled in an entire field with water. We probably want to move that somewhere else. Let's go ahead and sleep somewhere. We should probably start taking a bed with us, too. Alright, there's probably someone in our bed right here. Get out of my bed! What a jackass! Oh, I love that view! Oh, I love the sunrise! Oh, okay. We're switching to the other shader pack so that we know. So that we, we just know, right? Shader packs, complimentary unbound. Let's try this one. Now, I think it's going to be a toss up between BSL and complimentary unbound. Like, this one's pretty, but it's not like breathtakingly gorgeous, right? It's just kind of like, it's pretty and everything's shiny. I love how the sand glistens, though. Oh, you can definitely tell, like, what materials are what, though. I wonder if there's some alpha mapping going on there. Probably, actually. Probably a little bit of alpha mapping going on. Okay, put one there, put one there, and probably need to, another one over here, so let's fill this in with sand, and this here with sand. So since it reaches all the way in the corner from there, we probably don't even need one in the far corner there either. Let's go ahead and put that one there. Okay, so another 4x4 four four just over here, and we'll start kind of like putting down composters. What do we got? Do we want a walkway as well? We probably want a walkway, don't we? We probably want a walkway. We don't want to put composters in here, however, because they jump onto the composters and then they jump onto the farms, which completely invalidates everything that we're working towards. I'm going to hold all of this out. There we go. We'll just, like, fill it all in. Good. Excellent. And we probably want to... Maybe make, like, at least a little bit of a walkway. Or we could move these from the corners into, like, an in-between area. In between these. But they're still going to jump out from here and onto the soil, actually. You know, we could probably just test this out, right? Just destroy this. We'll jump onto this, see if it destroys it. It destroyed it. Okay, so we definitely don't want to invite that potential. How can we idiot-proof this? How can we idiot-proof this so that the uh, idiot villagers won't actually jump into the water and then jump onto their own crops? Oh, I love the, like, water shine. On there as well. Oh, it's reflective! Sick! I love that so much. Uh, we're going to do one more little patch of dirt just over here. And then we're going to fill it in with dirt. What's that? Four by four? One, two, three, four? Yep, good. We want 4x4s. Four They're easy to manage, and I'm pretty sure we can kind of, like, do a little bit of mathy exploits with the, with the water. Okay, good. Put all of this down here. Also, 
four patches of four equates, I kid you not, to an entire stack of dirt. So it's, it's good for kind of like planning out engineering as well. Good, good, good. Uh, th wow, that was lucky. Okay, our hoe broke exactly when we needed it to. So now we need composters. I was thinking about covering up these water blocks with a composter, but uh, the idiots are literally just going to jump on them. Maybe like... Oh, there's actually supposed to be four of these, right? And we need another hoe for this pool right here. That looks cool as hell. Wow, look at this. I love this. I feel like maybe we should put a composter kind of like in front of two of these here. I don't know if they are going to hoe them themselves, but if there's four, that should be fine. Okay, let's see how to make a composter because I'm pretty sure I don't actually know. I don't think I've ever made one before. I'm pretty sure I've got a vague idea though. We probably just need to make like this. No, that's a boat. What about here and here? And here? Nope. What about here? That's a chest, of course. Right, composter. Com no, that's a compass, which we could probably do with making. We need a composter. How the hell do we make them? Hello, sir. Or we could just move these. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm moving the farm's composters. Hopefully we've got four of them around the place. Does anybody actually know how to make a composter? Is there a recipe for it? Because we don't have it in the recipe journal. I'm looking for another farm. Might be another one over here. We just want to keep this as kind of like a residential quarter. We don't want to worry about it too much. And yes, I'm going to keep everything as kind of like stone. And the reason for that is we kind of don't want anything to burn down. If we want to put in some like decorative fireplaces with some, I don't know, nether brick or something like that, then we don't want everything to burn down. Okay, good. That's two composters at least. So we'll put two here. We'll make a walkway of two. And then I think another two composters here and here. Uh, skip a gap and then here, here is going to be another plot for the soil. One, two, three. That should be four by four. Good. We've got two farmers over here. Excellent. I think they've decided to work for a living. Good. This guy is standing in the composter. Doesn't work like that, buddy. Can these guys actually jump on their own crops for about this far away? Nothing but slabs? Oh, seriously? I imagine that's the idiot proofing. Uh, oh, I've got away. I've got away. I've got away. I've got away. We take these, right? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. We put them here. And then put another two on that side, which is right in the middle of the walkway. So they can literally not reach the area that they're jumping on if they tried. Perfect. I like this. Now, we are going to create some kind of like Egyptian aqueducting at some point. We do want to do this specifically because that is kind of how I like to set up my melon farms. I know it's probably a little bit overkill in terms of farming, but it does always work for me. All right, good. Get rid of all these. Pick, all, pick up all of that valuable sand. I love pocket sand. It is so nice and coarse and grisly and I already hate it. I took myself out of it. Yuck. Very gross. Okay, let's punch down all of this stuff here. Had a little issue with the lighting in that hole right there. Just for a split second. I'm back. Hello there, Papyrus. Let's go ahead and keep on punching through here. I do want to set up a base uh, recessed into... Which mountain? I think it's that one there. Because I think we'll be able to see this literally on the horizon and not the jungle from that far away. So we'll be able to, like, have a really, really good time. We could, like, use minecarts and stuff to, to get us to and from the village and home and stuff. Maybe? Here's hoping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And we've mined out an entire stack's worth of holes. Yes, that is only how big they are. They, they are not big whatsoever. Okay, I don't actually know if we've got enough dirt for this. Yeah, we've got enough dirt for this. Uh, we've got more than one stack, so mathematically, we definitely have enough of this. Okay, we'll just take the whole stack here. In case we need to make more dirt piles. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I've seen they don't jump any further than two blocks, so having them two, having the actual Productive Enterprise two blocks away, it solidifies that they aren't going to jump on their own crops, which would suck. Ah, so bad. Okay, good. 
Let's put all this down. And down here as well. Good. I'll get that last line very shortly. Done. Okay, now we need a hoe again. Uh, let's try and consolidate these piles right here. Ah, uh, eight shy of uh, just a single stack. Okay. Nothing but slabs to comp- Oh, for the composters. Okay, okay. We'll try that then, because we still need another... 8, 16, and we already have... No, we need 8 of them. We have 2, so we need 6. We need slabs. We need a bunch of slabs, right? No, there's pressure plates. Probably like... 6? I don't know. I don't know how many composters we get. Oh, piss. Oh, those are trapdoors. Whoops. What the hell was slabs then? Oh, well. I screwed it up anyway. Uh, let's throw these... I've idiot proofed it. <laughs> they tried their hardest, but I've unfortunately idiot proofed the whole thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Good. Okay, I'll put that there and the sand can go there. Don't know why I'm using that single piece of sand right there. We need two more of these trapdoors now. Oh my God, that was such a good idea. Well, it, it was a good whoopsie. It was a good whoopsie. Okay, so let's go ahead and get two more composters or six more composters if we can. I've forgotten slabs. What are slabs? Slabs are... Oh, three in a line, of course. Right, 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 right. Okay. Let's get, like... What is a multiple? We need three, right? So, 28, no. 32. Yeah, that's a multiple of uh, three. Good. So, let's replace that there. Yay! 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 Good. And that should be... 36 oh slabs. Is it like this? Ah, it is. Okay, so we get one composter for each of these. Two, three, four, five. Oh my god, we are so close to six. That is frustrating. Let's get rid of this rotten flesh. We'll get all of these composters into our inventory. Uh, we'll make some more slabs, I think. We'll make some more slabs. What the hell do we do it again? Like that. Just like that. Bugs or brother. Check it out now. Bugs or brother. And that's all of our slabs done. Oh my god, what the hell? This rotten flesh will not piss off. Go away. No one likes you. Oh, pretty! I feel like we found a really, really good area. Uh, we're definitely going to dismantle that farm. We're going to move those pigs. Pigs are probably the worst animal that we could be farming as well, because they don't give us any ancillary resources, like leather or wool or feathers or anything like that. Pigs are just... It's just pigs. They don't give you anything else. Oh, there's actually nothing in here. We could probably dismantle this right now. Sure, actually, it's in the way. We'll do that. We'll get a few more of these fences as well as a reward. Okay, there's a couple of gates right here. I don't want to have to swap to my axe just yet, so let's just go ahead and take these out. Uh, our inventory is completely full, isn't it? We should probably go ahead and just do a little bit of housekeeping first. Okay, apples are in there. We have a lot of agriculture stuff in our pockets, which is a little bit annoying. Obsidian's valuable. Let's keep that in there. We also have a full iron axe. Oh, actually, we're about to break out other ones, so maybe not. Our uh, string's pretty valuable. Let's keep that in the chest. Got some cooked mutton. Other than that, probably pretty good just to knock all this down, right? Oh, poos. I didn't realize that was a source block. That was a source block? What do you mean? What do you mean that was a source block? My arse was a source block. Oh, there were four of them. Okay, okay. Right, so if I put that here, I put this one here, I put this one here, and I put this one here, and then I pick up this one. Good, we got rid of it all. Nice. A Little bit of puzzle solving goes a long way, huh? Let's knock all of this down. Knock all of this down. I do kind of like these little barn designs. Maybe we'll replicate those. Or maybe we'll make some bigger barns and just keep, like, an absolutely unreasonable amount of livestock in there. Might be a good idea as well. I do kind of like the idea of an unreasonable amount of livestock. Okay, good. Pick all of that up. 
Inventory is still not full. Excellent. Let's go ahead and just use our stone axe on these gates right here. There and there. Done! Nice. Uh, we are going to bust out all of this by hand, unfortunately. Because we don't have a shovel on us. But we do probably need the soil. We're going to put more soil down, I think. Maybe not. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Maybe we will. But maybe we won't. But also, maybe we will. But maybe we won't. Now, I'm actually going to keep this patch of grass right here so that we can spread grass to another kind of, like, a barn area. Because getting grass to spread is a bit of a pain in the ass. Usually, you just got to build a real big line of dirt that goes from one source block of grass to the destination. And that is quite inefficient if you already had the dirt in the first place. All it is is kind of like a little bit of forward thinking in advance. Oh, more stairs as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. This guy's like, why are you dismantling our productive enterprise? That's how we eat. Yeah, well, you're going to be eating like kings in a moment. Actually, we might just keep that there. That looks really cool, kind of recessed into the stairs like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we do have a bucket of water. We probably need two more trapdoors too. That can go there. That can get mined out. That can get mined out. Perfect. I'm going to pick up the sand because I'm stingy and I don't I don't want to lose any of that valuable resources that we have. I'm going to go back to the uh, rotten flesh bench and we are going to try from a distance to create ourselves some more of those trap doors. Probably out of oak, right? No, those are slabs. Two. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Nice. Uh, now we want to eat some food because we're out of food. We can't really sprint at all. Isn't this sick? This is such a nice little place. I'm so glad we left the other... Oh, we also need a hoe, don't we? I'm so glad we left the other place. I don't think we've got any cobblestone to make into a hoe, but we shouldn't need it if we just kind of, like, probably use a couple of just... Let's use a... Let's use wood. Honestly, it's probably a waste to use any other resource on hoeing. All right. Good. Let's keep on getting all this up. Oops. Oh, that's right. We need to do the water first, don't we? Okay, put that there, and we'll put this one over here. Oh, thank God. I think one of... I think that one was about to cover up with dirt. I think what the, how it works is that they kind of, like, roll a chance to kind of, like, hydrate the water. And if it, if it fails, if the water fails, then it just kind of, like, sticks normal dirt block where it is. Hard to say, though. Really hard to say. Okay, good. Let's see how many blocks this hoe hoes. Like Santa. Okay, good. And this one's next. I think we're going to break it before we get to the end of this. Yep, there we go. Okay, good. Good thing we made another hoe, huh? So we don't actually need... I kind of want these to open from the and uh, uh, from another way. Let's kind of break them. Let's break them. We'll reshape them. Kind of like open from the actual area that they're kind of like hydrating. And this one too. Oh, that was a pretty weird one. And this one goes down. Nice. And this one is next. So, sand. Crap door. Good. Now every time we open it, it's going to look kind of nice. It's going to look like it was on purpose. Put sand there, put sand there, and we're going to trap door there, trap door there. Nice. And we'll bust this one down. Good. Put sand here, put sand here, put sand here, Oop. put sand here, and now trap doors everywhere. Trap door, trap door, trap door. Excellent. Let's bust down the sand so no one jumps on their own crops like a bunch of absolute imbeciles. And it's not beneath them. Uh, now we want to fill this one in, don't we? We want to fill this one in with dirt. Let's go ahead and just do it with this incomplete stack here. Oop, I fell in. Excellent. And now that we've done that, we can hoe it. I don't feel too bad about hoeing it now. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm going to jump on my own crops. Ha. Huh. I've ruined the harvest. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Whoops. Ha. Huh. Everyone will starve because of me. Ha. Huh. 
Okay, good. That's four composters. Four composters. Excellent. And we kind of like wore this off on the other side as well. If we want a secret... Okay. Oh, that's right. We didn't hoe this in the first place. I was like wondering, uh, did we forget to put down water or something? But no, we did not. Good. So, that should be a bunch of farming jobs basically done and dusted, right? Oh, yeah. We've already got some farmers coming over. Nice. Nice. And here's another sucker. I mean, farmer. Uh, we probably want to torch these up as well, don't we? Do we have torches? Not a hell of a lot. We'll probably go and cook up some wood, because we do have excess. Just over here. Maybe it's already in the chest. No, it is not. Coal. Yeah, why the hell are we using coal? Okay, let's get a tree farm sorted now. Maybe over here would be a good idea? Maybe? Maybe just a, a little bit of a tree farm over here? Let's kind of plan out another section of these in case we even need to expand it. Although, we can just build out this way, I suppose, a bit more. So, let's go maybe five away from here, six away from here, and we'll just go one by one for all the trees. These are going to be dirt plots. Five, six. Uh, that, I'm pretty sure, is hard sandstone. We want them in line with these. Okay. They are in line. Perfect. Excellent. I didn't even plan that out. Good. Uh, and then side by side here, 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 and here as well. And also, I'm going to do this one by hand, this one by hand, this one by hand. I'm not going to jump into the hole and pick up the blocks in there because as soon as we stick the dirt block in there, it's going to reset itself. Okay, good. Now, soil. We need to start planting trees. Whoops. Because we are probably going to be using charcoal as our renewable source of energy. And the reason I'm spacing these out like this is so that we can get as many leaves on top of the trees as possible. Because what we learned from the last village is that if we don't do that, then unfortunately the trees kind of like blend in. You get quite a bit of wood. Actually, you don't get any more wood than you would have necessarily. And with the savannah trees, you actually lose out on wood because the branches go out. They cock out sideways too. Let's get a couple of these uh, acacia saplings because they are going to be the best looking thing. Let's go under the water as well and we'll sprint from underneath. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, look at the God rays. Screenshot it. Great. I'm getting such good screenshots for this, by the way. Uh, let's go breathe. And we'll cut down some of these trees. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> I was hoping that would work, but it didn't. So we're probably done with this iron axe. What do we do with the other net? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's on our hotbar. Boop. There we go. Praise tree capitata. Let's get some wood so that we can cook some into charcoal, basically straight off rip. And then while we're waiting for that, we'll grow some more of these trees. We're not really after the wood necessarily just yet. We're more after saplings. Okay, we've got some more oak right here. And we're going to kind of also segregate the trees into their own little grow zones as well so that we can kind of... I have a, a little bit more control over it. There's also a bunch of flowers over here we might want to pick. Oh my god, I ugh, I keep getting blown away by this shader pack. I love it. I actually love it. Okay, let's go ahead and pick some of these nice red flowers. I love some of the yellow ones too. I don't know if they'll like replicate or anything like that, but we're just going to take a bunch of them anyway. I like the red ones more, I think. We're picking flowers. It is sundown. Oh my god. Oh my actual god, guys. This is so beautiful! Okay, good. Which one is this? So, the other one kind of blows us out of the water when it comes to contrast, I feel. By the way, the entire purpose of this stream is to pick a shader for the Forever World, which is what we're playing right now. Now... I feel like the shader we're using right now, I think this is complementary shaders. It's not as intense, but my God, it has some features that the other one just doesn't. It's got a round moon, which is a little bit alien. Hey, there's a, a lava source just over there as well. Oh, that's good to know. Hey, now we can make ourselves like a, um, what are they called? They're the things. They're the what's-my-dingles. What are they called? Uh, obsidian. We can make obsidian. Good. Come over here. Probably want to start removing these farms as well. I don't know why I keep going to this tiny little shack right here. Oh, there's monsters nearby. Okay, well, not for long. Oh my god, what in the hell? Are you serious? Really? 
Okay, good. Oh! Yes! Attack! Thank you! Okay, we got some experience. He dropped none of his gold armor, which kind of is a little ass. Did we just get raided or something? What the hell? We definitely have to work on a perimeter wall. Like, this, this is not good enough. We are actually about to get ganked if we keep on going on the way we are going on. Maybe that should also be the goal. Yeah, it's not as breathtaking in the, in the mornings. <laughs> I just slammed the door on his face. Thank you! I do kind of like the fog, though. The fog is really cool. Oh, there's burning zombies everywhere. Oh, there's rotting flesh everywhere. Skeleton just died. Perfect. Hope he dropped a, a bone or two. Nice. And there is a creeper on our farm. Suck. That is big suck. Like, on a scale of one to suck, that is suck. All right, come here, you big bastard. Oh, damn it! Oh, I was hoping he wouldn't actually blow his load all over the place, but unfortunately, I, I didn't really have a, a choice in the matter. He, he blew his load. Okay, we're going to fill it in, obviously. We've got the sand to do so. <laughs> Doesn't really make a difference to our pockets, necessarily. Good. And fill this one in, fill this one in, fill this. Oh, we ran out of sand. Or did we? Let's go ahead and put this here. We probably would have been able to kill that creeper had we actually had an axe with more than one hit left on it. That was really unlucky. I thought that we had just a little bit more, but we didn't. Okay, good. So, this is going to be one genre of tree, and I'm thinking acacia saplings. Where the hell are all my acacias? There they are. Good. Acacia saplings, they're really, really good. They kind of yield a very, very high amount of, of wood. And at the same time, the saplings are also very, very lenient too. So we probably want to go maybe three blocks away from here. Or maybe like, yeah, three blocks away in case we ever want to blend them together. We'll put one there. These are going to be the oaks. And at some point we're going to find Sakura saplings as well, which we are definitely going to be using as soon as we find them. I don't necessarily like the wood, per se, the pink wood, but what I really do like is the... Oh, what is it called? The blossoms. The blossoms that fall off of the tree. That is such a cool touch. I love it so much. We've got 34 logs. Should probably go cook them. Why is no one talk? Because uh, no one's uh, currently typing in chat, my dude. Although that is literally uh, the opposite point of the stream. The, the reason I'm streaming is to kind of like get my own social fix. It's not for you guys, it's for me. Once you kind of, once you understand that, you, you stop wondering about chat because literally no one cares. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get the oak saplings down. We'll start planting them here, 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 and here. I can actually just hold this down. No, the shield will interrupt my plants. Oh, hello. That was fast. <laughs> okay, sure. We've got enough saplings to fill out all of these, and now we need lots of torches to kind of like fill that out. Good. Okay, we'll get all of this rotten flesh as well because it's delicious. And we are going to go ahead and make some torches. In here. So we've got some coal. I actually want to cook all of the acacia logs that we have because they're already growing. And we want to turn these into a few, what are they called? Torches. We want torches. Good. This might take a wee while though. Oh, I think they're being output into here. Yeah, definitely. So we've got the charcoal here. We can probably also, maybe while we're waiting, we can go and find some cobblestone. Let's do that. Let's go find some cobblestone. Do we have a spare pick? Yeah, we do. We should also empty out our inventory. We've got a few things that we don't necessarily want in our inventory. Uh, bones of bone meal, that's valuable. Iron axe can go down here. Uh, it's basically all just wood, right? That's all we've got. We've also got a single arrow. We don't have anything to fire it from. We're just going to go get cobblestone and maybe some low-hanging low hanging fruits if we can find them, but... If we don't find them, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. I didn't even look at what the soil here is called. What is this stuff? Oh my god. Look at this. Whoa. Nice. Oh, we can go down this way. We can probably actually just pinch some cobblestone down here, right? Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to pinch a little bit of cobblestone from the walls here. Okay, good. What else we got? Stalagmite. Okay, that's cool. Don't care, though. Don't really care whatsoever. Uh, there is some coal. I'm not going to bother with it. I don't think that's cobblestone. There's some cobblestone over here, actually. We can just take this. Good, good, good. I can't remember why we needed cobblestone, but 
I'm sure it'll come to me when we get back to base. That sounds like a spider. We can probably bait it into dying. Yep, something's taking damage. That's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna start mining all of this out here. Nice. Get some get some cobbles for myself. Nice. Look at all of this. Probably some tools. It's probably tools. It was probably tool related. Yeah, I don't see anything in here. I don't see any monsters. Oh, my inventory's full. Cobblestone. Oh, is this not cobblestone? What is this crap? Oh, well. This is... Oh, my axe. Andesite. Ah, yuck. Can't wait to get rid of that. Okay, good. Get a bunch of this here. Oh, there's some glowing things up there. Is that copper? I think that might be copper. I feel like the shader pack might actually increase contrast just to kind of like make it a little easier to see some ores. But I could be completely wrong. Oh, no. I think we've just created an entryway for a... We could probably actually just make a cobble generator. Let's do that. Let's go and make a cobblestone generator. That probably makes the most sense, right? Especially if we're going to be needing quite a few of it. Quite a bit of it. Okay, uh... Come up here. This was the exit, I think. No, the exit was just up here, wasn't it? Oh, there is no exit. Okay, good to know. Let's just kind of, like, skirt up here if we can. And I'll punch this out. Don't even know what it is. And we're going to continue onwards back home. I definitely want to burn down that jungle. I don't like seeing that from this distance. Hopefully we won't see it from all the way over there. Excellent. In fact, if we can see that from, like, the other side of the city, then we definitely won't have the jungle render at that distance. Copper is not useless anymore. Fun fact, if you burn, the cow would be cooked. Yes, we're going to be using that to make an automatic chicken cooker very, very near into the future. All right, can we see that mountain from this distance? No. Okay, so we can't see the other end of the village, but we can kind of see, like, the main bits of it. We can definitely, we can definitely see our farm, which is probably the most important part. Yeah, definitely. Wow, we got a lot of guys working over here. And they're not very good. This guy doesn't even know what the hell he's doing. Sucks to be him. Okay. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, what do we need the cobblestone for? We needed it for something. Was it just tools? I think it might have just been tools. Okay, we got some char a lot of charcoal, actually. Uh, we probably need a... Let's get ourselves another chest. And we'll use this chest to... Basically, just store building materials and all of that stuff related to building. Oh, we already had planks. Okay, good. One more. And done. That's two. Consolidate that stack right there. Uh, this can go here where the bucket is. Oops, I think I actually just did a whoopsie. There we go. So we'll put this kind of like out here by the farm. This won't be food. Let's go ahead and throw everything that we would probably use for building in here, like birch, sticks, probably don't need all of those. Well, we probably do actually for the tools. Let's go ahead and just keep them. Jungle planks, yuck. Jungle fence, yuck. Um, andesite, yuck. Cut sandstone, that's kind of useful. Poppies, yuck. Uh, red sand, yuck. Dandelion, yuck. Rotten flesh, yuck. It's not building, but I don't want it in my pocket right now, so I'm going to throw it in there. We've got 41 cobblestone. We've got 22 cacti. We don't want that whatsoever. Bamboo, probably never going to use that. Birch saplings, again, probably never going to use that. Uh, we've kind of freed up our inventory a little bit, though. You need to build with stone? Yeah? We've got a lot of sandstone. We don't necessarily need to, like, rely exclusively on cobblestone. That is uh, not a concern for us whatsoever. The only reason that we don't want to use any of the wood in our buildings is simply because we don't want to place down like an ornamental fireplace at some point and then have everything spread. Oh, that's right. We wanted a cobble generator, didn't we? I can make one of those. I'll just put it over here, I suppose. And it was like, uh... okay, let's mine this one out. It needs to be like four white, doesn't it? I think. Two, three, and four. So, water here, magma here, and that basically just creates cobblestone infinitely, right? Go ahead and eat this. Yum, 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 yum. And then we'll subsidize the materials for our tools. Good. Okay. Uh, got some smooth sandstone here too. One little chunk of it. 
Let's get our bucket and we'll go and get from that magma source, which is just over this way. Annoyingly close to the jungle. We can probably just put some magma down in the jungle and see how long it takes to light the entire place on fire. That'd be kind of funny. Okay, we'll come up here. What the hell? There's a mineshaft down there. Huh. Oh. oh, well, nothing's going to be coming out of it. I can guarantee that. Lava! Well, that doesn't look very nice. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, we got a bucket of lava. Uh, it's probably burning our hands off right now, which is not amazing. Hmm. We got a lot of trees going. Okay, before night comes, we should probably go ahead and craft as many torches as we can and light up this area. Because the trees are going to shelter basically every mob under the sun. Okay, so we need to put one here. And this needs to be a lava bucket. And we need to empty this little bit out here so we can stand there. Okay, let's go ahead and make as many of these torches as we, pos as we possibly can. Boom, that was way too many. But I suppose it's fine. Uh, we'll put one on each corner of here, like so. And then we'll go in like, I don't know, three? Here, here, and here. Good. And then we'll go three in again, and here, and here. And of course, if I can reach it here. Nope, not there. Here. And then one, two, three, here, here, and here. Oh my god, they've already started spawning. Sweet Jesus, no. Not like this. Ah! Did Scott's world leave? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not telling everybody to come and join. If, if you want to, like, come in here, hang out on the couch and uh, play a video game with me, like, that is the whole appeal of this, of this channel. It doesn't need to be, like, flooded with people at all times. That's kind of not... It's, it's, it's not why I'm here. Whoa, something just got rinsed. There is a creeper right there... You oafs! What, you don't wanna... You don't, you don't feel like this is worth your time, Golem? No? Okay, I'll take care of it, idiots. Good God. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through here and I'm going to dot every little, like, segmented corner with a fence. And then we're gonna stick a torch on top of it. With this bad boy right here. One dip. One dip. One dip. One dip. And one there. Now, we're probably going to do the same thing on this side here, but you can probably also keep it like a block away and just keep it like that. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, does it? And this one right here, I think. Yep. Okay, we blocked that one up there. Actually, we probably don't want this to be blocks, do we? We probably don't want that whatsoever. Get rid of these. And instead of doing that, I'll kind of hold myself up here. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these fences placed, like so. And then we'll put this here. And then we'll mine out these two bits of dirt we placed. So we've got a gigantic pillar. I think that's good. I think that looks nice. Uh, this can go here. We'll, like, we'll build this out a little bit better. In fact, we could probably build this out a little bit better right now, can't we? We can do better than this. We can do better. Let's go ahead and put another fence there, another fence there, and another fence there, another fence here. And for this one, I'm going to be dirting up two, and then we are going to place that there, there, and there. Good. Now, can we go through this from beneath? Yes, excellent. Let's make it like a little trellis. No? Make a trellis. I kind of like the idea of a trellis. All right, and four away. One, two, three, four, block. Okay, and maybe we want to make it a little bit higher. Let's do it. Let's actually do it. Let's let's make it a little bit higher. Let's make it a little bit more bougie than it already is. Put that one there, and now we want to mine these out. Get rid of that one. Yuck. And. Put that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. Awesome! We've got a nice trellis! Look at that! I love this! Okay, good. Now we can kind of like torch up pieces of this. Oh, we can't put it on the side though. We're probably gonna have to put it on the top. That's absolutely fine. We can do that. It's no issue to me. Okay, let's start placing down more of these sandstone walls. And one right there. 
good. One, two, three, four, one, and there. One, two, three, four, one more, and there. One, two, three. No! Okay, we ran out just at the end of it. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, actually. That's fine. We'll go make more. We'll go and make some more uh, stone. I think it's sandstone? Fences? Those are slabs. Those are fences. Okay. I'm going to use the old split trick. Good. And here. Done. Split that, put it in there, done. And split that, put it in there, done. Split that, put that there, split that, put that there, done. Excellent. We've got 54 fences that we can now use to frame out this uh, kind of farming area that we've got. Excellent. Hey, none of them are trampling their crops either. Good for them. Good for them indeed. Okay. We'll build this all the way along here. Until we hit the... Thing behind us right there excellent yeah we can definitely do better than that put that there put that there uh we've kind of screwed up the spacing of this i think okay gap one two three four gap wall okay so we've built this one a little bit too far inwards which is fine it's going to be a quick fix as long as we're like conscious of it it's going to be absolutely a-okay Okay, we'll keep on getting rid of this. Very nice. And now we will kind of correct this, I suppose. Put that there, put that there. Now we want to mine out this, this, and this. Excellent. And we'll keep on building all the way along here. Great. And we've reached the end right there. Need that fence. It's kind of valuable. Put that there. Nice. Are we going to line this one out, though? Okay, I fell. A <laughs> little embarrassing. I think maybe we just kind of, like, continue the trellis we've already got around the top of here. And then we'll put kind of, like, a doorway facing in there. Ish. Maybe. A gate. Probably more likely. Okay, good. Do I hear a spider? What the hell is that sound? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't hear a spider. Okay, good. And we're only a couple away from the end here. Boom. Nice. Ah, we are just short on the fences, though. We need one here. And we need one here. Okay. And we need one here. And we need one here. And then we run out. We still need another four of them. Which is absolutely fine. We've probably still got heaps in the building chest just over here. And if we, if we don't have heaps in the building chest, we can always just craft more with four blocks of sand, obviously. All right, sand, 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 sand. That's 62, 64. There we go. Patch that out. Put that there. Sandstone. Done. So, we need four. We need four of these. I think that's probably enough. Honestly, six. It's okay. The trellis is not going to extend out this way. Oh, maybe it will. Uh, just like a couple of blocks might be a good idea. All right, good. Put that there. And this one can go here and here. Nice. This one can go here and here. Gorgeous. We might want to take out the top of these fences and replace them with blocks. Just so we can put a torch on them. Might be a good idea. Oh, piss off. All right, what's he trading? Just a bunch of crap we've already found. A bucket of puffer fish. Actually, maybe. Maybe I was a little bit too mean initially. I, I, I think I may have just been a little bit too mean. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and... Maybe I'll put them, the fences, here. And the other one can go here. And then we'll wall it off with another trellis. That's a good idea. Okay, we'll make a bunch more of these, actually. Let's just get another four stacks of sand. Done. Uh, stack, 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 stack. Good. And we'll make another stack of that. Excellent. So we want to cut that across here. I'm going to use the halves, the method of halves. And one there. Okay, we've got a stack and a half of these walls now. That should fill us out just nicely. And we probably also want kind of like a walkway in between here. Oh, the oaks won't allow it, annoyingly. So we probably actually have to take these and space them out two more blocks that way. 
We want a walkway so that we can kind of like knock off leaves if we ever have to. We shouldn't have to because we've got tree capitator, but if it ever comes to it, we might want a little maintenance hatch. Okay, thanks, block. Good. And we have not got the right angle. Okay, those are symmetrical. Maybe we just move these ones over one. Good. Uh, we'll take these here. Is that in line? Nope. Take these here and put them here and here and here. These can be another little wall of their own, like so. This right here can go. And we're going to build up from this one as well. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and just use this. That looks kind of cool, actually. I like how this looks. All right, let's dirt our way up to the up to the, the surface that we need to dirt up to, because we need to torch this whole place out with torches. Let's put that there on our hotbar, and we will put this on every single one of these here fences. It's actually crouched, so we don't fall off of here. Good. This actually fills out the pillars really well as well. That was the only thing that I was, like, a little bit iffy about. It was whether or not they would kind of, like, even out if we put a torch on top of them. Yep, that definitely matches. Uh, it's probably going to be faster, actually, just to dirt our way up here. And it's a fence, so we got to dirt up to its level. Okay, good. Put that there. And come around here. Okay, that's all of those torches gone. We've got another stack, though, fortunately. Let's go ahead and dram that right there. This one goes there, of course. Oh, my feet. And let's go ahead and just make like a path up here. Because we're probably going to want to keep up, keep on coming up here a bunch for the torches. And that one goes there. Nice. I love how this lo looks. It's really nice. So these are not in line with the trapdoors, but they're in line kind of like sideways to them. Which is absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and patch these here in. Here, 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 and yep, in line with this, right here, and here, and here. We'll torch that up in the morning. Uh, I think we're about to get raided by some more nasties, but we have kind of like got some pretty reliable industry up and running at this point, which is just fantastic. I love it. I'm coming in. Get out of my bed. We probably need to start making like a, a big barracks for the villagers now as well, too. And then a wall. We, we need to wall off this entire area. It's probably going to get way too dangerous very, very shortly. Okay, now that we've done that, there's two more over there that we need to torch up. Let's get rid of all this dirt right here. And we'll make sure that this place is adequately lit. We'll also put a couple of torches in the corners of this area, just in case there's, like, shadows that might make the game think that something should spawn here. Like there. There. There, 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 uh, there, <laughs> there, of course. Is this wide enough? I feel like the entrance is significantly wider. Oh, they are actually in line with the traps. Okay, so I want to put that one there and that one there so we don't lose our place. Mine these out. Bang, bang, bang. Mine this out. Nice, nice, nice. And now, on the ground here. Oh, I think I missed. Yep, I definitely missed. Okay, let's get that corrected. And still got some fences to place down here and here. Nice, so on top of there should realistically be a torch or two. Let's come over here. It's kind of hard to stay on these fences, to be quite honest. All right, let's go ahead and drop that one there. Nice. And this one can go here. Also very nice. So that is our agriculture section pretty much done until we get to the point where we want to kind of like chop and change the floors around a little bit because that's probably the one side where it aesthetically doesn't look amazing. Right, let's get rid of all this dirt, which hilariously is a valuable commodity here. Probably even get another kind of section of the farm up and running. Let's actually dirt it out. Like we, w we probably won't actually stimulate it with some water or anything like that just yet, but we will kind of like, we'll get the dirt down. Good, 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 good. 
I don't know if we want to kind of like wall off the trellis around it though. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't want to invite the possibility of a creeper coming and blowing an entire farm up. Okay, this guy's letting all of his llamas walk all over our, our agriculture, spitting all over it, crapping all over it, pissing all over the food that we would intend to put in our mouths. Absolutely revolting. Oh, I do not like traders. I like the llamas though. The llamas in Minecraft dungeons are kind of overpowered because they're ranged, which means they can generally take out an enemy before the enemy gets to them. Meaning they take no damage, and thus, they survive longer. Okay, good. I was always a summons build in just about every top-down arcade I've ever played, including Minecraft Dungeons. Alright, good. Nice, and that can go down all the way to... Done. So the farm is now completely filled out. I'll get these... No, actually, we don't want that to be a hole just yet. Simply because these guys are going to jump in it, then jump on the crops here. Okay. So there's four here. One, two, three, four. There's four buckets here for one, two, three, four. We could probably just move these together and make eight all at once. But there's going to be these two right at the end here, which we could probably just put a composting bin like right at the end anyway. Okay, let's wall this off. Good. So there's there's got to be like an actual entrance into this place. And we're going to kind of gate this area off, I suppose. Yeah, we'll put that there and there so we can put those two jungle gates down. And we'll gate all of this off so that these idiots do not go too far. Okay, we've run out of fences. Now who's the idiot? Ah, not me. I've got more. Excellent. Okay, one more. Okay, good. So we've got our farm basically all set up. Uh, all of these guys seem to really like their job as well. I don't think that they're spreading around the produce fast enough, though. I just don't think that what do you want this guy's not even a farmer can we get in here yeah we can that's funny okay so we can kind of like soak in the compost let's just uh remove these these farms over here because i'm pretty sure they might be confusing the ai unless the others are too far no they're not filling out any of the farms whatsoever okay now that we've done that let's uh fill in all of this water we will take out all of this dirt right here and then we will remove the stone stairs, which should be the last piece of the puzzle. And then we'll get all of this uh, land back to work with as well. I really like that. I really... Oh, no! We put a torch in the wrong spot. It looks disgusting, too. And put that one there. Yeah, it has to be here, not there. No, no. Big no, no. Gross. And we'll mine all of this out, and we are Dunyan Rings. Let's go back to the soil right here. We can mine this out. And uh, for the next session, essentially, we'll give ourselves a lot of land to work with. Maybe we'll fill in all of the lower level down here as well. But there is someone's house down there, so maybe we won't do it all the way. We could, buy, we could probably just, like, end up calling this place the slums, I suppose. Maybe. Okay, we'll mine all of this out here. Nice, nice, nice. And that is done and dusted. That farm is no more. It is an X farm. I should probably be filling this up with maybe sand. But at the same time, like, we're still, um, we've made progress. We've made a lot of progress. This is a completely different village to the last one we made. We learned from the last one. The last one was uh, a little bit crap. We probably spent a lot of time kind of, like, mining out a lot of sand just to abandon that place anyway, but... At the same time, I really do fancy my chances a lot better here than I would at that other village, simply because there's so many resources around here. We've got a jungle in Vision's uh, site. We've got Mount Hakuna Matata right off on the, right on, on the horizon over there. We've got a giant mesa that we can set a base up in. We've got a mine shaft up that way, and right underneath that mountain is a gargantuan um, tunnel system. So we're in a really good spot. Okay, that's that out of the way. Awesome. So this little farm, uh, this little house here that we've kind of claimed could be a good one to keep. Maybe we want to start putting some paths in the place. What do we make paths? There was a there was a way, wasn't there, of making paths? We got to like uh, we. What was it? I'm gonna look it up on my phone real quick. Minecraft paths. It's an actual item. Dirt path. That's it. So they 
essentially, I think it's soil, and you use a shovel on it. You right, you right click with the shovel. Okay, good. So we are going to need to get a lot of soil around the place, it seems. Or maybe not. Uh, let's start cutting some of these trees down. Get some, uh, recuperate some of our resources. Good one. Oh, we don't, we can just cut through them, right? We don't need to wait for them all to fall. Nice. Excellent. Okay, I like how this works. We probably need a forestry chest here, reasonably enough. Okay, this is a lot of oak as well. Oh my god. We've hit the jackpot. We've literally hit the jackpot. What the hell? Oh, right, our axe is about to break. Okay, done, and we've got another one, don't we? No, we don't. Okay, we'll go back, uh, and we'll pl we'll plant these later, I think. We'll make ourselves a stone axe, or a few of them. And we also need a chest here, too, don't we? We need a chest basically smack dab in the middle right here. Or we could stick it against this pig shed. Let's do that. Okay, we don't have... We've got a lot of wood on us now. Go ahead and make ourselves two more chests. One, two, three, four. Don't know why I'm doing this. Because we already have the planks required to make two chests. Good. So, now that we've got this, let's stick this against the pig shed. And it might look like it's for the pigs, but it's actually not. It is for the forestry. We've got so many logs right here, and we've got so many sticks. We've got a lot of oak saplings that we are going to plant. And they're going to put the excess back in that chest right there. That's right. We need some axes too, don't we? The hell are they doing over there? I think they're having an orgy. Or like a post-day cooldown. We could probably actually do with having a clock and a compass at this point as well. I mean, it's not expensive. We deposited all of our sticks, so we don't have access to it. Sticks, please. Yes. Thank you very much. Good. Okay, let's make ourselves two axes made of cobblestone. Because we kind of need them to get through this forestry. Good. They're also an excellent weapon. All right, let's try and mine that up. Done. Excellent. I'm glad that functioned as intended. Excellent. Uh, so those leaves are going to despawn over time. We'll start doing the acacia trees too. It's a little slower with the stone axe, but nothing too abhorrent. What the hell happened here? Oh, this is why I downloaded the mod, so I didn't have to pixel hunt these trees. Okay, I don't think we've got the inventory to collect any of these acacia logs. Which, oh. What? Oh, it doesn't have any leaves. Okay, maybe we need them, like, two away from each other then? Or maybe we could just keep on going as we are. Like, it's still a pretty damn good piece of generation. Alright, let's go ahead and dump all of the excess after we plant. We need to plant first, don't we? Oak, 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 oak. Oak, 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 Good, and now acacia. Where is the acacia? There it is. No, that's oak. Where the hell is the acacia? Oh, we got birch saplings. We can probably do with getting, getting rid of those. We are picking them up. Ah, here it is. Excellent. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and plant all of these if we can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Whoops. That's all we got, by the way. We only got 14 saplings out of this one. Maybe we do need to space them out a little bit further. Okay, we'll do that. That's tomorrow's project, I think. Let's go out here and sleep, and on the way back to the farm, we'll deposit all of our things. Okay, what's going on here? Someone's in my bed. Of course there is. Let's go ahead and get into the bed right here. As is our birthright! Okay, this guy just buggered me again. Go away! Ooh, beats. He trades beats. Yo, that's good. We can generate emeralds now. That's sick. Okay, so once we get some automated farming, we're going to be in a really good spot. Okay, so we want to deposit all of our stuff, and we want to kind of, like, chop and change what we've got here. Get rid of these oak logs, these acacia logs. Uh, sticks can go away as well. That was it. That was literally it. Oh, we got some birch saplings and some oak saplings as well. We can get rid of those. Ah, oh, great. We've already got another tree. Let's get rid of these. We'll space them out a little bit further than they were. We'll plan it out. We'll plan it out a little bit better. All right, put that there, put that there. And now we unfortunately have to chop this tree down as soon as it's grown. It's like, oh, I'm so happy to be alive. What a great time to be alive. And then suddenly, axe. <laughs> ah! 
Ah! I don't know why, but that thought tickles me. Okay, good. And grab all that stuff. So we're not wasting anything. Good. Okay, so we're going to have to rethink our structure a little bit better. We're probably going to have to space these out maybe two apart. Would be a little bit more responsible than what we have. Because we still need the gaps for the leaves to generate these saplings. Otherwise, we'll be in a bit of a doom loop eventually. And we'll move all of this dirt. It'll be fine. We'll just move all the dirt. Good. Dirt moves. Let's not get in the hole yet. Good, 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 good. We could probably do with getting these fences off of our hotbar as well, because we don't necessarily need them. Good, and now we get dirt on our hotbar. It is on our hotbar. Excellent. And now we get sand on our hotbar. We'll replace that with it. Excellent. Let's go ahead and just uh, place sand in all of the places where we don't want dirt, because it's a lot faster. And now we'll just do the dirt. Excellent. Done. So... Now we probably actually want to space them out so it's kind of like a... Maybe four apart would be good. Be a, a little bit better. Let's get rid of all these. Yeah, we'll do four apart. Or maybe three apart. No, four apart. We'll do four apart. Well, we won't kind of like take any chances. And I feel like... I feel like having them three apart just invites the potential for all of these things to blend into one tree, which we, we do not want. Because of the saplings. It's not sustainable. Alright, good. Should probably also get ourselves some kind of smelter for charcoal. Alright, uh, so... One, two, three, four. We'll fill in all of these. Good. Looks like we're getting enough oak saplings though, so we probably don't have to worry about it too much. So let's fill these in with dirt. Which hilariously gives us a piece of dirt which is stuck in the hole. And we'll get rid of all these torches as well while it's daytime, too. And these ones, they can stay where they are. Now we want to move two across, and then we want to dig out some holes. Yep, 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 and here. Whoops, missed it. And we'll go here, and we'll go here, and we'll go here, and we'll go here, and we'll also go here, and one more, you know it, right here. I know this is probably a little too close to the chest, but... You know, that's how you play poker. All right, good. Drop all of these down. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and plant down some of our saplings. We've got 15 acacia seed saplings, which is unusually more than what we had last time we planted all the trees. Okay, good. And we've got five left. Let's go over and plant the oaks right here. Probably got enough to plant them in a full of two lines. Good. And over here as well. Excellent. Done. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can start deploying the torches. Roughly here, here, and then we put them here, and then here, and then here. And that should be adequate light. Here, and here, and here. I also like symmetry. I don't know if anyone's noticed. I really like symmetry. Excellent. So we could probably actually expand these out a little bit further as well. One here. Piss. We actually... We didn't think about this hard enough. We need to get rid of all of these again, and we, once again, need to space them out. Even further back. We need to space them out backwards. So this one is going to be a dirt block. And one, two, dirt. Good. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. We'll replace them here and here, and we'll put this run right here. Okay, we'll do the dirt first, actually. Why don't we do the dirt first? Probably makes the most sense, right? And then we'll just get rid of the blocks on either side of it. That should be sand. One, two. Good. One, two. Bad. There goes dirt. Bad. One, two. Dirt. One, two. Bad. One. Dirt goes here. Uh, no dirt there. One, two. Good. One, two. Here. And one, two, here. Is this in line with our little... Oh, it kind of is, actually. Oh, nice. I love how this worked out. Good. Okay, we'll dig all of these out. We're not really restricted by space whatsoever, so I'm, I don't feel too guilty about using so much space. And we're probably going to end up walling all of this off anyway at some point, so it's not so rough. And enemies won't, uh, like, blow it up. 
Okay. We've got to take out these ones here in a gigantic line. Uh, don't... Let's fill that back in. Let's keep on going down here. And we probably can leave those ones there. I'm actually just going to go ahead and dig out the holes that we need for the soil. And then we'll replace the soil. We'll come back with the sand later, I think. And we'll do that and that. Good. Uh, we'll use this other one. Oh no, what have we done here? We, okay, we didn't do both lines. We got to about here and then we only staggered one line of those. Too good. So this one here should be here. That should be gone. That should be gone. And another two. That's good. This one should be here. That should be gone. That should be gone. One, two. Excellent. So now we can kind of like mirror this on the other side. Excellent. Uh, that is incorrect. Let's put that there. Dig that up. Dig that up. And don't know why I grabbed those. Didn't actually have to do that whatsoever. Let's go ahead and fill all of these holes in with some sand. So we don't fall in. Have to jump. Have to press a button. Yuck. YouTubing is hard enough as it is. Probably actually expand this out another couple of blocks, actually. One and there and good and here. Excellent. And also this one right here. Very good. Let's go ahead and throw some dirt in these holes. Okay, so that is virtually everything needed up until about here, where we kind of like, we just didn't do this line for some reason. A little sus. That's fine. That one's wrong. Good. Throw that out right there. That one's fine. That one's fine. Okay, all of this is now good. We've made it work. Okay, now we can start planting our saplings. Good. It's all lit up. Perfect. Just making sure. Put all of these all over here in sequence. I know that growing trees shouldn't really be such a pseudoscience, but at the same time, like, come on. <laughs> all right. We've staggered these out kind of a bit ass, So maybe... No, I'm talking about the torches, by the way. Okay, those are all in line. How far between them? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Boom. And I'll just put one in the corner here. And one there. And one here. And one there. And here. And should be further across here and here. Great. All right, let's plant all of our oak saplings that we have left. And then we'll go to bed. Because I think that the weather is turning. God, I love these shader packs so much. All right, good. And that's fine. Our arborist area is completely done and dusted. Now we also have some spear saplings. We're going to go ahead and dump them in here. Done. All right. So our tree farm is done. Excellent. We don't really want the light sources to be any higher. Wait, is it not nighttime? Is that not, is that not what I'm being led to believe? Uh, we've got some charcoal. Let's go ahead, grab that. And we'll throw that into the... Actually, we've got a bunch of stuff we, we can put in there. Let's just burn more acacia wood as well. How about now? No. I think it's when the villagers start, like, running indoors. I think that's when it's nighttime. What are you guys doing out here? A lot of farmers. A lot of farmers. Hey, guys. Oh, it is raining. Yo, this is the first time we've seen rain in the desert. Oh, never mind. It's because we stepped into the plains. Why are these guys just hanging out in the rain? Y'all are psychos. Okay, this guy's trading carrots, this guy's trading beets. Now, now, I have a little bit of a sneaky sneaky that we could probably utilize with pistons and hoppers. I feel like if we stick pistons and hoppers all under these here, we could probably get some of these knocked off where they are. Like if we kind of like filled in all of this with wood, all of this with wood, we could put uh, some hoppers facing inwards on top of them that would kind of, like, destroy some of these beats. But we're going to have to do it on a redstone circuit with a lever because I don't know if there's a way to automate it. Okay, let's go to bed. It's definitely nighttime now. We need to eat, too. Uh, we still haven't made a chicken cooker, either. We could probably make one of those now, honestly. We've probably got enough resources to do so. 
Although we are going to need a lot of iron, like a stack of iron. How much have we got? None on us. All right, we'll go to we'll go to bed first. Hello, sir. Get out of my bed. Done. We should also get some sheep. I say that we should get some sheep because we need to make more beds to make more villagers to get more villager jobs. Because there's only so many things that they can do. The hell is this guy doing? Is that a shovel? Well, he's. This is the slow. This is like the OJ chase scene, right? Oh, annihilated. Thank you for the rotting flesh. He's like, you are safe, citizen. And I'm like, yeah, I feel it. Uh, I'm going to take out all of the sandstone around here as well. I kind of like the terraforming. I do. I like terraforming villages. I don't know why I like it, but I, I always like it. It's just so satisfying. So I'm going to get rid of all of this, and then I'm going to put some staircases up to these guys' houses. And this can be kind of like the, uh, the Balmora common quarter, I think. Good. Good, good, good. Mine all of this out, and then we'll get to the sand. We'll probably think about getting ourselves a dedicated mine at this point as well. Okay, good. Mine all of this crap out. Now, we probably want to get some better street lamps here as well, other than these literal sticks. I don't like them too much. Can you make terracotta fences? Uh, search. Fence. No. Post. What the hell are they called? We've already made fences, haven't we? Weird. Can't remember what they're called. Okay, we'll uh, take this out right here. And I think instead of having these gigantic eyesores in the middle of all the streets, we'll probably start sticking the torches on people's homes. Like here and here. And this smithy right here can have one right here. And also one inside of here. Probably makes a lot of sense. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense to put it in there, but it probably makes a lot of sense to stick it there. That's a weird place for it. Stick it there and there. Uh, we'll light this place up like the 4th of July. Put another one there. Actually, no, we've got fences. What the hell are we doing? Where are they? Wall! Okay, they're called walls. Let's look for a wall. Or maybe not. My mistake. Let's put that there and we'll put a torch on top of it. Like a, a civic utility. Or a handrail that burns. Yes, I like this. Put that there. We're going to kind of like future-proof all of these homes, I think. One there. Uh, this is dangerous. Get rid of that. Honestly, that's just silly. Having a, cap a cactus there? Daft. Absolutely well and truly daft. Okay, we'll come in here. And we're going to torch up here. And we're going to torch this button too. Right there. Nice. Take that button because I'm stingy as well. Okay, so we probably don't need these trees here anymore. I'll keep them there because they look kind of nice, but we probably don't need them there anymore. There's another house right here. Torch that right there. Torch that there, sure, why not? And of course, our, whore, our house. Torch right there. Great. Maybe we could put that a little bit higher just to let everybody know, hey, we live here. Yeah, that, that looks nice, actually. I'm not going to replace the button. Okay, so over here, probably at the farm is where there should be light. Oh my god, why would they not even think of this? I'm just going to light these pigs up. Good. Done. Awesome. So, now that we've done that, uh, I'm going to start shaving out some more of this. We probably want to make ourselves some... I don't know, like... Shovels? Maybe we want to make some shovels? Throw this terracotta into the drink right there, and also this rotting... For God's sake. Okay, or I'll just pick it back up. Okay. Uh, sticks. We need lots of sticks. So, sticks... Maybe like 12 will do the trick. Maybe we'll start with like four stone shovels. Can we even fit this? No. What else we got? Somebody is literally pushing me from behind. All right, let's put that there. We've got a shield in our hands. What is in this hand? Is that an arrow? Maybe I misclicked on something. Sugar cane as well. Throw that on the ground. Why am I holding this terracotta again? What? <laughs> you serious? Okay. We'll get all of our stone shovels out. Oh, I don't think I actually took that stone shovel. Did I throw it on the ground? No, I did not. Okay. Throw that on the ground, of course. And let's go ahead and use one of these stone shovels. I'm actually genuinely surprised that I actually hit the, uh, pl the place that I wanted to hit. Okay, let's shave this out. We'll make it a nice little, a nice little zone to live in, I think. Okay, good. Get all of this out there. 
And I'm going to keep on shaving this side here before I move inwards a little bit. I'm going to shave out the sand beneath that tower, and then I am going to replace it with, of course, you guessed it, stone. <laughs> Sandstone, specifically. Now, what the hell did I want cobblestone for? There was a reason I wanted it. Was it just tools? I'm pretty sure it was. We made a little journey for it. Okay, we'll go up here. There, you better get out of the way, my dude. Damn, he almost just hurt himself trying to get out of my way. He's really afraid of me, this guy. Okay. So, we could also probably take a look at some of the uh, villager job items as well. Might be a really, really good idea. Wait, is this all sand? No, just this is sand. We're going to be kind of like reinforcing the foundations of this place, I think. Only the visible foundations, though. We don't want the functional foundations to change. Okay, what else we got in our pockets? Because obviously we've got too much in our pockets. I do like that. I like the little town square with the terracotta there. Right. Uh, string is probably not too useful to us anymore. Gunpowder. Uh, rotten flesh is probably not useful. Stone axe, we'll put that over here. Sugarcane, not useful. Apples are going to be useful after we get through our last cup mutton. Bones, they're kind of handy, actually. We always need bones. Now we want to go and pick all of the sand up. That's what we emptied our inventory for, by the way. We emptied it so we can pick up all of that nice sand. Oh, my shovel. Okay, let's get some more of this. Good, 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 good. We're doing like a beautification project right now. Okay, that is definitely solid stone. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. I love this. I love what we're doing here. And now we want to go ahead and... Oh, still need to pick up some of that framing. We want to place down some of these... Cut sandstone, I think, is going to be the, the way. Get rid of that hoe. That's probably not useful to us anymore. Could probably just get rid of the hoe. The hoe means nothing anymore. This is nice, actually. We can use this as foundations uh, virtually anywhere. Excellent. And... Missed that one. Put that there, there. Excellent. We kind of want to keep this tower. I do like it. We just want it at a different height. We want it to be higher than it is lower. Even if we have to move the earth to do it. Literally move the earth. Which is currently what uh, you are watching me do, if you are currently watching me do this. Okay. So, through here. I also kind of want to shave through here even further. But... I kind of want stairs that come up here and just like skirt into this this little zone right here. Okay, let's get rid of that and yeah, we'll do that actually. We'll do some beautification here as well. And we want to shave off all of this extra stuff around here. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Now, this does end here. Okay, good. I thought I was uh, kind of like recessing into the land that we'd already created. This is so nice. I still can't decide what shader that I want, though. I think it's either going to be BSL or complementary. Like, those are the two obvious choices. Cap it. There was, it was too much. It was, it was just too much. The bloom was too intense. There was motion blur that I couldn't figure out how to disable, so... Not... Thrilled with it, to be quite honest. Oops, that's another shovel gone. Got one more. We'll probably do this with one more shovel, honestly. Good, 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 good. I'm going to do a cool thing, by the way. I'm going to do a cool thing where we get around this corner. Oh, you guys are going to love this, too. You guys are literally... You, you're going you're gonna to drop your drinks all over yourself, and you're going to be all like, Damn, Jensen knows exactly what he's doing in this video game. I'm going to be all like, yeah, I told you. And that, remember that time where I told you you're going to be all like, you'll, you'll spill your drink and you'll say that Jensen is, is like, he really knows his stuff? Yeah, yeah. That was exactly the, the time at which I'm talking about. But currently it is, it is not the time at which you guys know that I know exactly what I'm talking about. So unfortunately, uh, you're just going to have to wait and be amazed for that moment where you realize, oh yeah, Jensen does know exactly what he's talking about. And I don't just mean like the moment that he, you realize that I know exactly what, I mean that the time that you say Oh, Jensen knows exactly what he was talking about. He, he's doing exactly the thing that he said that he was going to be doing. And I'm currently saying exactly that thing that he said I would currently be saying if I found out that he knew exactly that he knew what he was doing. 
I know it gets a little bit confusing, but if you can just wrap your little monkey brains around it, it'll be a lot easier. Okay, good. Gonna reinforce here, obviously, with some cut sandstone. Very, very nice, premium, bougie material. I do kind of like how it, how it's, how it's all filling out now, though. I really like it. Okay, we're gonna get some sand here because I, I, I kind of like the sand. And then we are going to get smooth sandstone stairs. Oh my god, hold up! Ah, just had a weird crick in my back. Just caught me off guard. Okay, there we go. The perks of getting old. Okay, stairs go there and. Hold, hold your, hold your jollies. Stairs here, going around this corner. Yes, yes, exactly. And burst, butting into there, which realistically should also be uh, foundations. Go ahead and get rid of the sand. Why the hell is the sand? Okay, good. Boop, 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 boop. Done. Cut stone is now the foundation. Okay. Okay, I just jumped into this guy's bed through the window. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Hello, sir. Okay, he went bed to bed for a split second. Do you like the new beautification? Yep, probably not, actually. It's not finished. Okay, we'll go all the way around here. We only got nine more of these blocks. Let's be conservative. Ah, piss. Well, actually, it doesn't look too bad. I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that whatsoever. Let's go ahead and dig all of this stuff out here because it's yucky and we don't want it here. Yucky, yucky. Ew. Gross. Okay, good. And now we're going to kind of like recess this way. Kind of like maintain the illusion of verticality. Excellent. And I don't really like how straight this is either. So let's kind of like shear into here as well and also get rid of the soil in the process. Good. Excellent. I like this. How's that? Is that natural looking? Probably not there. Oh, that looks so much more natural. Yes, I, I like this. I actually like this. Get rid of that. Yuck. Why was that even there in the first place? Uh, we're going to mine this stuff here out. What are they? Smooth sandstone? This is sand. That's not what I want. I think it's smooth sandstone. There it is. Smooth sandstone. Let's go ahead and get rid of this and this. And this, and we'll place down this here path. And, boom, boom, boom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And here, and here. Make it nice and bougie. I love this. Okay. We'll continue along here. Done. Now, this is the town square. I kind of like it here, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and throw another torch up on this guy's house. His house isn't tall enough to uh, put it above the button hilariously. These guys have torches. I probably don't need to torch up their house. What else is there? There's this place right here, which is a little bit messy, I would say. Probably probably just a, a little bit messy. Put a wall there with a torch on top of it. Okay, so we could pl probably take some TNT and just blow it right here and create a giant ravine across here, which kind of links up up to this plains, which then leads into the jungle. What the hell is going on over there? There's like a bunch of plateaus over there. We might want to build like a giant penis up there, I, I think, at some point. This looks so cool. I love this so much. We probably want to um, build this out into like a dock here, right? So we can kind of like take our boat and go down there. Or it, 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 at least it just looks nice. This doesn't look very nice. Okay, I'm getting rid of all of this stuff and I'm going to fill it in with dirt because we do have some dirt that we can drop in this hole right here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Done. And let's extend it out that way so that we don't have to look at the verticality of the, um, the horizontalness, sorry, the, hor the horizontality of this little mouth, this little river mouth. I prefer depth, honestly, over anything else. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Let's grab some of those resources right there. Hello there, sir. What is your name? Ah, okay. What a weird name. Oh my god, our arbory is already flourishing. Do we perhaps need... A... You know what? Oh, the cat just went into the pig pen. Well, sucks to be that cat. He can't get out now. <laughs> I'm glad I saw that too. Okay, we're going to knock all these trees down. 
And I think that maybe we'll plant them again. But we won't plant them too much because I think that there is... The hell? There's also the potential of the game getting the spawns. The enemy spawns up top on top of these trees, which we don't necessarily want inside of the village. So we'll just kind of use this as a temporary arbory. I love how the... Whoops. I love how the... Uh, the leaves change the further into the desert you go. I do have more oak saplings right here. I also have an axe, which I'm going to use. Get rid of all of this. Nice. I love it. Yes. Good. Okay. Get rid of all of that. Don't know why this one's still here. Oh my god, that one was huge. That's why it was still there. Okay. I don't know how we're going to future-proof the... The compound. It's basically a compound at this point. I don't know how we're going to future-proof it against, like, enemies spawning up in top of the trees. Unless we have, like, four block high posts with torches on top of them, which their sole purpose is literally just to stop mobs from spawning on top of the trees. And I don't know how easy that is going to be to enforce. Okay, a lot of resources around here. Probably not going to replant these just yet until we desperately need more wood, but we don't desperately need more wood. We have so much wood. We've got a lot of sand as well. We'll go drop it into the sand chest to free up a little bit of space. Perfect. Right here. Sand, sandstone, sand, sand, smooth stone slabs. Fine. And also, we'll keep the stairs and the fences on us because they are kind of handy. Kind of handy, actually. And every time we see something where we're like, oh, hey, I can beautify that with, with just a torch and a fence post, then, you know, it's, it's, it's not too hard to do. It's easy. It's really easy to do. Okay, good. I'm thinking of extending out these trellises out this way to kind of like also cover the arbory that we have here, the tree farm, and then put some torches on top of it. Because I, I really don't know what the threshold for enemies spawning are. And if we get another one of those mega trees that we already just got, we don't necessarily want there to be no light above it. Even if there are iron golems around the place, like that's just... just Spawning enemies up inside of a base is uh, just something we don't want to do. Okay, so we probably want to come along here, fence off that. Do we have fences on us? No. This right here could possibly be a death trap. A lot of resources down here, though. I mean, why not? Why not check it out? Okay, that was too deep. I think we've kind of screwed ourselves a little bit. What's down there? I see a heap of monsters down at the butthole of there. But there is some iron right here too, so let's go ahead and take this. Good. We'll, appro we're all, we'll approach combat with a holistic point of view. Which is if we don't have to do it, we won't do it. Okay. Done and dusted. Honestly, got everything that was low-hanging fruit in here. I suppose there's more. But when we get further down here, we're actually getting more into the range of those skeletons down there. And if they knock us off once, we lose everything. I don't think we bother, because that phrase comes to mind, pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. And it does apply to a lot of sections of life. Okay, good. Keep on knocking these out. And we should be golden. We'll keep on just uh, punching through this coal, honestly. It can never hurt to have too much experience on you. And, oh, we've got a diamond. We could probably actually make an enchanting table by this point. Righty-ho. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should turn one of these buildings into an enchanting room. Or maybe we should just build an enchanting room. Oh, there's more iron over there. <laughs> My mistake. I thought that was copper. Whoops. Uh, here we go. And, yeah, we're definitely taking all of this. I'm going to dig through the sand with my iron pickaxe. That's a good use of my iron pickaxe. Is that everything? Yeah, it was. Ah. Disappointing. What about this way? Anything this way? The water looks so gorgeous with this uh, complimentary shaders pack right here. Like, it just looks so much better. Okay, I'm not seeing a lot of resources. There is a skeleton over there with full armor and an enchanted bow. Uh, and in that regard, I say no. <laughs> Okay. Done. Done. All right. So maybe we should now think about uh, possibly getting a chicken cooker up and running because we're probably getting to that point, right? Where we just need that extra little piece of automation 
Ah, we also need to make that cobblestone generator in case we need the... No, we don't. There's water over here. Okay, I'm actually just going to take some of this water right here, and I'm just going to polish off the cobble generator. Take this right here, and we'll put it over here. And this is how it works, by the way. If you break this one... Oh, that's embarrassing. It has to be longer. Okay, well, we've got a nice little piece of... Uh... Uh, obsidian right here anyway, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I love how the sand glitters in this, in, in this shader pack. I don't know which one to use. They're both so good. They're both just so good. I just don't know which one. Hmm. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say, isn't it? All right, so I'm going to just make it like here, and even if we have to move it, then so be it. So what we need first is a double chest. So let's get ourselves some planks. Make a double chest for all of this to go into. We're going to need some hoppers, which is absolutely fine. Maybe put it like here and here. Wait, where's the other one? Did I not make the other one? Oh, maybe I didn't. No, I did not. Okay, good. We'll get that there and we'll put that there. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, we need... Yeah, this is going to be tricky, because we need hoppers, essentially, at this point. We've got one. We've got one hopper. This is going to line into the back of this chest right here. Whoops. Need to crouch first. And we also can't have it kind of like... We can't have this chicken cooker blocking off this chest either, but it needs to be there. So we need another... Okay, it's definitely getting into nighttime. We need another few hoppers, which means we need another few ingots of iron. We could probably go back to the other village. We could get the other pieces of iron and then we could possibly think about getting ourselves the hoppers required. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you stay in there, idiot. Okay, how much have we got actually? We've got 20, that's still quite a bit. We need a chest for each one of these as well. So we're gonna go ahead and make like maybe two more hoppers. Yes, they are a pretty good use of our, damn it, we don't have enough. They're a pretty good use of our resources, our iron. Okay, good. We'll get two more chests because we need them for the hoppers. And now we need two here, two here, two here. No, we don't. We need one right there. Put that there. And then we're going to drag another. We need five. We need five iron per hopper. It's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be significantly more expensive for some reason. So this one goes here, lining into that one. Excellent. And we are going to, we'll get some sand, I think, sandstone. Now we'll get sand, we'll just get some sand, honestly. We're probably going to dismantle this and take it down at some point anyway. We'll get a stack of sand right here. Oops, accidentally just pressed a hotkey, I didn't know I had. Let's put the torches on our hotbar, why the hell are we holding these arrows? Doesn't make any sense. Silly. Okay, now that we've got that, we probably want to put that there. That there. We probably want this to be glass, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and bold decision. We're going to keep that charcoal. We're going to put this coal in here. And what we're going to do is we are going to stick in a stack of sand. We want a stack of sand in there. We need the glass. We are going to need the glass. Okay, good. That's a stack of glass. Two farmers are going to work together. That's nice and gay of them. Go ahead and just chuck it in here, and I'm going to take this coal and I'm going to stick it in this chest right here so it goes into this hopper, which will feed into here when the coal runs out, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Now we get the other stack of sand. We'll put it here, here, I suppose. Here, 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 here. Hmm. We need a... What is it? A deployer? A hopper? No. There's an item. There is an item we use here. I don't get it. Okay. What is it called? I'm going to go into the redstone and have a wee poke around, actually. Because I haven't seen a lot of this. The hell is this? A loom. Oh, okay. So if we go into a crafting bench, we probably open up a lot more items, right? Yes, definitely. All right. So what is it? Rabbit stew? Really? Oh, my God. That is potent. Same black glass? No, thank you. Sugar? Scaffolding? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So you can climb up huge surfaces with the bamboo. How do we make this? It's one string and a bunch of bamboo. Good. Acacia sign. None of this is necessarily redstone. There's a powered rail. 
Not interested. There's a smithing table. Actually, we probably want a blacksmith here at some point. We could probably make this. That might be a good use of our materials. Maybe. There's also a cauldron. What else we got? A uh, cartography table. That kind of screwed us over in the other village, so we're not even going to bother with that. Granite wall. That looks like ass. Yuck. What else is there? Smoker. No. It's an item that uses something. Campfire, enchanting table. It's none of the activator rail. Definitely not. Jukebox, composter, no. Golden carrot. Huh. Wonder what that does. We've got some pumpkin pie here too. Pumpkin, sugar, eggs. Oh. Hey, we could automate this, actually. We could most certainly automate that. We've got melon seeds. Apparently this is a, cr a crafting recipe. That's a bit stupid. Oh, we weren't even looking in redstone. We were just looking in the, uh, like, foods and magma things. I know magma to be the most effective source of uh, fuel when it comes to, like, powering machines. So that's kind of... What I think. Dropper! That's what we need. Or is it something else? No, it's definitely a dropper. So we need eight cobblestone and a single redstone dust, which we have in here. Boop. Let's go ahead and use this bad boy. Dropper! Yes, we need one of these. We're going to need to put that one right here. Yep. And we're going to need more sand uh, around here. Good. Probably all around here, actually. And we'll put some glass in there. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Because we need to put a half slab there. So let's go ahead and see if we have any. Probably have some in the giant constructing materials chest over here. Yeah, we got a bunch of them, actually. Let's go ahead and put this where we need to put it. Which is going to be on top of here. Boop. And we'll put this here as well. Actually, we want to wall this in with glass, don't we? So we'll get rid of that right there. That should be in the chest. Is it still cooking? Yep, but it's coming out into here. 19 glass, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and remove these oak planks, replace it with glass so we can actually see what's going on in case we ever need maintenance. We want that there. We want that there. And we want some more of the sand around the place. Now, whoops. We need to put on top of here... A bucket of lava. So let's go and get one of those. So I'm just kind of like thinking on the fly. Bucket. Bucket of lava. Okay. Good. Uh, there is a lava source way out this way. I don't know what we did with the other lava that we got. Man, this is so nice now. I love this. Okay, we'll, we'll try and like line everything with steps anyway. That looks hideous. Let's get rid of that. Gross. Yuck. Ashamed of yourself. Um, and get our bucket over here. Oh, that's right. We used it for a, a cobblestone generator, didn't we? Is that just like screwed now? A little bit. It doesn't look very nice. It's definitely flowing magma. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and eat some cooked mutton. And we'll probably also eat the two apples in our inventory as well. Three apples now. Okay, let's do that. That's two HP bars per, which is pretty damn good. Honestly, that's very good. Let's go ahead and finish off what we were working on. Because I still don't really have it fresh in my head, to be quite honest. Just over here, we've glassed off the area. Perfect. Now we want a hopper to line into this here dropper. So let's go ahead and put that there. I'm also gonna sand around this, like so. And we probably need a sandstone slab here so that we can sand here. Nope, whoops. Here and, well, now that we're up here, actually. Sure, we'll do the maintenance. Uh, actually, let's kind of make a staircase up here. Because we're going to need to come up here a bunch of different times. Uh, there's going to be a few things in there that we put in there. We're going to put that lava there. Very nice. And there should be a tiny little area for uh, a chicken to spawn. So, now that we have done that, let's go ahead and we probably want to just... Hmm, make We don't want this lava there yet, do we? So we want to get some chickens on top of a smooth sandstone slab in here. And then we want to sand them off again like so. And we'll just kind of like increase brevity for there. Good. Uh, I'm just kind of like making this a little bit more vertical than it needs to be. Just for the sake of convenience. And now that we've done that, we want... We did put a hopper there, didn't we? Let's make sure. Yes, we put a hopper there. We need access to it. We need to be able to access this hopper. Okay. Because we want to be able to power the dropper. Ah, that's why we can't use sand. Okay. 
Okay, well, that doesn't block anything out. And we also need redstone to kind of link this up as well. Let's go ahead and grab some. We're also going to need to make a couple of comparators and some... Oh, what else are they called? There's a comparator and there's also a repeater. Com... Comparator. No, there is no comparator here. Comparator. Under everything. No, just a compass. Okay, so... We have sticks, we have planks, we need cobblestone slabs, I think. Right? Does that increase anything? No. Crafter! Oh, that's what everybody was talking about. Oh, I see! That is easy to make. Right, so this will just auto-craft anything that you dump into it, I think. That's what uh, chat was leading me to believe earlier. Okay, good. And... Yep, that's exposed. That's exposed. Excellent. We'll make a different staircase to go up top side. Because we probably don't want to use it just yet. Now, this has to be kind of like walled off. So I'm going to go ahead and stick a slab there. And then I'm going to stick some sand on top of it. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> okay, well, now that we've got a staircase. Put that there. Okay, that's not good. Not what I tried to do. Ah, oh, well. We'll just uh, patch that in as well. Okay, now that we have done that, we need a block here. We need a block there. We need a redstone clock, a very simple one. And I'm basically making this off of memory. How the hell do we make these things? Oh, that's right. It's because we need a redstone torch. That'll add a bunch of things to our recipe list. Excellent. And now we've got a redstone repeater which we need two redstone torches for. We need two of these things. And we also need a redstone comparator. So I imagine once we get enough of these and we make a repeater, where the hell did it go? There it is. Redstone repeater. So we need cooked stone, essentially. We'll do that now, actually. Instead of all of this sand being cooked up, uh, no, let's not replace it with that. Let's put some cobblestone in here. We'll cook that up because we need stone on the bottom of these uh, pieces of electrical engineering. We've got glass. Uh, we're not going to use that glass again. This is definitely lined in. Okay, everything is functioning as intended. Everything going into there is now lining into this chest because of the hoppers. We're going to go to bed really quickly so we can skip today. Get out of my bed, farmer. Why don't they learn? Why don't they learn? If, there, if only there was a way of claiming a bed. You know, short of making a moat. That guy looks weird. Why is that? There's like some weird shadows on him. Okay, so we're going to wait for three of these to cook, I think. Okay, that's good enough. Excellent. And we want to cut off the... Oh, yeah, these and two. Redstone repeater. Good. So we get one of these. Boom. We need two of those, actually. And we also need a comparator. What the hell is a comparator again? I can't remember. Let's go ahead and get two more torches. Two more redstone torches. Boom, boom. Done. And redstone repeater. We're missing the stone. We have enough redstone dust, definitely. Uh, we've got enough now. And now we want to make ourselves a redstone repeater. Great. We'll stack those two. Now, one of these has to go... I can basically put these in place, you know, normally now. I think one of these has to go here facing there, and this one has to go here facing there, I think. And now what we need is, oh, if only there was kind of like a way of detecting whether or not there was an item in the dropper and then just using it. Do we need this? Do we actually need this? I'm just thinking about it. Because we're in a different version of the game now. Okay, that turns it on. That's why we need the clock. We need it to flick on and off over and over again. Gotcha! Yep. We're, we're in the same ballpark now. Okay, so I think this one goes here, and this one goes here, facing the other way around. Now we need a comparator. And I don't remember how to make comparators whatsoever. So, oh, my green screen looks like ass, doesn't it? Okay. It's probably getting a bit too dark then. I'm going to look it up. Redstone. Comparator. So this is made with 
Probably the same materials as the... Oh, we need quartz. Okay, we need nether quartz. Ah, oh, that complicates things a little bit, actually. Unless we just kind of like... Actually, get our redstone out. See if this works. Do we need to? Put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. Put that here. Line that into here to power this. And then I think maybe, just maybe, if I'm fast enough, I could probably put this down. No? Nothing? Oh, that does nothing. Okay, let's try and get a complete circuit first. Nope, nothing there. Okay, that is lit. Is there a reason that's not? Go ahead and... Okay, so that turns it on. What if we turn that all the way up? Okay, we'll turn that off and I think we'll do the same thing as we just tried to do. Minus this bucket of lava. No, that does nothing. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we definitely need that comparison then. So we need a portal to the nether to get this thing working. And then we should be basically good to go for a lot of the electrical engineering of redstone. Which we'll just take a look at in the next session, I suppose. Okay, that's valuable. That's valuable. That's valuable. We need that. Uh, actually, let's take that bucket of lava and we'll put it where we need it, which is right here. Right there. Done. Looks kind of cool in there with the... Um, with the glass. All right, so we've got a lot done. Uh, we got some things done, honestly. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end the uh, stream right here, looking exactly at all of the awesome stuff that we have done. In fact, let's climb this tower, and then I'll end it. Yeah, I'm really sorry about the green screen. Uh, there's not a hell of a lot that I can do about it, unfortunately. When it gets too dark outside, it just kind of, like, it changes the color that is behind me. Yeah, I'm sure you guys know how color theory works, but if it's not the right color, it's not going to... It's not going to screen it out. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. It doesn't matter which way you look. It's just like extreme biomes. I'm, I'm very taken aback by all of the beauty here. Okay. Let's just look at this. We surprise ourselves next session. And I'm going to head off. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Minecraft that I've made. And right up here... You're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really, really enjoy. And down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community. And of course, until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!